good to go. Yep, good to go. Welcome back, my friends. Deep but Tom here. How's it going, guys? Happy hump day, Wednesday. Part four, and most likely, most likely the finale of the Changeling playthrough. Uh, I was going to start a new campaign today, but um, I woke up and realized, you know what, there's there's a lot left to do here. We look, Let me look at this. One out of five. Come on. Come on. We, yeah, let's, let's actually do it. I want to do it. Do the ultimate scheme. I actually haven't done this quite yet. So it's about time. I basically just want to see it to its completion. I've enjoyed it enough. Complete five grand schemes. Right, so we're going to have... All right, we get Pestilence. <laughs> Skrulk as reinforcements. Uh, Ark in the Black with a bunch of Tomb Scorpions. Interesting. That's actually pretty helpful. Okay. Some champions. Rider champions and a mammoth. Cool. This is a, just a bunch of... Blo oh my god. That's actually... That's not cool. That's kind of a detriment, potentially. Ugh. I have to kill those things myself in the battle. Okay. Labor rebels. <laughs> oh yeah, there's... You know, look at that. Hey, Bubba. How's it going, dude? <laughs> yes, you know my intro by now. You're, uh, you're quite quite keen at it. I'm getting uh, three kingdoms later. Nice. It's on still for 20 bucks. It's not bad at all, actually. That's quite a deal. Let me know how it is. Post some screenshots. Yeah, I want to... I want to live vicariously through you because actually I've not bought it. Um, I wasn't planning to, but I, you know, I'm not I'm not against it. I just need to, I, I need to know more about it. But I haven't had enough, I don't know, motivation or inclination to do that. But I am curious about it. I'm curious to know a bit more. Open minded. Hey Nathan, hello. Howdy Brain. Screw hanging out on Jeff's live stream. Oh yeah, Legend streaming. Yeah, I saw he was. Uh, some Nagash, huh? And being... What does he say? And being just... Uh, just a statistic when you can be the cool kids on this channel. Oh, true. Yeah, I mean, he does have a lot of people watching him. Yep, yep. He does have a lot of people watching him. But here, I got my eye on you. All of you. Well, most of you. <laughs> a lot of you. Um... Right, we've wiped out Reichland. Okay. From the equation. But we still would have, if we were to fight this, all these factions to contend with. Oh my god. And look at that. Look at all those gyrocopters. We're going to need some pinks. Well, no. Not necessarily. No, we just we have flyers. Our flyers can do it. Those things kind of suck in the air. Um, versus air, I mean. Air to air. Yeah. Well, the Brimstone one's less so. They, they're they decent against other units, but... In melee. If we engage them in melee in the air, that's their weak spot, so... Yeah. We can we can drag them down. And then the Kislev forces. A lot of calf. Holy shit, that is a lot of calf. And a couple little groms. Alright. I've actually haven't until now. I don't think I've looked at the these actual units that we'd be up against in detail. Maybe I did real quickly, but I forgot. So now I'm looking at it again as a reminder. Hey, Kapora. Good morning. Hello. Forty-five bucks for the. Okay, so it's forty-five for the base game and all DLC. Oh, I see. On the sale right now, so it's forty-five total for all DLC and, and the base game. Well, that seems pretty good. Uh, but I'm told that the DLC are not necessary. For Three Kingdoms? Yeah, I remember... This was... I can't remember which of the DLCs. Maybe the first one? When it dropped? I, I remember watching... I have a vague memory of watching Milk and Cookies um, talk about... Um, talking about it. And I don't think he spoke very highly of it. He was kind of mad about it, I think. I, I have this vague memory. That was a while ago. So, like, like I said, I haven't really kept up with Three Kings, Three Kingdoms at all. But I'm glad that it exists. I know a lot of people do enjoy it, you know? And and I'm not totally against playing it one day. I, I, I just feel like I'm going to be kind of like, meh. Meh. I don't know. I need to watch some people play it a bit more. Before I make any, like, actual conclusions. 
Nathan says to Boba, I really wasn't a fan of Three Kingdoms, and this is coming from a guy who played a crap ton of Dynasty Warriors back in the day. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Noted, noted, Nathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get out of here, Carl. He would have come in with some great swords and some cab as well. We could go after... I mean, we're actually pretty close to the dwarves. We could get them out of the equation. Just so we don't have to fight against all that annoying nonsense in the air. And some cannons. Oh, there's two bombers in there, too, we'd have to worry about. Fucking bombers. Um, yeah. Okay, how do we get rid of these little dwarves? Um, no, the Empire, no. No. Is it this? Hold on, I need to... I want to view the ultimate scheme. Scarbrand, no, that's too far south. I'm going to go back north. Um... How do I get rid of the dwarves? So that gets rid of the empire, right? So it's one of the grand schemes. Tomb King allies will support you in the ultimate scheme. Oh, cool. That adds Tomb Kings to you. Wait, no. Okay, it unlocks, it adds this. Right now we don't have any of these. Oh, I see, I see, I see, right. We have none of these active. Oh god, we have a lot to do. Well, I'm definitely not going to focus on getting the drown to help us. I don't give a shit about having that on our side. You know? While funny, I don't want that. Tomb Kings would be nice. A bunch of Tomb Scorpions would be nice. Eh, Skrulk, some Plague Monks, and the Mortars. I feel like the Mortars would just friendly fire everything and just be like, I don't know. Potentially good, for sure, but potentially... The Skaven, you know? They're, they're gonna friendly fire at you. They don't give a shit. Interesting. A couple Black Orc big bosses in there. That's not bad. Some Black Orcs just to have a nice front line. That Mammoth would be nice to have. I mean, a front line of champions. Shield. Wolfric, would he be on a mammoth? Would he be on a mammoth? Because he's a lot better on the mammoth. <clears throat> no lord here, isn't that kind of weird? Same with this. No tomb king here. They're, I feel like they're going to crumble pretty fast. You know? Uh, Nathan says, not sure if you saw, but Limeade turned into a plague bear and streamed in Erebor campaign this morning. Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't see that. So he's back. I'm glad he's feeling better. Um, Erebor, what's that from? I don't think I've ever heard the word Erebor in my life. You must educate me, Nathan. Went over my head. Um... Which of these would be good? I mean, if there was a Tomb King here, and like a Tomb Prince, um, I'd be like, yeah, I'm on board with this. But I'm kind of worried about those things just kind of crumbling to death pretty quickly. I feel like the Norska one is pretty solid. Yeah, we're close too. And we've already gotten a few of them done already. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're working towards this. Let's get, let's unlock the. Uh, I think we just need the one more actually. Uh, get out of my way. No. Um, the hell pit. Right, we need to sack the hell pit, and that'll unlock the ultimate scheme. Let's review what we get from that. Um, right, the Norsemen allies come, so we get Wolfric on our side with his pretty good stack. The Norsemen will form a war band to invade either Ulthwan or Grand Cathay at your choice. Oh, dope. <laughs> we can have them hit Ulthwan. Um, mm, do I want that? I kind of want Ulthwan in good shape. So, because right now I'm proliferating 
cults all around to hopefully their ports, ideally, and, and siphoning off money from that. Um, so I don't know if I want Norskins going to just raising shit to the ground. I mean, eventually I could build up their own ports there, and I could siphon off money from them. But I feel like it would hinder our potential money making if we did that. And that's that's assuming they are actually successful at burning stuff down over at Old Flan. They might get pwned on the beaches, who knows. Uh, Grand Cafe. Yeah, I could have them go over and hit Cafe. I don't know. Oh yeah, we get the renowned Frostworm. Right, that's kind of cool. Oh, that would be nice to take on those stupid dwarves. Which I still need to figure out where they are in here. Um, and then we get a plus one trickster rift. Right. What is this? Oh, that's good. Oh, damn. So, is permanent and will stack effects. Yeah, that's damn good. Local. Damn. Very good. Morsica one's legit. Okay. So, we just need to sack the hell pit, which is pretty close to us. Very close to us. Alright, where are the. Where are the freaking dwarves? It's not gonna be there, it's not gonna be that. It's gotta be this. Yeah, here we go. Grim Gore. Astragoth. The training settlement in the Darklands. Oh, this will get Grim Gore on our side. Um, a form of gore duds. <laughs> I don't really care about that. Um, all forged materials, what's this? I don't really care about that. That's kind of cool. You get one of those, okay. Shroud will be lifted. Fate provides. Oh, that's pretty good. Raise crypt from up to 75 and Tsar Nagrin. That's pretty damn good. Well, that's weird. Potentially really good. In a pink army, that would be pretty solid for sure. Or, uh, or flamers. In a uh, stack with a lot of flamers, certainly good. Where are the damn doors? Scarbrand. No. 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 Uh, Kurgan Warband. <laughs> Grand Cafe will be unable to reinforce against you. Now that's pretty good. That'll bring Skaven to help us. Nagaroth. Vampire Coast allies. A huge rebellion of bloated corpses will attack all ports of Nagaroth. <laughs> no, I don't really care about that. That is funny. Captain Sworn. Mm, kind of fun. It summons the unit of bloated corpses. Just summon bloaties? That's okay. I respect that because it's funny. But I don't really care about it. I don't really care about it. I might get the damn dwarves from... The Hiles will be unable to reinforce your enemies in Ultimate Scheme. I, I don't think I can get rid of the dwarves from helping out. That removes Bretonia. So I have to fight against those freaking gyrocopters? Yeah. None of these take away the dwarves. Okay. The realm of the longbeard is at the lonely mountain. Ah. Oh well. Who would be a good second to get rid of? Um. Getting rid of Louis would be nice. Three Grail Guardians would be annoying to fight against, and two Royal Hippogriff Knights. Yeah, screw those guys. 
Oh, attack list would be annoying too. Ooh, a couple junks. Uh, the junks. They can do a lot of damage, but I feel like we could counter them with our flyers pretty easily. Four celestial crossbows could do a lot of damage to us, though. Kislev. How do we get rid of Kislev? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. We're just going to have to take on a lot of them. It's just going to be a big battle. And these are reinforcements. This is reinforcements. Oh, we're fighting against the Empire, right. But other Empire won't be able to reinforce, I see. Hmm, fair enough. Let's look at this game. Um, okay. Well, let's finish, let's finish the Norskin stuff while we're here. There's <laughs> no place for me. Oh yeah, Draco is running down his Azel. Very well. He's going out with a bang. For sure. And we were working towards Renown and Fear. We really don't need Lightning Strike. Um, especially because we have Teleport Strike attack. I think we want to reduce our upkeep. I don't really care about that. We're chock full of grimoires. Replenishment will be good. But I think I want to prioritize the upkeep reduction. Yeah. Let's With do that. these gifts, we so change. Yes. Alright, let's finish that. And that. And push that off. Cool. All right. Yeah, we're kind of running down the remnants of Castalton, who uh, looked like they were going to be attacking the, the tower, and I wanted to protect our potential, our future investment. We haven't invested in this yet, but we're going to, right? With a fat, fat colt down there, siphoning off forty-two hundred, which we had down at Aaron Grab, but then I raised it accidentally. <laughs> Yeah, I fucking raised it. Oh well. At least we were able to raise it for like, and we got like, I don't know, what was it, 30 something grand. So it wasn't for nothing. But it was still dumb. It was still very dumb. Alright, Randall. What do I want to do with you? I need to scout with you up there? Maybe. Nah. Doesn't really matter. Let's bring you back here. And we have a little movement left. Oh, right. Yeah, we have a little movement, because whenever we win a battle, we get refunded 20% movement range. So, let's finish off these suckers. Goodbye. I think we had already gotten his form. Yeah, we bust out, because we beat him just previously. Uh, I guess I'll take the money. <laughs> Be your daughter. Sorry, girl. Get out of here. Um, the and then with that extra movement range, we just kind of pop over. Kabow! Get out of here. Oh, so by the way, tomorrow Hibiscus is apparently doing a stream where she draws her viewers' mascots. I'm scared. <laughs> I did see, uh, right before I went live, I did see the thumbnail for that. And I was like, I, I squinted and was like, oh god. <laughs> the drawings. Hibby's got a good sense of humor, which I really like about her, so it's it'll be pretty funny. In a horde. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty clever. She's a clever girl. Alright. Okay. Well, got rid of that crap. Uh, how much is this place making? Not a whole lot. Oh, there's what else down here. We don't really have any incentive to go after the Wood Elves. Um, these Wood Elves, that is. I, oh yeah, speaking of Wood Elves, before I forget, let's look down here. Ah uh, yes, we've 
got our first colt now here in Athaloran. Hopefully, soon to be more. Now, this one is on its way to making some fat money for us. Uh, I also want it proliferating, because we want colts all over Athaloran. Lurin. Look at this guy in a big wyvern. Wyverns look so cool. They look really cool. Alright. Grom's up here. Oh yeah, we're allies with him. Where did we build... Was it at the Oracle? Yeah, Oracle. Um, we're not military allies with him. Does he want to be military allies? No, he doesn't. Nothing's going up between us. Something's uh, on the up and up. Okay, a little bit. It's not going up very fast. Uh, I could give him money. Do I care? Um, sure. Take some money, dude. Take a medium gift. Yeah. Take someone out to dinner. There you go. There's four grand for you. Uh-huh. Yeah, something like that. Alright. Yeah, you go. Alright. So... These will be done next turn. Good. Now, where are some other big investments of ours? Oh, yeah, Skaven Blade. Okay, things are going up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good money there for sure. I think our cult here... Yeah, it was discovered at Mirage Liana, but they haven't done anything about it. We're probably better off siphoning off money. Yeah. Yeah. Do I care about proliferating from here? Not really, but I let's let's lower discoverability at the very least. Let's build that building. Riff Raff up. Oh. It needs crap. Um Sartosa's building up. Alright. Okay. Let's do that. We'll build this one here. And do we want to spread from here? Actually, yeah, eh, nah. This member didn't have one. It does. I will build this up here. I want to increase those chances a bit. Good, good. Gas is five forty in Nevada. Oh, damn. Spending two hundred dollars in gas a, a week? Holy shit! A week? Science. Oh my god! Sorcery. I remember in high school gas was like a dollar. I don't know, dollar seventy. Probably got. I think it got even cheaper than that too. At sometimes, holy crap! Been old. All right, let's build. Ah, here we go. Hmm. Um. Do I need to build this here? Correct. Buftar. Actually, yeah, because that would increase our chances of coming up northward with our Colts. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, actually. Fuck. Should have built that a while ago. Alright. Good. Zaraxil. We're siphoning off money from Zaraxel. Oh yeah, might as well. It's making six hundred. Okay. We'll invest in the future there. Everdens isn't making crap, but it may someday. Brackfar. God, the ogres just kill any sort of siphoning potential. It's garbage. Oh, but Turk is making a little bit. Which we are siphoning. Good. We'll increase that. Um. I want to build up spreading. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about here? And Gazar. Um, no. Do I need to spread from there? Sure. And also, we need to spread from here. Let's do that. Uh, we also need to lower discoverability. So we'll build that, I guess. Kern. How much is this place making? Not a lot. Ah. Uh, hey, William. How's it going, dude? Did you see Legends Nagash live stream? Yep, yep. Yeah, I know he's streaming. 
That's why I didn't start a new campaign today. Well, one of the reasons why. And I want to actually finish what we started. Glad to see you're back at it. Thank you, William. Thank you. How's the campaign going? It's going good. Yeah, we're. I think we're doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. We spread cults far and wide. And, uh, yeah, we're just increasing infrastructure to siphon off money from the money-making settlements, the big money makers. And, uh, yeah, having fun. Working towards doing the grand scheme. The ultimate scheme. But yes, another grand scheme here at the Norskin Grand Scheme. Which will put us at 2 out of 5. So yeah, we're just going to plow through these real quick today. Um, we're taking attrition. Oh yeah, teleport, right. Do you? Let's get over there. Changeling. Um, we don't have much movement left. Let's just kind of move in that direction. Eddie Van Halen. Let's get you over there, team. Oh, we need to watch out for this guy, though. How far can you move? That's in March stance. Okay, so we should be okay. Let's get the right Ooh, can we handle that? Let's see. Yeah. Should be okay. We've kind of strayed away from Big Daddy Changeling's uh, ability to defend us over here, but I think we're okay. We'll be all right. Here, let's, uh... Oh, yeah. Some back pocket goodies, although we are broke. You know what? I need to free up some money. Oh, we don't need to do that now, though. We're safe for a turn, so we might as well not recruit those now. Um... But probably next turn I'll grab some more renowned units. Chaos. Yeah. That should be fine. Okay. Yeah, Drag is just gonna raffle stomp his Azel, poor guy. And then actually depending on where Drag ends up, I might be able to teleport stance schmacker, which would be kinda of funny. Which uh, would be the second time we've taken her out. Little Birch. Alright. Emil, what you doing, Emily? Stay away from the keep. I need you to... Same with you, Todd. You stay away from the keep. It's my keep. It's my investment. Uh, well, not yet. It's my that's my future investment. Stay away from it. I do want to get a cult up there. Through her gig. And her gig actually is making a, not a bad little bit of coin there. Oh, Middenstag. Here we go. Are we spreading from Middenstag? We are. Potentially. Okay, that's good. Um, okay. I'm going to build that up, though, eventually. Yeah, still more territory to spread cults through. Just expanding our borders. Alright, it's funny seeing uh, Zufbar out here just throwing stacks around. They rarely do this well, so it's kind of funny. These are places aren't making crap. I've raised the, the moot like three times. Oh, the poor halflings. Alright. Those moved. Drill ass. <laughs> um, oh, there's Zarina. Uh, okay. Let's move... Let's move this fellow down here. Yeah. Eventually I'll put him in an army probably. I don't know, maybe not. Speaking of pinks... Yeah, okay. We can recruit some more. Um, oh, right. Where's the nearest building for it? I, I have no idea. Down here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, we'll pop out some pinks. Um, discipline? It's pretty good. I mean, I, he's going to be a scout for the most part, but... Eventually, if I want to put it in army, discipline's really good, so I might as well... Laser Beak. Laser Beak. The Bress Laser Beak. It's a good name. We'll keep it. Not sure what I want to do with him yet. Here, head over this way. Yeah, good man. Okay. I think that's it. Yep. Alright, moving on. Moving on.
crap, it's Gestalt now. Commanding that army. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here comes Zarina. You can see her off in the distance. Okay. And I see Draka as well. Did she take out Azazel? I think so. No, they destroyed the Mirage Liano one. Damn it, Dolores. Oh, she's asking for it now. Aranessa, old punk. Well then. Let's go back up here. Um. Oh no, he fled. Oh, he made it away. Oh wow. Okay. I was almost certain he was going to get taken out by Dranka. Well, good. Always. How far can we move in teleport stance? Okay. Um. How far can I move in march stance? Not nearly as far. Let's see. Am I really worried about Trika? I don't know. Who are these guys? If you wish. Okay. I'm just gonna teleport like right. Oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How far can you move, Gestalton? You can march to there. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna teleport to right about here. Yeah. That's fine. I just I need to get over here to at least help protect these guys. Oh, this damn, the damn storm. Oh, right. You come out of teleport strike, or teleport stance. And you pass turn, so we do end up taking attrition. Uh, okay. Okay. It's alright. The hell pit. We just needed to sack it, right? I think. I'm pretty sure that's all we need to do here. Let's let's verify that though. Yeah. Either that or build a tier five building, which I don't want to do. That would take too long. So now with that money that we just made. Ooh, nice, we're making over ten grand, that's pretty good. Let's grab this stuff. All of it? Maybe all of it. I want to get a tank in this army again, anyway, so we'll do that. Um, oh yeah, those pinks that we'd recruited, and then having these guys would be good for the mobility. I'll just take it all. Let's just take it all. Why not? Good. And now, this is a pretty functional army. Pretty good army, for sure. Expensive, yeah, definitely expensive. It's over the top in a lot of ways. We don't need these units, but you know what? This need to be kind of independent. Uh, I can see what's in this army now, too. Let's take a look. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can handle that. Serena. Not sure what she's got, but it's probably something similar. Okay, when you get jacked again, you gotta dress up like a custodian with just the helmet and a loincloth and do JoJo poses. Oh my god. Maybe. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps one day. I used to do some modeling. Yeah. Yeah, back on the saddle. I don't miss it. I didn't do it that much, but I, I did dabble in modeling back in my late teens, early twenties. Um. Yeah, I, I don't like it very much. All right. Let's hop in that stance. Okay, move you down here. Come up, there we go. Well, I just need to sack this place, I guess. Did I lose anybody? No. Good. Um. Oh crap, I can't sack it because I already have a cult there. Oh, I need to destroy my cult. Fuck. Um. 
Well, shit. Well, I guess I just gotta get that tier 5 building going. It's gonna take forever, though. Fucking A. Uh... Darr! That's right, we already had a cult here. I need to destroy this thing. Hold on. Do I want to destroy it? Do I really want it? Can I even destroy it? I don't think you can. There's no... There's no destroy settlement, or destroy cult. What the fuck? Um... I think we just gotta get this building up to tier five. It's gonna take a while. I mean, what other other options do we have here? What do we have to do? Win twelve battles against Norska. I don't want to be fighting Norska. Right? I don't want to fight Norska. Could I'm, I'm allies with Rock. I don't want to do that. And he's the only Norskan left. Right. So that's I don't want to do that. What's this one? Raise the corruption to seventy five in the monolith. Oh, Bajorka Bloody Hands over here. Fuck, that would take a while. Um, I mean, there are cults we could spread over here potentially to make a lot of money. A fair bit. A fair bit. Um, damn it, Alpet. Now, what bully do we need at tier 5? Ravaging Hose, tier 5. Loot the building. Okay, let's take a look. Is it this? Must be this. Ravaging host. Yeah. Settlement is plundered upon building completion, stealing wealth and damage in the owner's buildings based on the development level. Buildings destroyed upon construction. Weird. One gold. Actually, no, I think we could do that. It's ten turns. Okay, that's not too... F we could do that. We could do that. Might as well not build these, though. Right? Since it's just going to get destroyed. Oh, the building gets destroyed. The, the cult doesn't get destroyed. Right. Okay, then we're, we're fine with those there. Okay. Well, then. I didn't need to come over here. Damn it. Ah. How far can Gestalt move? Alright, good. We're safe-ish here. Um, shit, I should have fought it. We took a lot of damage. God! The fools never stood a chance. Um, I hate how you move so far after you raise a place. Like, how hard is it just to keep your army stationary? Okay, I can see Jiraika's army now. A lot of wood. High level wood, too. I wonder if she recruits at that level. She might. I doubt these units have been through actual combat to get to that rank. Um, climbing. Prague's making in quite a bit. Volksgrad, we don't have a cult there, but it is making quite a bit as well. Alright. We're at level 2. Okay, we'll keep it at Level 2, Proliferation, Chance, Tier 2, whatever. Um, Griffin Wood's making a lot. Actually, on that note, let's siphon off a bit more, shall we? Oh, fuck, right, we're discovered. Fuck! I don't want to invest more money into that, though. Shit. Um, this lowers up by another 20. Okay, 5 turns, though. Ten turns for that. Oh, God. Is this lower? That lowers it by another... Yeah, I'm not going to invest into that yet. We'll try this. It's probably going to get destroyed. Which is going to suck. But, we'll, we'll milk it while it lasts. <laughs> Liberus. Um, where do I want you to go? Right, I just recruited you. Right, you get over here. Okay. And I want to proliferate from here, so let's build the spreader building. Boop. And 
make some money. Okay. Chaos uh, let's assign some skill points. Let's see what do we want here. We gotta make this army cheaper. We don't need to. We are making quite a bit. It's not that imperative. Uh, hmm. No, let's redline. Let's redline. We're okay financially enough to to not focus on upkeep reduction. Um, yeah, let's buff up these Angors and Pinks. Yeah. Um, but I work towards conduit or finish off mobility. I think I'm gonna. I think mobility. Yeah. Okay. God. Alright, there we go. Yes. Alright, Gestalt. He's probably going to move towards us here. Yeah, he's most likely gonna he's gonna see us. Wait, how far could Dragon move? Oh god, it's in March stance. You stay away from me, Draka. You birch. Oh, I can't move anymore. Shit. I think we're okay. Oh, it's gonna be close. Do I have I have another tank? No, okay, not yet. Randall, get over here. Yeah. Yeah. God, poor Angrad. <laughs> We'd be making like 13 grand. The blanket's over. That's right. Okay. Moving on. Turn 96. Treaty. Mm. I've been saying no to this. She is at war with Warzag, and Warzag actually is pretty damn powerful. I mean, even if I weren't at war with her, I feel like she would still destroy cults of mine. Which she has the means to do so. So I feel like being at war or at peace want to make a difference either way uh, uh no nah, I don't want to piss off war Zach. yeah that really matters but it's okay how much war Zach's making down at like um eight peaks in black crag those places can make quite a bit Oh. Oh. Oh, Venris Jr. Should we ascend him? Like his father? <laughs> uh. Not yet. Eventually. Oh, God. Draka marched up here. I know she underway. Weird. Ever change. Huh. Oh jeez, we're kinda cut off here. Oh my god. Hmm. Can I see what Zerina's army consists of? Yeah, a bit more, okay. About what I expected. Uh, Eddie Van Halen, he just loves life. He's cruising. Mostly humans. Um, we could attack a Stalton right now. Bringing 
Oh, we're invisible here. That's why he... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we weren't attacked. Oh, so powerful. I love it. Now, I don't think we're in... Good enough shape to take this army on. We we could. I'm just a little too beat up, I think. I know. I don't know. That's just not worth fighting him right now. It's fine. We can kind of skirt about. We need to be tactical about things. We're not playing his core. If I were playing his core, I'd probably just bum rush in. But that wouldn't be very seen chin, would it? Um, she's coming over here to settle help it. That's what she wants to do. Oh, Eddie's not cloaked. He needs to get out of there. Yes, you need to get out of there, little Eddie. There. Let's, uh... Mmm, attrition, right. Mmm. Mm. Where'd it go with you? Well, any stance except for in camp is going to give us attrition, but it's better than being wiped out. So, let's teleport you. Ah, Dragon can move pretty damn far, can't she? Uh, I need to hide. How far can she move? That's using B or, uh, world roots. Okay. So let's just get out of there. I don't think she can reach us there. And you. I think we need to do the same. Yeah. Good, and now we're cloaked over here. Excellent. It's prog. Good. Aha! Alright. Now, I think we attack Stalton. He doesn't see us here. Now, if we were to, we could take him out, take a bit of damage, but we could pretty handedly beat him. But, then we're exposed. It could be double teamed by Draga and Zarina. I don't... I mean, that would make for a crazy-ass battle. <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. That's something I would cackle at, too. Um, as long as they stay away from my tower. Azazel thinks it's his, but it's actually mine. He doesn't just... He doesn't know it yet. He doesn't know it yet. So... Here, let's ambush. Let's come down to Zoyshank and use that as bait of sorts. And uh, see if we can get Gestalton to attack down here. I basically just want to pick these armies off one at a time. While we skirt around. Let's move down to like right about here. Let me be right here. That's good. Okay. Basically using Zoyshank as bait. While we ambush. Okay. Nice, we finished some tech. Oh! Oh, we remade the cult in Rashagana. <laughs> it only got destroyed for a turn. Oh, Corona, nice. Hold on. <laughs> oh, sucker. Aaron has to try so hard, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Alright, Corona's making 2,000, so let's go ahead and siphon off that for sure. Let's do that. And let's do that. And do that. Okay, this is good. It's a good spot to uh, spread from. Grom's on the move. Okay, how much is Marienburg making? A bit. Yep, a grand. Okay. Talbaheim. Attempted to build this up so it. Increases our chances of spreading northward. Um, let's decrease our chances of being discovered, though. I think that's more important. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, yeah, let's do that there. This place is close to being discovered. The right of us. Alright. Ooh, 
that's profound. These little pinkies are just, they are profound little things. And nuts. And I appreciate both aspects of them. Kind of fun. Alright, tech. What do we want? What do we need? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm tempted by that. I just don't think spell resistance is that important. Neither is armor. Neither is that, really. I'm working towards building that one building that will unlock this, because I do want this and all three of these. But that's a little ways off. What about these? Open gates could be kind of fun. Track army. Break alliance. Ooh, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, so it's funny. The joy we shall have with that. Grisso. Oh, nice. We made a cult there, too. Alright. Making cults everywhere. Um. How much is this place making? Probably not much. No. Okay, in that case, let's build that. And that. And that. If the place isn't making much, uh, and isn't going to in the future, then I think this triple this triple combo is probably the way to go. So, Maria, what would you think of Dwayne Johnson as Angron, Vin Diesel as Carr, and Gina uh, Carano? Who's Gina Carano as Lotara? Um, I'm not sure about the third one. It's like I I don't know the name Gina Carano. I, I might recognize her, though. What has she been in? But Dwayne Johnson is Angron. Eh, the stature works, but I don't think his personality... Dwayne's too nice of a guy. I think. Vin Diesel is Carr. I could see that. I could see that. But I think Dwayne's just fundamentally too, like... He's, he's too... You know, he's in comedies too often. You need some like actually psycho. Like I, I just don't think Dwayne has it in him. He looks the part, but he's just yeah, his disposition's not not there. All right. This can never come to pass. Louis. Okay. I think that's about it. We spent all of our money. Cults have spread. Um, I think we got out of a kind of a hairy situation there. Okay. Alright. Oh, I forgot to move Randall and Drill Ass. God dang it. <laughs> so bad with heroes. Oh well. It's okay. It is okay. Hello, Malice. Would you like Malice? Um, I was considering going up north. Uh, to take on his form, because that would be kind of funny. Oh, look at Boris is up there, too. He's at war with Sigvald and Alariel. I don't really care about taking out his form all that much. So fine. Fine. We could spread some cults up there, actually. I could prioritize doing that, because his ports are probably making a fair bit. Uh, is the hottie from Mandalorian? I haven't gotten far enough. I haven't. I haven't um, yeah, I haven't. I haven't seen her yet in the show because I'm only in episode uh, like three or four, in the first season. I've ba I've barely begun the Mandalorian, so I don't think I've. I haven't met her yet. Oh, she got fired because she stood her ground on her beliefs, huh? She's also Angel Dust and Deadpool. Angel Dust and Deadpool. Which Deadpool? The first one or the second one? I'm trying to I've saw the first Deadpool, but I haven't seen the second Deadpool. I'm trying to remember if there's an Angel Dust character. 
not his girlfriend in the first one, right? She was hot. The stripper chick? She was really hot. Um... Hmm, where do I send you? Where do I send you? Hmm. Up here. Good. Good. Still discovered, but um, she didn't destroy it. Leave it alone. Man, it's a mess over here, it's Zazel. Angel Dust was Francis' girlfriend who fought Colossus. I kind of remember that. I kind of remember that, but I can't picture. Just post a picture of them in the Discord, <laughs> in general or something. I'll, I might recognize her, maybe not, I don't know. I saw Deadpool in theaters when it first came out. Yeah. I liked it. It was funny. It was good. Um. Alright, Randall. What can you do to enemy armies? Okay. Is this chick picking on you? I think she is. A thousand, huh? That's pretty expensive. 42% chance. Um, oh, she's level 23. It's not going to kill her anyways. Never mind. Get out of there. The people of the North are harsh. Oh. And unfortunately, mostly humans. Slaughter horn. It's the slaughter horn. Alright. Well. I heard Alex get taken. No. Ha ha ha. get old. Well. Okay. Now, with Draka further away, I think the Changeling is in a pretty decent position to attack Assault now. And yeah, we can get counterattacked by Zarina, but I'm not too worried about it. We could fight both these armies probably at the same time and do okay, although her army is actually pretty damn good. Triple Incarnate. Only one Ice Scar, but still, it's... um. You know, it's not an amazing army, but I, you know, I should respect it nonetheless. There is a lot of firepower in here. Okay. I died before betraying Kislev. What do you got there, Castell? Hmm. Okay. Always scheming. God, I just needed to sack help it. I wish you could get rid of your cult. How can I just get rid of it? Ooh, my discoverability is really high. Oh, right, because I built this building. Right, right, right. Duh. All right, let's build that. Not that it matters. No one owns the damn thing anyway. So hopefully, you know, in ten turns, this will complete. And uh, that will complete the Norsk and um, trifecta of schemes. So we can do the, the grand one here. So we can just kind of dick around for the next ten turns, basically. Just kind of, just kind of have fun, run, run around, cause chaos, level these guys up, farm some experience, kind of a thing, while we put money into our cults. So, let's, yeah, let's just go fight Stalton. Yeah. All right, Stalton, hold still. Decisive low. Yeah, we could just auto it for the sake of time, but I kind of want to fight it. It's just him. I mean, yeah, he's going to get slaughtered, but it'll be fine. Let's do it. Yeah, I should watch Deadpool again. It's been a while. Yeah. And then watch the second one, because I hear it's good, too. Watch them back to back. I like, uh, what's his name? Ryan. He's funny. It's cool that he's been Deadpool for a while. Like he was a minor, like he was Deadpool in that one X Men movie, like briefly. 
So I'm glad he got his own movie eventually. Two movies. Okay. Oh, the poor guy's ambushed. Take a look at this thing. In the sunlight. In the morning light. Whoa! Speaking of loincloths, look at that one. Now, this guy's serious. Oh my god. This is he before being fed in the mornings. Oh god. Terrific. Very cool. Alright, changeling. I want you... About here in the middle. And... Double cock. Double cock combo. You... Come back here. Stay back here. For now. Keep the flamers back. The soft, squishy flamers can all kind of hang back. Don't even really need them. Um, yeah, you guys are just kind of a... Just, just stay back. Just stay back. So does Izzy eat wet, uh, or dry or wet food? Oh, she eats both, yeah. She, um, so I have a, a bowl for from the fireplace there. I swear she has her, her three bowls. One's a cup of water. One's dry food that I leave out for her all the time, so she has access to dry food whenever. She doesn't eat that much. She's good about not overeating. She's kind of, she grazes. Um, so she has her dry food at all times, and then twice a day I feed her like a pate, a little packet. She gets two of those a day at 6 a.m. and 6, 6 p.m., approximately. And that's what she loves. She freaks out over that. The dry food, she eats it, but she's not crazy about it. But the pate. Oh, yeah, the pate. I'll film her eating pate, or like her about to get a packet of pate. I think I've shown you guys. It's She freaks out every time. She, like, panics. I think she has PTSD. Pretty sure it's some form of PTSD. Being a stray. I think she was a stray for a while. Because it's like she's... So screwed up. I love her though. She's just a little screwed up. Alright. Tanks. Let's shoot. Let's just shoot that freaking incarnate from downtown. Do I need you to be that far away? Doesn't really matter. Here. Get out here. I'll spread out the halberds a little bit. We do need to get on top of all that freaking Strelsey. Yeah. And then I'll use you. Yeah, you hang out over here. At least I uh, can have you get in on top and shooting up the Strelsey. But stay stay out of their range initially, though. You guys can go pick on Gestalton, I think. Yeah, you stay back as well. I need you dropping summons. I guess we can work these guys. I just need to be careful, though. Yeah. Hey, Fatty Tubs. Good to see you, dude. I haven't seen you, Fatty. How you been, dude? Uh... Legend announced he's going to run an eight-player multiplayer campaign. Yeah, him and I talked about it a little bit um, uh, a while back, like a month ago or so. Um, I, I I don't know if there's room. I'm, I'd be happy to. That'd be a lot of fun. But I haven't um, I haven't formally been invited, and I don't know how much like who who he has on that list. But I, I did know he was going to do something like that. But yeah, I'm down though. I'm down. You can let him know. <laughs> That'd be fun. I'm very down. I'm very down. Eight player. Damn. I didn't know it was going to be eight player. Shit. Eight player multiplayer campaign. Holy shit. That's crazy. I thought it was going to be like a four or something. He's, he just said he was, he was brewing up something for for Warhammer on the horizon. So this, I'm assuming this is what it is. Yeah, I'm down for that for sure. That sounds fun. I love co-op. Co-op's by... Even though I don't do it that often on my channel I do love it I do love co-op I, I do plan to do more of it for, for sure for sure I have, I have co-ops on the horizon with several several other creators a handful of other creators all right let's do this Shima, 
Ah. Oh my god. What's going on? Holy shit. This fucking monster. Oh, <laughs> Changely's just running around. Whatever. Oh yeah, these flamers are doing a lot of damage here, actually. Oh, brutal. Oh. Uh. Oh. I'm just getting shot at. What has he done to you? Nuts. Yeah, you've taken some damage from back here. God, I love Halberd so much. Halberd's just fuck. Uh, kiss lip. <laughs> well, I fuck everything. Come here, Vestas. The cocks are doing well, but they are taking some damage. Look at the cannons driving a standoff, or the, the tanks. Screw you. Come here. Here, take a bombardment. Suckers. Hang in there, Cox. Cox is getting healed now. They're going to be okay. Low on magic. Cox are okay. We're gonna be alright. I'll let you escape. Oh, you shoot a fireball at my. Oh, bitch! Oh, you killed one! Damn it. Oh well. Make it out of here, stupid. Chariots. Some Empire cannon for ya. Right up the bum. Get him! Boom! Boom! Get out of here. Rats. Alright, we need to heal up. I need some mana. The winds. Whatever you want to call it. Oh god, it's fire. Doom Knights. They always take a bit of damage, but they... They get work done. They they fuck up French units for sure. Um, cognizant. Yeah, I need, oh, I do have a healing potion. I don't need it. Oh, I forgot. Totally forgot my summons there. Not that I really needed it. All right, that's it's probably good enough. Uh, I do have enough for another heal actually. That's probably good. Cool, good timer. Chaos! Chaos indeed. And they got wrecked. Transmutation. It's just... Yeah. It's good. It does work. You just have to have the right blob. As with any AoE spell, you know. But. I like it. Let's take... Let's take the money. Oh, he survived. 
I died before betraying Barely. Oh. The supreme oh, can't reach him though. Damn it, he's just slightly out of range. Crap. Crap. Oh well. Um, hold up twice there. Cool. Yeah, let's get our income down or upkeep down, rather. Not that it's imperative, but with these gifts, yeah, it's really not that expensive. Change. Yeah, vortex pieces are two forty-five. That's that's a bargain. One forty-seven for a cactus. Yeah, it's not not bad at all. How much are these? How much are the the severed claw or one eighty-four? Oh my god, that's cheap. Cheapest chips. Okay, let's um, let's do that. And we're running out of options here. Oh, wait, what's this one? Oh yeah, definitely need that. Definitely need the missile resistance. Um, we got block. I usually prioritize getting that first because it can be, can be very useful. I don't use it very often, but it can be very powerful. Uh, I guess just sprint corruption. Whatever. And, um, let's do that. Cool. I serve only yeah, her army's. Not only bigger, but it's it's definitely a bit better, I think, too. These incarnates, um, they seem pretty good. They're unbreakable, which is actually pretty nice. Oh yeah, we're lowering the armor and speed of them. Changeling it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he stripped these guys of all armor. Look at that; they have zero armor. These guys have 60. Yeah, we're lowering armor by quite a bit, actually. I think it's 20 or 30 or so. Not bad. Hey, Sticks. Hey, buddy. I was wondering if the teapot was joining the creator thing that Legend is doing. Uh, the creator the creator thing, um, the multiplayer thing, I, I'm, I'm very much down for it. Yeah, very much down for it. That'd be fun. Um, I don't know. Do I need to sign up for it? I'm just not sure of the details yet. Not quite sure. I'll ask him. Alright. Deceiver. I mean, I can't really move anywhere. That, um... Or by move, I mean attack anybody. So let's just kind of tuck in over here. Uh. Beast, man. Let's talk to these haggard guys. Oh yeah, it's Torox. This is Torox's faction. Hey, bud. Oh, he doesn't have a lot of money. <laughs> Pay me anyway, bitch. That's good. That's a good cow. That's a good money cow. Oh yeah, Kairos. We need to confederate Kairos. Holy shit, I totally forgot about that. Um, That's going to be hard. He's rank one? Well, fuck me. Ah, he's got 18 settlements. He's, he's looking down on me. I'm nothing to him. Damn it. Hmm. Hmm. Kairos. Um. How do I? Ah. How fast the relation is going up with him? Not really. Yeah, he's not really concerned about us. I'm gonna give him a little money though. I'm on the radar. That's a little better. I'll buy him off. I forgot about him. Like all of last episode, I was just totally went over my head. Okay. That and the program where he's trying to help build up. Oh yeah, the the creator program. Yeah, I'm I'm a part of that. Yeah, yeah, I've been in that for a while. So. Yep, he was uh, gracious enough to to reach out and invite me. Went a lot to me actually. Went a lot to me. Okay. 
Um. Magic of change. Okay. Well, Draka is kind of piecing out, which is good. Let me learn. Let's top it at this. Yeah, I actually want to replenish. Teleport is deceiving, because it makes you think, after you teleport somewhere, like, oh, I'm still replenishing. I'm, you know. But you don't. You don't. You actually don't actually replenish. It's not the same as being in the camp, that's for sure. So... How far can you move, Draka? That's March stance? Okay. Let's come back up by help. It was kind of, kind of tucking up there. Ooh, need to be careful. Alright, well, I think we're fine up here. There. Good. Randall moved. Where's Drill Ass? There he is. Put on here. Cackling. Hey, it's Throg. Oh, he's coming back to take Norden back. He once had it. He's going after it again. He means business this time. I wonder what he's got in his stack. Could be good. Could be good. Zazel's lucky. He's lucky Draken did not take him to Pound Town. He is very lucky. Teapot is on a good burner, it sounds like. <laughs> ah, fire! <laughs> uh, do I want to. Uh, it's not worth the 3k quite yet. Eventually. That one's building up. Aaron Grad, right? I see that every turn and cry a little inside. It's alright. Okay, just checking my investments here. Okay. Crone. Right. Okay, good. Griso, good. That stone. Good. Let's build that up. I want to spread from here, too. Oh, we already got that building. Oh, right, that's what that does. Right. I'll do that. From here, there's some juicy spots. Yeah, Bordelow's over here. Ooh, that wine. Lucian's not making much. Oracle, though. Yeah, we, we cult there. Oh, I, that's right. Can we get a cult there, even though we have an outpost there? I don't know. Oh, figure it out. Fire, fire, fire. Rock, rock, rock. What is that from, Boba? What is that? It sounds familiar. Must remind me, Bubba. Uh, okay. Ah, the Wood Elves. Much like the um, the ogres, they just kind of they just kind of fuck over your ability to siphon off any significant amount of money from the settlement. Just kind of a just kind of you know. Shuts you down. I just want to siphon, okay? Is that ask too much? There's Aranessa. Oh, we spread here, okay. Um, almost out of money, though. Do I want to spread from here? Yeah, but we already have... We have this here. We're siphoning from Lucini. Do I want to siphon or do I want to make straight up? It's only 200. Eh, I'll leave it at siphoning. This this probably will get built up. It is a port. Um, let's go ahead and just make that. That's fine. Okay. Fairly odd parents. I don't think I ever saw that, actually. I really don't... Yeah. Maybe when I was a lot younger, but I don't think I've seen that. I've definitely heard of it. Definitely heard of it. But I don't think I've seen that one. I am 
Okay. That's about it. Keep searching seven turns there. And we're just kind of waiting until this building gets done. It's going to take a while. Is that Daniel? Daniel, you, you always look different. You're Mr. Potato. Um, he wants non aggression. Oh, he's buddies with Throg. So I guess. Sure. You're chaos, I'm chaos. Very well. Van Halen, baby. Went through a Van Halen phase back when I was uh, in my teens. All right. I shall wear your skin first. Better Don Balefire. That's a cool name. He's so cool, he doesn't even need a face. He's like, you just need to heal up. You're making me nauseous looking at your army every turn. In disarray. Come on. Um, Zarina? Unhand the Tarina. Zarina, what happened to your army? Did she have to cut down units? Her army shrank in half. Um, Zarina, I'm very confused. Where did they go? She kept her biggins. I see she kept her biggins. But maybe she handed off some units to this guy? No higher power than I. I serve only the motherland. I don't know. Well, regardless. Good, we're actually healing up with these armies now. And uh why aren't we invisible here? I feel like I should be invisible. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. Eddie Van Halen's over in Prague. Right, Chaos just go over here. Awaits. There, you can join him, stay invisible. Not that it really matters. Serena couldn't reach you okay, in one turn anyways. Tarina. Plus, we're going to dunk on her this turn as well. Bedla. Probably. Should we? Yeah, we probably should. The Ice Queen bows to no one. Yeah, let's move Randall first, though. Let's move him down here. Okay, slow, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're definitely building it back up. Um, should we siphon off more from it, Hundy? Yeah. I serve only the ice cold. Yeah, good. Okay. Come on, someone needs to settle Aaron Grad. Throg, is that what you're going to do? He doesn't know what he's going to do quite yet. He's, he's a little confused. Um... Yeah, let's do it. Malice. Oh, Zarina, what have you done? Now, what is the map? It's a field battle. That's fine. Yeah, we'll go ahead and find it out. Just for the sake. I want to see what three of these guys can do in an army. I mean, yeah, they're going to get shit on, but... Um, I still want to get a better feel for them. I, and I won't learn anything if I just auto resolve, so. We'll go ahead and fight it. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick, though. Gotta go pee. Be right back.
And Kales. <sighs> Got some coffee. It is pouring today. Today is just quintessential Pacific Northwest rainforest weather. Just. It's just dumping on me. But I, I don't mind it. I, I, I grew up in the rain. I was born in it. On your word. That changed me. Come for the gameplay, stay for the newt newts. Yeah. <laughs> yep, the newt newt. I'm glad Ash dubbed it the newt newt. It, uh, it needed a name. I didn't know what to call it. I just called it the kazoo noise, you know. But Newt Newt gives it character. I know. Um, you guys. Double cock. Double cock combo gonna get you. Alright, Zarina. Let's just drag him through the ringer. We got artillery. Wait, does she have artillery? Uh, no. I don't think she has a little grom. Okay. Well then. Oh, this is a hill. Excuse me. This is a bit better. Yeah, alright. We'll do this. Double ca combo. I guess like that. Sure. Gives us time to run around with our characters and kind of harass them. Um, double war shrine. It's it's just, I really don't need double war shrine. I shouldn't be running these guys on shrines, but whatever. Fuck it. It's fun, but I'm aware they're not the greatest. Infantry. You kind of in the middle. Oh, the big chonkers. Ooh, you have the new monsters. Can we get close to them? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Teapot has tea? No, no. I, I'm actually drinking coffee this morning. I do have a lot of tea upstairs, though. I was drinking some tea last night. I had some, uh... Uh, it was hibiscus herbal tea, actually. It was really good. I should have told Hibby about it. Hey, 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 Hibby. <laughs> Guess what I'm drinking? Teapot, shut up. Alright, uh. Yeah, these are the new monsters, aren't they cool? They're pretty cool. Good lord. Look how big they are next to War Shrine, too. Pretty big. They're, um. They look awesome, but their fighting animations are even cooler. Because these uh, these portals on their back act as little laser cannons, basically short range like laser of doom. You'll you'll see. It's pretty neat. Yeah, They're, it's pretty neat. Oh yeah, there's tentacles that come out of the ground. Look at that. That's pretty cool too. I wasn't expecting those tentacles. They come up and they get you. They'll get you. They, they tickle. They tickle it. All right. Let's not forget to change the changeling into his, his form, because I kind of forgot to do that last battle. I shall not do that. Not part well. Oh, nope. There. Not button. Chariot. Yeah, I'll still turn off Bart Will. Alright. Yeah, they're pretty dope. So basically, I, I, my, <laughs> my justification is that the war shrines are the herders. See? Each one has two, they herd. The shrines each herd two of the beasts into battle. And that's the story I tell myself, and it's fun. Alright, let's do it. Alright, Zarina, show me what you got. Ticklers. 
they'll, they'll, they'll creep up and get you. Alright, cannons, get ready to sing. Sing the song of the Empire people. For Zinch. Let's get ready. We are many. Switch up a little bit. Frost speed of ice. Should I send her the double cocks to go after? She's kind of isolated. She's on a bear, though. Wait till they get a little closer. And use you guys to flank units. Summon by whispers. Mm. Alright, let's drop some summons. Yeah, we're taking shots here. Let's go. Pretty handedly. Oh, you're the guy I wanted. Ah, uh, just get in there in the melee, it's fine. I'll send you over to help. There we go. Get in there. Where's the Doom Knights? Where are they? Okay, they're over here. Good. Good. How are we doing over here? Festus, you doing alright? Let's push up. Push up. Me too. Best to skip there and not blow any healing up there. She stayed there. Uh, I think mana. Yeah, you guys finish off him. Best to skip up here. There we go. Let's take a while to get up there. Fire this place. It's fine. Ways. We are many. Watch out. Fuck. Watch out. Doom Knights, I kind of forgot about you, I'm sorry, but you're alright. You're okay. Gold's character. Get 
Get transmutated, bitch. Get turned to fucking metal. See the lasers? Boom. Repug. Repug. We just ground him down. We just kind of turn him into paste. It's your halberds. I like this army a lot. I like this army a lot. It's magic dependent, as is, you know, customary of Zinch, but it's it's got tools. A lot of tools. Um, who needs to heal? Two knights. They may have lost too many units to benefit from this, but we'll see. Oh no, there we go. Woo! Good old Festus. The one Nurgle unit just holding it down for the rest of them. Healing up the glorious siege forces. I love it. Uh, let's do that too. Bit more out of it, mass. Nah, they've lost too many models. Alright, cool. Boom. Teapot always forgets the knights. <laughs> yeah, they, they take a beating. It's alright. They get the job done back there for me. And I appreciate them. When should my prayers for a Chaos Knight army be answered? Ooh. That would be fun. Um. Next time I play Warriors of Chaos. Yeah. Which I'm not sure when that will be. But at some point. At some point, not not too far from now, because I love them so much. Because I agree, we haven't we haven't done uh, a, a, a heavy like Bretonian style cav equivalent uh, with chaos. Um I guess we just raise it. I wish she had another option. I wish you could just sack it. You know? Again. Okay. Oh yeah, Zinch does have Chaos Knights. That's true. That's true. That is true. Um, let's go with that. With these gifts, if I do Chaos Knights, so I kind of want, I kind of want a variety of them. If we just have Zinch, we'll just have Zinchian Knights, which is cool for sure. But I think it'd be more cool to have a plethora of the different types of them in the same army. That would be pretty neat. Uh, let's get that. Thirty-one flavors, you know. It's like Baskin and Robbins. Different flavors of uh, Chaos Knights. Mm. Archeon would be good for that. Probably Archeon. I haven't played Archeon in a while. It feels like it's been a while. Um. Crime. This guy. Should probably just kill this guy. Five, not bad. For game three. By game three standards, that's pretty good. Magic of change. Cry. Get in there, Thrall. I get a piece of this pie. You've earned it, my furry little friend. Ringing uh, that looks good. Okay. Yeah, Zoof Bar stomping around. They're so powerful, Zoof Bar, that Belagar hasn't been able to confederate him yet. Or Thorgrim, for that matter. They're, they've maintained their independence. The Zoof Barian dwarves. 
It's kind of fun to see, actually. They're just taking over the Empire. And they have the moot, too. The irony. I guess it's fitting. It's not quite ironic. It's more fitting. <laughs> you know? Alright. Hey, Rude. What's up, dude? Last time we played Arcade, I think we stopped before we had the Rainbow Knights. Yeah, I, th I think you're right, Sticks. I do owe it to Archeon. I, I feel like if I'm going to do a knight army, it's going to be with Archeon. And we'll do that here soon. Have a rainbow knight. Call it rainbow knights, but spell it like, you know, nighttime. <laughs> Lady of the An impress. No, okay, I, I should, should share my ideas. <laughs> All right. It is, yes. Mm, yes, Hazel. Come on now. All right, drill ass. Come on down here. Um, let's talk with Kairos again. Yep. God, he's rank one. Luckily, he's not fucking with us. Uh, I should be thankful that that's not happening, at least. At least if he is, I'm not aware of it. <laughs> probably, probably is fucking with us, I'm just not aware. Shut up, take my money. A medium gift is 9,000, huh? Ah. Sucker. Hey, Torox, give me some money. That's not gonna work out, I don't think. No, nope. it's all right. Defensive allies. Uh, sure, but maybe we can foster Torox to you know being somewhat powerful. Yeah. Kairos number one strength rating. I know, I. Right? I remember that he existed, and I was like, oh, yeah, I haven't confederated him yet. Let's go take a look. And I discovered that he's rank one. I was like, fuck. <sighs> it's all right. Well, there's still a chance. At least Ikit really likes us, too. I mean, Kairos likes us. It's just we're, we're still a ways off com from confederating him. Um, oh, yeah, how close are we to getting nukes? We still, I, we're still a little ways off. We need to get the corruption up. We need to get corruption up at Skaven Blight. Mm. Ah. Oh, nice. We allied with Torox. <laughs> we can turn into the Brass Bull. It's funny. Changing does buff allied troops. He does, yeah, he does. I don't think I have that skill point yet, but he, but he does, yeah. And uh, a skin wolf, yeah, skin wolves would be good because they are friends with Raisin. Oh yeah, they are friends with Ravens. It's kind of what. Um, and we're friends with Throg. I think Throg. I imagine he has access to skin wolves. Sick be. Chaos. What would I get rid of, though, in this army? I don't know. I mean, probably the Doom Knights. I could transfer over the Flamers. I really don't need the Flamers in here. Let's get rid of these. They'll come back. We'll, I'll recruit them in another army. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can recruit some Skin Wolves. Skindles would go well in here, actually. Yeah. And Storm Vermin because they look funny in Zinch colors. Such colors. That's how I did that. Oh, uh, yeah, I imagine they do, yeah. Storm Vermin. Because normally, yeah, they're like that weird brown color. Brownish red. So all the lemons that got Kairos to strength rating one, yeah. <laughs> all that vitamin C. Okay. Uh, it's over here. Yevgenia. 
Evgenia. That's kind of a fun name. Um, it would be nice to get up into these mountains with some cults for the sake of siphoning off dwarves. Tebo, let's get you spreading a bit more efficiently there. Yeah, that's good. Alright, nice. We still have our cult at the Griffin Wood. Hot damn. That's good. Okay. Oh, Festus. He's stomping around. He'll beat up. And by a little, very. Um. I feel like he's being hunted. I think this gal's hunting him down. Uh, yep, yeah, you better watch yourself, Festus. Oh, he lost Altdorf. Damn. Well, like it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's he wasn't making up much money, whereas under the Empire control, they seem to be doing a more efficient job at prioritizing and building it up. Oh, right, right. Of course, it wouldn't make much money. It's not a dark fortress for Festus, so yeah, it wouldn't make much. That's why. So. I'll take a thought. I am glad it's under our hands again. We're actually making money off of it. Uh, yeah. Let's pull that up. Let's do it. Pump it up. Their armor is fully colored for Tretch, their off-white, for Ankari, their bright pink. Oh, I didn't realize it was full, fully colored. Oh, okay. In that case, yeah, they, it would be kind of extreme to see them in those, those brighter colors like that, yeah. For Tretch, they're off-white. Oh, yeah, you're. that's true. We did play Tretch recently, and Swarm Room were that, like, yeah. Watch Not, um, like a bone white. My Death Guard kind of look like that. They're like a bone whitish, grimy bone white. Bright pink for Ankari. <laughs> you know, it's freaking bullcrap. All mammals have the ability to make their own absorb ascorbic uh, acid, but God was like... Except you primates. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Except primates, right? Izzy can make her own vitamin C. This is true. That's why she can eat just meat and not get scurvy. It's not fair. Must hunt for our sea. Yep. Pick shit off vines. That's asking too much, God. Uh, it's hard, okay? It's hard. Boy, <laughs> uh. Now, I think. Oh, what we could be doing is this. Here, while we're here. Oh. Oh, right. Throg. Hold on. Throg. Well, I, I don't have an outpost with you yet. Right, right. Um. Okay. Okay. Wolfenberg. Where would be a decent place to build it so that is somewhat isolated? Um. The monolith. Oops. Crap. I mean, it doesn't really matter. At the very least, building the outpost it will help strengthen it, the garrison which we build it at. So, Troll Fjord wouldn't be a bad option to there on the coast. It's a little exposed over there. Wolfenberg, I don't want to build it there. Really moot. Um, that's not bad. Yeah, let's build it there. It's got access to good stuff. Armored skin wolves. Yeah, it's fine. Cool. Okay. What faction is to changing colors? Or what colors is the changing faction? Dark blue. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a. I am everyone. And no. Yeah, it's similar to that color of that flag. When we go into battle, I'll, we'll take a look at the warriors. <clears throat> kind of like an aquamarine. It's more of a turquoise. Yeah, it's like that color. 
Yeah. The storm room look good in that. Okay, so we got skin wolves on the way. Uh, we have a lot of allegiance points with Grom. Ooh. Got some stone trolls, why not? They're blue. Yeah, they fit right in. <laughs> oh, we'll try the black orcs. Oh, they'll look kind of interesting. Yeah. Every yeah. act of the arcane empowers the god of magic. And then we discovered whale and seal skin as more vitamin C, pound for pound, and citrus fruit. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's a pretty abundant molecule. It's in a lot of skin tissue. It's uh, used in the production of collagen, so it's everywhere. Not the production of it, but the, the constituents of it. If I remember correctly. Alright. That's why you see vitamin C in a lot of skin products. It helps strengthen connective tissue. Alright. Um... You could be recruiting at Legion stuff too, although you, you have a full stack. Um, let's just grab another Lord. Screw it. Now. Evil Eyeball, huh? It's not a bad one. None of these are my favorite. I was hoping for um, the the one that has missile resistance or melee defense. Those two are good ones. Um, familiar is not bad though. Cooldown reduction is not a bad thing. Entero. Entero. I have no idea how do you actually pronounce that. I'm assuming it's that. Close enough. I'm gonna be at level four. Rank four, cool. Yeah, I want a mortal one. That way, I won't feel, um, well, feeling bad is not the right way to say it. Um, I'll, I'll be more inclined to transform our other current mortal one, Venus Junior, into becoming a demon prince, and then we'll keep like a, a mortal one, mortal for good, right? Well, that's kind of what I'm thinking. For now, he's just gonna be used for taking off units for other current armies. Okay. Is Torox actually... No, he's not here. Where are you, Torox? He's out there somewhere. I can feel him. I can sense him. I can sense him. Alright, let's grab that. That. Indeed. Nice, that barely impacted our income. <clears throat> Let the supply line increase. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. Oh, what we also should do here soon, while we're waiting for this building to get completed, um, is do our quest for the staff. We haven't done that yet. Let's take a look. Oh, wrong button. Ah, this one, yeah. Trickster staff. Right, because it's got that built-in summon. It summons a doppelganger, effectively. Image of the changeling. It has snipe. He doesn't have a ranged weapon. I don't get it. It's, it's odd. Does the changeling have a ranged weapon? Is it here? Does the staff shoot something? I don't know. But regardless, more importantly, if it, if it, you know, whether or not it does have a ranged ability, it has the summon. I mean, that summon is a, a very powerful mechanic. The wind increases is nice, but I, what is there? Oh, nice. Okay, it does also give plus twenty power reserve minimum. That's pretty huge because that would go on top of our one thirty-five, which I think is what we currently have. One fifty-five. Good. That's really good, actually. For game three. 155 base. 
or, or max, I should say. Um, okay, what do we got here? What was it against? Oh god, dwarves. Uh, that has a good army, too. Double organ gun, huh? Okay. Okay. It's a good army, but we can do it. Um, I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of those Doom Knights. They'd be very helpful for that. Shiza. Hmm. Um, I'll wait for the Skin Wolves. I'm going to transfer over these Flamers, I think, into this guy's army. So I want to get two units of Skin Wolves. Yeah, I think two units of Skin Wolves would be nice. And they would act, in addition to our Double Cocks, uh, as the mobility. And the, the Burning Cherry as well. Kind of use the, the Skin Wolves as cavalry. Um, let's move. Right, the trio. I can't move. Come here, bud. Alright. Drill ass is moved. Okay. Alright. Outpost available with Festus. Right. I have a lot of points built up for him. What does he have access to? I don't think he's got much. Oh, God. Nothing. <laughs> We might, okay, let's just, might as well build him a brass keep. I guess. We'll help him defend it at the very least. Yeah, that's fine. Because eventually we will get a cult up there to siphon off money from him. Shh, don't. Tell him. Yeah. Turn one hundy. Let's go. Turn the fireplace off. Get a too toasty roasty. Woo. Toasty roasty. Trust in oh, stand up for a second. As Zaves will want some military lives. Um, yeah, I suppose that's okay. Very bitey, AP anti-large, somewhat slow cab. Yep, exactly. Nailed it. That sums up the skin rules quite nicely. They're, uh, I think they're my buddy Joe's favorite unit in the game. Pretty sure. He loves a good skin wolf. Oh, have you guys seen, speaking of skin wolves, have you guys seen Turin's um, screen cover, like screen blocker? That one of his fans drew him of the uh, the Skin Wolf condom brand, <laughs> custom condom brand that they created. I mean, it's not actually a brand of condoms, but Turin always he made a meme of it. He always thought that the the the, the label or title Skin Wolf sounded like a condom brand. Um, so one of his fans drew up like a, a mock brand image of a Skin Wolf dude, like sporting like you know, yeah. Buy Skin Wolf condoms. <laughs> it's really funny. Whoever drew it up is a really, really good artist. It's really well done. Very funny. The Skin Wolf condoms. Ugh. Yeah, what turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn. I, I, I've, I haven't watched him in a while, but um, he used that screen blocker for a good while. He kind of swapped between that screen blocker and a picture of Wookie, his, uh, his little doggo pug that passed a while back. Military alliance with his nasal. Excuse me. Um. Well, he's chill with Throg, so I suppose this is okay. Sure. Oh. Oh no, Draco, you birch. Can you actually... Oh. Go! 
Well, it sure didn't last long. Where did you come from, Trika? How are you able to move that far? Oh well. Your fate is at hand. Well, I thought he won for a second. I said, oh my god. I soloed it. Alright, well, sorry, Trio. Um Well, he did bait Trika up here now. So in Trio inadvertently sacrificed his life in order for us to swiftly take out Trika again. So thank you, Intrio. Alright, Artois. We have a castle there. And Akendorf. Where's Akendorf? Oh, right, right. And the lair of the Troll King. Man, we're spreading clothes everywhere now. Crazy. How much is this place going to make? Are the dwarves own it? So, not sure yet. Let's just build a spreader building for now. And... Uh... It is a capital. Let's go ahead and build off the siphon building. It's not going to make us much money right now, but it may eventually. F, I know. F, F for Entrio. It's all right. Whatever. Draca can move pretty far. I forget that. That's just like down here. Crazy. All right. Got an army there. Should I fight this rogue army? As you say. Would be some experience. Some cash money. Um, how many allegiance points do I have with Norsk at the moment? Not a lot. <clears throat> how much are the... Uh, our outpost isn't done yet, right? Once it's finished, I'll, I'll check to see what the cost of skin wolves are. I think they're probably like 18 or something like that. I'm around there. Ever change. Right, right, right. Can Venerus take this on? I think so. Magic of chaos. Deceiver. Mm. March out to right about here. <laughs> Just going nuts over there. Yeah, I'm tempted to fight this army. But at the same time... For once, I don't think we care about rogue armies. They can't destroy our cults after all. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Pandemonium yeah. Is my yeah, that's true. You don't need to really fight him. Let's, um... Let's march over to where Drake is. Or I guess we can teleport right next to her. Oh, how brutal. Now she's stuck in there. Probably. Sorcery consume you. Ugh! Oh, she's on the run. Oh, she's going to make it away. It's okay. Yeah, I can't reach her. Look at that reinforcement range, though. The changeling. So good. That's all right. She now realizes her mistake coming up here to finish off that lord. To take that lord out. Oh, right. This guy's recruiting. Is he safe there? Yeah. He's okay there. Get those stone trolls. Should be kind of fun. Yep. We're okay. We forced her to take a little attrition. Not a lot, but it's something. Randall, I want you to... Um, over here. Wait, no, we got, we got drill ass over here. <laughs> He's drilling away. Oh, look at that. Whoa, Lamasu. Holy crap, that scared me. Indeed you are. Indeed you are a demon iridescent. Okay, so... Damn, As Astrogoth lost his capital here in Muscalon. Interesting. How many settlements does he have? Eight. He's not doing too well. He's not doing too good. Daniel. 
Daniel doing even worse. I mean, his strength rating is higher, but he's only got one settlement. He probably is a fortress. I don't know. How's Twinkle doing? She's doing all right. Oh, yeah, speaking of Ulthuan, let's check our investment. Oh, no, I wanted to stay over there. There we go. Um, yeah, we're making quite a bit here. Good, Lothern's now making quite a bit more than it was like 10 turns ago. Good. Twinkle's got her outpost there. And it looks like they built a, an elven fairground building. A fairground. Mm, okay. Um, nice. Discoverability is nice and low. Let's siphon off more and increase our chance of spreading. So there's a lot of money to be made here. Yeah, most definitely. Okay. We haven't spread to Waterfall Palace yet, but we're getting close. I feel it. A lot of money to be made there. Probably a good 10G in total. So we got a full siphon second off. All right. Oh, let's let's check on pink capacity. How many pinks do we have? Come on, we're still detective, and I'm hoping when this building finishes, it'll put us underneath the threshold for being discovered. I hope so. Because uh, we're making a lot of money from that place. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, pinks. The axe for war. Good. Four out of five. These guys are mainly going to be agents. Ooh, Keymaster's good. Ooh. Well, that's pretty good, too, for the movement range, but Keymaster, quite good. I may have to put you in an army just for that trait. Okay, so I just watched this super old Jeff video. I've I haven't I've never done that actually. I haven't gone back and seen old legend or you know what I mean, young 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 legend. I haven't done that. I haven't watched any videos beyond maybe like three years ago, probably. I, I should try doing that. Because I keep hearing you guys talking about him and his voice and how it's changed. Super old Jeff video, God is at night and day, is super young. Before balls drop voice sounds like when he does when he's scaven voice nowadays. Oh. <laughs> ah. That's funny. Cause him and I are about the same age. I think I'm maybe like a few months older than him. But he has trained his voice. He's talked about it. Just he's he's trained his voice to become deeper, which you can do. Just uh, it just takes yeah consistency time. Once a cult is discovered, I don't think you can hide it again. Maybe need to destroy, it, rebuild it. Oh, damn. Oh well, it's all right. Yeah, you're probably right, huh? The settlement owner is now in a position to remove the trickster cult should they be willing to undertake the expense required to do so. Right. Um, oh, shit. So taking this up to tier three would siphon off more money. I'm taking the risk. It's only three grand to take it up a notch. If it gets destroyed, whatever. Let's go ahead and do it. It's already discovered. Sucks to be you, Draco. Oh, right, because that lowers the amount of money she makes from it, too, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> income from all buildings, local region owner. Oh, plus 50%. Oh, no, it does help them out. Right. Whoops. I'll make them more money. Oh, it helps them out, but in doing so, we make more money from it, too. Oh, I get it. Okay. 
So we're helping her out, but we're also... Got it. Okay. That's fine. Makes us more money. God, the heralds are just the heralds and saints are just nutty as hell. I love it. They are nut jobs. I like them. Mr. Pinky. Okay. Um, we could do our quest battle. Oh, right. oh no, I wanted another mobile unit in here. Yeah, I think I'm going to transfer. Let's do that now. Let's transfer in. Ah, fuck, I can't reach him. Here. Take this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when I let Korn out of his throne room? Lock Korn out of his throne room. <laughs> Changing such a troll. Um, okay. I just wanted to beef out the army a little bit more before we do that staff battle. Because that dwarf army is pretty good. Just to be safe. Randall. Yes, Randall, yes. Come down here, little buddy. Where's drill ass? There you oh, you already moved. Right. Oh, layer. Let's build. You know, we have lots of room for expansion northward into the east. And these places aren't making very much. Oh, Cracker Track's making a little bit. Oh, Under Pyre's making 420. Okay. Uh, let's spread up there. Let's do that. And, oh, we're out of money. All right, that's fine. Alright, Drek is pinned in, kind of. See what she does. Darn. Uh, uh. Out of curiosity, do y'all think big streamers like Jeff have like legal and monetary lawyers? Uh, yeah, probably. He probably does have a, a lawyer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah, I asked because he made a funny comment on a Koi's vid years ago, but it well, got me thinking of a streamer's life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he does. I'm not certain, but I, I, I'm pretty sure he does. Or he does. Um, Torox. What do you want? Well, these are the guys up next to me. No. Torox? I, no. That's your issue. <laughs> He's not the brightest bull, but he, uh, he tries hard. He tries hard. Okay. Oh, there we go. So Zufbar finally got confederated by Krasi Crack. I made a cool with Essen. And Grunzig. Okay. okay. I might as well build some of this stuff up before I forget. Let's do that and that. Grunzig, huh? Okay, I'm just place making not a lot. Spread money, Craig Ziflin. How much are you making? Quite a bit, actually. There is there's dye there. Let's siphon off from that. And spread. Good. Actually, no, we don't really. Uh, no, wait, no. Yeah, spreading spreading's warranted here because we don't have one yet at Blackstone Post. I do so. Artois, you need some buildings. Artois making four forty two. But probably go up, so we might as well siphon. And spread. Siphon and spread. To the coast we go. Yeah, these coastal settlements will be making quite a bit. Leoness got raised, which is interesting. Okay. Oracle. Not making all that much. What tier is Oracle? Five. Hmm. Oh, right. It's got our. <laughs> it's got a blue horror in there and a forsaken unit. Nice. You're welcome, Grom. You're welcome, buddy. 
All right, a lot of space up here for potential buildings. Um, I guess I'll build that. And I mean, we could just fill all these out with pink buildings. Um, or any of the hero capacity ones. I think those are probably what we'd want next on the menu. But that does increase discoverability by a little bit. So for here, we want to lower it back down. So let's build that to counterbalance it. Same with here. This is nearly discovered, so let's build up those two. Don't want to get discovered. Can we rename cities our cults are in? Uh, maybe. Can we? Well, I'll check here. Uh, it might be uh, the most pretty trolling we can do is the changeling. Yeah, that would be, that would be pretty trolly. <laughs> Fort Bergbris. Bergbris. It's a funny word. The forts don't make much, so no reason to siphon from that. So let's build that. That. Although we don't need to siphon from there. That costs maintenance, so yeah, we won't build that. Bergbris. Oh, Dromar. God, we have so many cults. Montanus. Oh, here we go. Good. Let's build the spreader. And we might as well siphon from it, I guess. Sure. Ooh, yeah. Magrid is making 1700. The lobby, about the same. Nuja. Tabaro, okay. Oh, Tabaro. Oh, you got your buildings. All right, good. God, we're chafing now. The gold spread everywhere. Oh, yeah, look at the money. It's coming in now. Uh, although we spent it all. Nice. Oh, no, not nice. We were discovered at the hell pit. Well, who discovered us? Oh, the Skaven are there now. Really? Huh. Over expansion of Trixie's Cult to help it is light to be discovered. Whatever. Oh, wait, what? Cult and help it has led to it being discovered by not for display. Rebel faction. <laughs> not for display. Rebel faction. They may not decide to allocate. What? So, okay. So, a rebel. Rebel Skaven faction must have settled it. Well, I can't see it, but that explains the Skaven corruption there now. Yeah, whatever. That's the raven souls changing all under its wing. The Alt Dwarf City Council has unanimously voted to rename the city Stinky Buttsville. <laughs> has it now? Uh, yeah, I don't think I can rename it. That would be funny, though. Yeah. Damn it. That would be funny. Yeah. One of the new DLC races, yeah. <laughs> Suspiciously blue general sweating. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> to command me. Oh, what are you gonna do, Throg? Yeah. Oh. You think he'd be taking Aaron Grab? Oh no, he's chasing down Igor. Fair enough. Okay, so... Oh, Drake is trying to make a, a run for it. Can we reach her in teleport stance? Oh. Oh, I can't quite reach her. Damn it. Ah, oh, so close, too. Like, just a, a sliver. Like a pixel away from being able to reach her. Damn. Um... Yeah, I'm not too worried about her taking up the tower. No way, she's just gonna... These haggard dryads are not going to crank through a bunch of chosen. No. Alright, well, let's, um, uh, let's, let's transfer over, okay, we got our trolls, yeah, here we go, let's transfer over some units, I need to march, I need to march you over here. And you take the flamer. Take, take this chariot too. Yeah, these these units are good, but I just have to babysit them. 
And I just want to, I want a monster mash, basically. You guys come over here. And with that capacity that we made, let's hop in and check out. Oh, it's not done yet. Fuck. Is it next turn? Yeah, okay, next turn. We should have just enough, I imagine, pretty close to just enough allegiance points to get two units of skin wolves. Which is what I want. And we'll do the quest book. Change beckons. Mm, let's get you out of that stance. And we're not hidden up here. Damn it. Hopefully they don't destroy it. Damn it, if they destroy it, it's going to take all of our progress towards working towards Norska. The stupid hell pit. I could just attack it. Destiny beckons. Nothing's there. Wait, what? Do nothing. There's no one there. Who discovered it? No. I mean, come on. That's dumb. No one settled it. That's silly. It shouldn't be discovered. Perpetual flux is the very heart of chaos. Well, while we're here, we can recruit... Um, let's get rid of these blues. Are you worthy to search And we can grab... Oh, let's hop into this stance. What do you want? What do you need? What tickles your pickle? Um... Let's go some black orcs. 26, huh? Oh, damn, we have enough for one. Well, I can get two more stone trolls. Just just enough for two more stone trolls. If I wait till next turn, I can get a second unit of black orcs. I think I'll do that. I want to get the black orcs. We already have two stone trolls. Okay. Only constant. Only change is constant. That's true. That's true. Only constant is change. Perhaps both are true. Ask an alpha. Oh. Okay. Making quite a bit per turn, actually. Right. Just hang tight. Oh, forgot to move our heroes. Let's, uh... Where's Drill Ass? Did we even come down this way? I mean, staying up here isn't a bad area to be monitoring. Snake could be set for this pathway here, this channel. Um, but I'm kind of curious to see what's going on down here. Blah, 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 blah. Katarina of the Ice. Oh, certainly. All right, look at everyone else has moved. Randall, oh no, you haven't moved, Randall. Um, Randall, come over here. Good man. Little pinks, and they just, charming little fellows. Just created the B5 event for Saturday. Noise, noise. Oh yeah, I'm excited for some B5. My weekly dose, just plug it right in. Oh, uh, yeah. That was quite a good show. Where's this Azel? Oh, there he is. There he is. The exalted he still hasn't healed up yet. What is he doing? AI is so bad about that sometimes. They'll just, like, push them the souls to the limit. Instead of actually healing up their armies. It's like, dude. You need some rest. You need to regen. Hmm. I'm gonna go potty real quick though. Caffeine, it's diuretic, and it's flowing right through me. Be right back. Go quick.
Hum, 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 hum. Gives me a chance to troll Satan, but he doesn't understand. <laughs> what do you mean? Doesn't understand about B5, you mean? Like, he doesn't, he doesn't see the glory that is Babylon 5? Does, uh, does Satan still stream? Our Norwegian friend? Wait, is he Swedish or Norwegian? He's Norwegian, right? Awesome. I know, I... <laughs> I feel bad, because I, I, I should know the difference, and they'd probably get pissed at me for not knowing, the, like, which one's which, but... I, I have a handful of friends now that... I kind of have a hard try remember a hard time remembering which one's from Sweden and which one's from Nor Norway. That'll be Santa for Xmas. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> he does about once a week. Dope, dope. Okay, cool. I like I like Satan. He's a funny guy. He's a jolly fellow. Swedish for real. He okay, he is Swedish. Got it, got it. Yeah, he's okay. Ark is Norwegian. Got it, got it. Got it. I knew what it was either or. It's he's the one from Sweden. Got it, okay. Oh good. Nice. We got a cult down at Brock Bar. Yeah, I'd love to go to Sweden and Norway someday. And Denmark. Just do like a, a little trifecta. Bounce around. Hell, throw Finland in there too. Just a little quadfecta. And just see like at least one metal show in each country. That would be a fun goal actually. Go to one metal show. At least one. If not you know, a handful of metal shows. In, in each of those countries. That, that would be fun. May have to be on the buck list now. It's official. That would be dope. Uh, spread and siphon. It's not making much yet, but this place can make quite a bit. It's both a port and their size there, so. Probably worth siphoning. Crash it, crack. Only making a, th a grand. What's going on here? That's Bush League. What's going on there? Yeah, Thorgrim's not not building the place up all that well. Okay, a gun bag. There's the there's the big time. Gun bag is is always the money maker of these mountains. The big old gold mine there. Yeah, we we're, we're gonna want to get a cult up there. Slowly, we're working that way. Proliferating. Love that word. Proliferate. Slowly going over there. Go ahead and build that. I will deny if you tell him that, though. <laughs> okay, I, I won't tell him. <laughs> you think he's cool? I won't tell him. You what? Maybe Satan can give you some homemade beer. Oh, he makes beer? Awesome. I would gladly try some. Yeah. Definitely. It's Yeah, I like trying people's homemade beer. For sure. For sure. I thought about doing that. Actually, I, I took a beer brewing class in college for fun back when I was I was drinking a lot of beer at the time, craft beer and stuff. And I was at a college that um, was kind of known for its beer making. They had a, a bachelor's you could get there. Um, a lot of the brewers around Washington, Seattle, would, had gone to school at the college I went to for that. Um, it was just for fun, though. But... Um, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. It's it's a, it's a fun process. Not this officer. There's a lot to it. A lot of nuance to beer making. I wasn't aware of. Um, let's siphon off a bit more from here. Yeah. And yeah, spread a bit faster. Good.
RE4, um, oh, Resident Evil 4, you're right. The DLC out two months. Nice, nice. Ten dollars for five to seven hours of gameplay. See, I take notes. Yeah, it's, that's good. That's good. That's very cheap. It's a good price for a DLC, for sure. Um, is that the one that has uh, Miss Wong in it? <laughs> What's her name? Uh, Anita? Is it Anita Wong? Could be wrong there. Oh, I'm sorry, Alpha. Don't hate me. <laughs> Pretty sure her last name is Wong, though. Oh, Trika, you're in the Thunderdome. Frog? Oh, wait, I don't want to tell him to attack Tark because I need to save those points for uh, using them right now. On these guys. Where are they? Ooh, Famir could be fun, too. Ooh, Famir, great weapon. 37, though. Ah, skin wolves are 24? Shit. Uh, I thought they were going to be, like, 18. Uh... Those aren't even the armored ones. So, yeah, damn, I, I wanted to get two of them, but I can't afford to. Um, oh, whatever. We'll just grab the one. And Venris, let's transfer over a unit. I need a bit more mobility to take on these dwarves, so I think I'm going to take the Screaming Rays. I know they're anti-large, which is not needed when you're fighting dwarves, but I can do it anyways. Ada. Yeah, Ada Wong. Ooh, Alpharius' future waifu. <laughs> Ada Rios. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty cute. Miss Wong's pretty cute. Um, yeah, let's get those little scree shrieking rays, screaming rays, whatever they're called. Lord Conjurer. Of cheap tricks. Let's get you in that army. I just need some more mobility. Chaos awaits. Okay, so next turn, we have our Skin Wolves, and we'll do that battle. Uh, I could even transfer over some... You know what? Let's do that. Let's transfer over... I foresee your these two warrior halberds. Yeah, swap them out. Shall I teleport? There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stone Trolls. They're blue. You know? Yeah, so we still retain some of our halberds for sure, some very elite halberds. We're talking cream of the crop. Cream of the crop. <laughs> uh Maddie Savage. What a what a guy. Um Rank nine, chosen halberds of Zinch. Oh yeah. Sever claw. Stone Trolls. I'm liking this army. This is great. Shrieking Rays. We, we have some mobility just to get on top of those gun crews. Yeah, be fine. Hell, the Skin Wolves are blue too. They'll fit right in. If you're blue or pink or some hue of either of those two, you'll fit right in. Throg, you're blue. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in, Throg. Oh. Oh, this guy took Aaron Crad. No. <laughs> ah, damn it! God. <laughs> no. Fuck. It's not funny, Eddie. It's not funny. All right, Eddie's laughing at me. God dang. It's a freaking stink pile. It's a stinky stone. 
It's not gonna make anything. Shit. Oh well. It's okay. It's alright. Let's talk to him. Hey, Torox. Yeah, whatever. Enjoy Aaron Grad. Lame. Alright. Well, let's build, uh. Let's build that, I guess. Build that. Okay. Prog. Prog's taking quite a bit. Kislev. Yep. Okay. We still have our good Draka, you sucker. I'm gonna keep leeching off of you while I can. Um, top line is discovered. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, yeah, I need to keep that down. I don't want it discovered. Right. Wiseman, let's build that up. Yep, that's good. Dope. Okay. Good. Yeah, I don't know. I can't see what's in Throg's army. Um, he's level 33, level strike at 27. I just, I don't know. It just depends what's in Throg's army, but she has the tools. At least in the hands of the player to take on a lot of Norse can be, which, which kind of suffer in terms of leadership oftentimes. And she, she capitalizes on that. So, you know, she, she tanks leadership, so she could do well there, but it's odd to resolve. I just I don't know how AI is going to play out there. You. So we have you up here. Over here. Stay down here. Good. Where's drill ass? Alright. Ooh, wow. Okay, we found Ungra. Ugh. Gross. Machman had the best pronouns. Or promos. Yeah, <laughs> he hates it. Dude, I love Randy Savage. He's amazing. I've, I was kind of weirded out by him when I was younger. I was like, I just didn't get him. Just thought he was just like, you know, a jerk. But I've I've grown to actually appreciate his genius. <laughs> so I've gotten older, it's just great. Dude, yeah, Randy Savage. Oh man. I have no time for this. Okay. Well, let's just keep an eye on her, I guess. Definitely has a scary army. I want to keep eyes on it. How much is this making you? A little bit. Yeah. I mean, the dwarves, they, they'll make at least a, a fair bit at each of their settlements, typically. They're very industrious, the dwarves. Okay, got a pink here. Let's bring him down this way. I think we have more capacity for pinks. Oh, no, no we don't. We could have Chaos Sorcerer, though. Which are great in armies because of that um, extra barrier replenishment skill they get, which is quite good. Let's go with... I don't know. I guess, familiar? Sure, why not? Alright, you, I'm gonna put you in an army. Come up here. Come on this way. Oh fuck, why did I recruit him down there? Gar! <laughs> oh well. Urson's entrails? Wow. Gross. Alright, Venris, you stay put. Are you invisible now? You're not. Let's go ahead and go ahead and ambush here. Oh wait, do we have any other? Let's see. Oh, I'm hop into stance. Um. Right. The black orcs. Right. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The black orcs. Wheeling synergy of sorcerous science. Yeah. This is gonna be funny. 
seeing these just dummy stone trolls get in there. I'm gonna have all sorts of healing too. Oh yeah. So serious. What up, Master Goth? How's it going? Relax. I have no reason to hold back. Okay. Um. Not opposed to this. Oh, Izzy. Are you outside? Well, I think Izzy wants in. One sec. Hold on, baby. I hear you. Come on. You're okay. No. You're fine. She's pissed off that I forgot about her out. Outside the room. Sorry, boo boo. <laughs> there she is. Easy cam. She's eating her leftover breakfast. Good girl. Good. Yeah, she was good about not gorging. She she just kind of yeah. She has a healthy appetite. She doesn't undereat. She doesn't overeat. It's kind of nice. I've had a cat in the past that loved to gorge, named Ted. <laughs> Big Teddy. Whew. He liked to eat. Big Ted. Um. Um, uh, sure, why not? Good boob. Is it time, Izzy? Do we overthrow the order? <laughs> nah. Yeah, probably. Just toss me out of here, put Izzy in my chair. She does that. She's been she's been stealing my chair sometimes now. Even though she has her own desk chair, literally five feet that way. Ooh, Astrogoth, right. We can turn into a cripple. <laughs> He's powerful. He's in a suit. He's got those legs. Astrogoth's pretty good. I just, you know, he is quite good. He's quite good. His, his lore, he's fairly mobile. He's able to wade through stuff pretty well. Those long legs, I guess. Staff of change. Well, this is different. Interesting. One use, explosion, I see. Activates automatically when conditions are met. Oh, and they get low on HP. Just blows up. <laughs> That's kind of fun. So it allows him to escape a, a crappy situation, basically. I get it. Ooh. Now, this is good. This item will fit nicely in... Not this army, but Venerus' army. So let's give it to Venerus. Um, that would be... We could give him... Let's give him this... So give you that. This, yes. Because he has quite a few um, ranged units in this army. Lots of horrors. We could probably fuse some of these items. Scroll of Blast is kind of meh. It's only got one use. That's better. Scroll of Power is okay. I'm going to fuse these two, though. Lot of these. All right, let's just give you. Well, I'll give you a trickster shard. That's all right. Any ancillaries? I do have lots actually. Give you those. Oh, that's pretty good. Give you that. I'll take that one as well. Whatever. Some good stuff here. Yeah, I'll take that. A gift of scene. on this item will make a fine addition to my collection me. Whatever you say, General Grievous. <laughs> General Grievous. 
We got our derpy stone trolls. We got our furry skin wolves. I think we're ready to fight some dwarves. Should we? Shall we? We should. Changing his gear is crap, but um, it's fine. He's Festus. The staff would be cool, though. I, hmm, I'm wondering if we'll be able to use the staff's ability while we're in Festus form. That I don't know. Probably. Who does the cloned image make of another image of the, the of Festus if we're in his form? That would be cool. We'll just have to find out. That's why we're gonna do this battle to get that damn staff. Let's do it. So let's review. Okay. It's a good dwarf army. Luckily those gyrocopters are not brimstone guns. Um, so I'm not worried about them. Uh, those The steam cannons aren't that good against armored infantry. Um, the organ guns are the biggest threat here. What? What? What do you want? I'm busy. No, I'm busy. No. Busy poo. I'm busy. I'm on the internet. Not now. She wants into my lap. Busy. <laughs> no. I don't want cuddles right now. This is basically her demanding cuddles. Which requires me sacrificing one of my arms to uphold her. So... <laughs> no! No! I don't want cuddles right now. I'm busy. Is he? No! I don't want cuddles. Not now. You go lay down over there. <laughs> you go lay down on the other chair. I don't want... No, I don't want cuddles right now. No. No. Hey, Mildy. Hello. And Kanuko. Hey, guys. Hey, you two. Were you guys just doing some content? You guys showed up at the same time. The wild boss appears. <laughs> she she is my boss. She's swatting at me. <laughs> no. Izzy. No. I don't want you in my lap right now, boo. She was just smacking my thigh. <laughs> Ow. No. You go lay down over there. You have a blanket. I'm gonna put her in her blanket. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What did you make here? Ah. Yeah. Pet her until she slashes your arm. Should be just a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. I set her in her little nest on the recliner. She has two other chairs she could be in right now. Um, one has a blanket, a nest, in the shape of like a, a blanket in the shape of a nest. She doesn't want it in there. Oh no. She wants the lap, but I can't sacrifice an arm. I need both hands for this. She's just gonna have to be patient. All right, what are we gonna do? Oh yeah, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, the staff. I don't know how it's gonna function or in other forms, but we'll find out. Uh, 
Hey, look at that. We get these. We get Ernst. <laughs> Ernst saves Christmas. <laughs> Remember that guy? Those movies. <laughs> Ernst. I used to love Ernst. That guy. Those movies are so funny. So dumb. Ernst wasn't just like a janitor. <laughs> it's just like... Uh, so, so 90s. I love it. Ernst Saves Halloween. <laughs> that was a good one. Ernst Saves Halloween was good. Uh, I bought the big uh, Strout Eklund square bow. Oh, you did? The big one? A big fucker? Nice. You'll have to show me that later. I want to see that thing. Yeah, the, the one that we saw that um, when I was watching you play yesterday, the, the one that landed and dropped off those troops. I was like, oh, go inside that one, but it took off while you were on top of it. Yeah. That one, right? Something like that. You need a Blofeld stream where we can't see you, but only your lap with your cat. <laughs> what? Is that a thing? Huh. Just aim down at my crotch. It's just basically an Izzy cam. Hmm. I suppose I could do that. Get like a an arm to hold a a cam top down. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. I do have an extra webcam. I was gonna give it to Hibby, but she bought one. Uh. Okay. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad. What's the map? Oh, weird. Okay. So we're coming in behind these forces. We're going to be engaged with these poor bastards. I mean, these guys are screwed. These guys are just going to get organ gunned. Hmm. All right, let's do it. Ernst goes to camp. Yeah, Mikhail's exactly. <laughs> Ernst goes to camp. That's right. Do I need to watch those again? The Ernst movies. Ernst saves Halloween or whatever it was called. The Christmas one. The camp one. Right. This is so absurd. It's just like it's like a time traveling what is the janitor. Of life? What the hell? Oh wow, the cinematic, cool. Let the Tawi think they have a chance, even if they live long enough. The Ooh. truth will not spare them from slaughter. Oh shit, they're facing us. Damn it. Ah, thought they'd be Take facing the other way. One. Fuck. Oh well. We got a barrier. The dwarf's pride makes them such low-hanging fruit. Okay. Oh, did I shut the window? Shit, it's trash day. Hold on. And men. So and baby. blinded by their greed that they do not Oh, I did. It was shut. Okay. We're good. What a shame the others do not want oh, cool. to come out and play. Should this is quite a pre-battle cinematic. Perhaps they yeah, get out of here, Cafe. My staff has merely been the carrot, and I am the stick. Hmm. Let the game begin. Okay, interesting. It's kind of cool out there on the hold like that. We're getting shot by organ guns. Let me control my troops. Oh, wait, no, we're not. We're good. I thought I heard an organ gun fire. Uh, any future games you're thinking of playing, Tom? As a games you want to play in the near future? Could be old ones from years ago you never got around to. Man, that is such a good question, Alpha. I just don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot of games. Um, 
I, I do need a branch outside of Total War. I should go back and play some FPS games. I want to finish Doom uh, 2016. I got... I played it for like a couple hours. Maybe three, four hours. And it was on my old PC and it couldn't run very well. It was... You know, I was on running like low-medium graphics. But I want to ultra the shit out of it. And give, you know, give those a proper playthrough. Um... So that, that's just an example of one game that I want to go back and, and finish. It's Doom. And then I want to get the new the newer Doom. Um, so there, there's a bunch of others too. We'll talk about it later. I, cause I yeah. You've seen my <laughs> you've seen my wish list. It's fucking horrendous. It's now like four hundred and ninety games. It's gone up. And I've purged it too. I've gone through. I need to purge again. But I got rid of maybe like 20 games. But I've added like 40. So. You know. Spice Wars. Yes. Yes, Kanuko. That's another one. Yeah. Actually, I talked to Legend about that the other day. I asked him if he was going to be playing that. Because um, I, uh, I, I think that looks cool. Spice Wars looks good. It was on sale the other day, and I, I was going to get it, but I didn't. And then I went back to look at it again, and it came off a sale. I was like, fuck. So, Spice Wars is likely. Spice Wars is... Um, I don't own it yet, but I... Um, <clears throat> it is a game I, I could see myself getting in the next couple months. Ideally on sale, but, you know. Unless they want to give it to me for free. I would stream it. Um... Hold on, let's get these trolls. Look here. Awaiting orders. It's a nice little hill. The Empire ensures. Okay, well this is gonna be crazy. Um, those are Slayers, right? Shit. All right. Um, ah, Slayers. Always on the flanks, waiting for Cab. Um. Yeah, we'll get time to play all the games. System System Shock's another one. Yep, System Shock's another game I want to play. The remake looks awesome. Troll, lol, lol, lol. Um, God, these stupid slayers. Actually, I want these shows to kind of come up here. Keep the shrines back a little ways. When I buy you Golem, you're playing it and can't return to normal stream so you beat it by above my precious. <laughs> Jesus. Um, did it... Was Ash saying she was going to play that game or something? I'll play that game, but only with her. If it's it is co-op, right? <laughs> the Golem game. Oh, right. It's because she likes Lord of the Rings a lot. She's like, I don't know if she's obsessed with Lord of the Rings, but I, I hear she really likes Lord of the Rings. Ready for war. <laughs> the Golem game. <laughs> All right. I need to focus. Ah. All right. Guys, stupid slayers. Alright, let's just go. Oh wait, control group's right. Which I know you need to be two. You be three. Yeah, there we go. Pika needs to be microed. Yeah, stay back. So, first priority is getting on top of those damn organ guns. Um, Golden Griffin. Let's put you on a flank, actually, so you don't charge right into on facing thunders, because thunders will, yeah, they're good anti-air, those thunders need to keep you back. Same with our cocks on the side. The flanking cocks will hit from this side. Yeah. Um, okay, well. Let's charge in there. Uh, oh, you could be five. You guys can be six. Oh my god, so much mobility. So I, I prioritized my control groups by 
what's going to require the most micro. So least micro intensive usually don't get control groups. But fast stuff typically does. Fast and or they have a lot of abilities. That's how I prioritize my control groups. So characters generally first, then single entities, ranged units, that kind of stuff. Although single entities that are, yeah. Certain single entities aren't going to require a lot of micro like these guys. Although, uh, fuck it, here, take a control group. Sorry, mode. <clears throat> Only if Tom indulges him to Gollum cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> Just like naked wearing like a loincloth. <laughs> Close enough. Oh good, they turned around. Get on top of the... Get on top of the guns. Get on top of the guns. Get on top of the... Oh, talk about a... Dowie meat patty. And they're dead. <laughs> and they're dead. Killed a messenger. Where? Where is he? Oh shit. Oh, my tanks! Oh, no! Down. Cox! Cox, get after that messenger. Cox, get in there. Come on. Golden Griffin, I need you in the air. All airborne units, get airborne. Get him! There we go. Garbage day. Yeah, <laughs> take it out the trash that is the dwarves, right? Oh, get out of here, messenger. Nicely done. Handgunners taking him down. Thank you. One more volley. Boom! Nice. Nice and done. Slays are fighting hard as usual. Alright, Cox, get over there. I guess we can use that. Take him down. Shoot up! Shoot up! <clears throat> Psychotic powers. Yeah, I want some psychotic powers. Sounds fun. Oh, this guy's still alive. Of course he is. Of course he is. Who needs heals? The doctors, yeah. Go soldier. Boom! Out of my way, Empire troops. You're in the way. Get out of here. Boom. Let's see, what do I got for you? What do I got for you? I got one of these. And I got... 
got one of these. I should use that. Oh well. Many eyes shall see. And yeah, smash one. Take him out. Hold on, Festus. Another heal. And heal the trolls. Accelerate their healing a little bit. There we go. Oh! oh. We tried. Yeah, not bad. I expected a bit more resistance there, but uh, the AI made the mistake of turning around initially. I don't know why they did. They didn't really open fire at us. They could have done a bit more damage. Probably not a ton, but they. Uh, or maybe that was intended. Maybe they were supposed to just turn around and, and be um, distracted by the Empire troops behind them or something. I don't know. Masked them up good. And look at that. Empire troops were uh, successful in staying alive. So will take the money. Hey. Easy, what are you doing, boo boo? <laughs> Alright, we got the staff. Excellent. Good. Let's take a look at it. Unpredictable. Unforeseen. Okay. Creates an image of the changeling. So I have a feeling it's just going to be the changeling's form and not the form of uh, whichever hero he happens to be in the shape of. That's my guess. Find out. The changeling. Um, is there anything else I want to buff up in terms of the red line? No. No, we got rid of those units in the army. Knights, Doom Knights. Uh... Oh, Renowned Fear, right. And probably the Punishment. Yeah. Good. Wow, look how cheap this army is now. Cheap as chips. 100 gold? Oh my god, for the Vortex Beast? Jeez. Love it. That is some massive reduction. Beautiful. We were of infinity. Indeed. All right. Yeah, it's time to start stacking mentor. It's uh, entering that part of the game, of the campaign, where stacking that really does make a difference. Yep. Okay. And. Yep. Yeah. They're blue. They fit right in. This win is mine. It is so cheap it feels like playing Starfield. <laughs> Played Starfield. Oh, come on, Miley. I know it's not perfect. I mean, no, you're right. Your your argument as to why the game's lacking. Kanuk and I were talking about it a lot last night, actually, why it feels hollow. And I, I agree with you guys. But I, I still, I do want to get it. I hope they add more to it. Hope it gets flushed out, you know. Just kind of feels shallow. Um. Oh, Zarina. All right, help it. Five more turns. Stay in there. It should complete itself because there's no, there's no faction here. There's no one here. It's not settled by anything. If I attack it, I can't do anything here. There's there's no escape in here. I thought there were, or I thought there was, but it's not. Very strange. Well, we won that battle. We have our staff. We can, uh, let's see, how far can we move in teleport stance? Well, there's Strika. Oh, I could reach her this time. Oh, Birch. Royal. Can I reach you? Not quite. Ooh, I can reach Serena too. Ooh. 
Oh, the birch. The great conspirator foresees your um, so if I do take out Drake, uh, it is treason to command me. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this army. Let's take, yeah, let's Deceiver. take her out. Hold still, Draka. Yeah. Oh, brutal. Could just auto. We'll fight it. I wanted to try the staff out, for sure. <laughs> of course, there's no rabbin. Of course, there's no better skaven. There's no such thing as skaven. Starfield is like a good tablespoon of jam spread over a king-sized bed of, yeah, a slice of toast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a good analogy. Or like Bilbo once said, butter spread over too much... No, you know what I mean. Butter spread over too much bread. Okay. You there, put you there. Okay. The little stank. The stank is strong. Who we shoot at with the stanks? Probably just these bears. Kagunga. You guys can. It's a lot of large units over there. Use that for them. And then you guys, skin wolves, let's bring you, let's keep you on this side too, actually. You can protect the stanks. Not that they really need protecting, but you know. You know. Alright, and we'll use these guys to waddle in and harass and retreat. Like that. You guys are anti large too, actually. You can go over here. Pick them apart. Now, the cocks could be used to take out these glade captains. Same with you, actually. Oh, look at that. That's cool. A Lord of Trange, protected by double cockatrices. Cockatrice? Cocks. <laughs> Cockatrice. Is, cocks is plural. <laughs> uh, Alright. Don't need to overthink it. That changeling. Changeling. All right, let's do this. Bloop. Should go after Draco. Take her out. Oh yeah. Cox. I think Woodlows are just so serious. There we go. Keep on Drake up. Keep on her. Fess, I need you over there. Ok, 
God, she keeps resetting my cooldowns. God dang. That's annoying. Take her out. There we go. Grind him down. There we go. Whew. Draco. Get her. Whew. Shit's hard. She's annoying. She terror routes. Everything in your army. We're okay. Whew. Stone trolls. Yeah, they look kind of cool. Zeeshin stone trolls. Their loincloths are blue. <laughs> Imagine the smell. Not as bad as river trolls, but still pretty damn bad. Alright, who needs a heal? Mm, okay. okay, we gotta drag it. Take him out. Come on, take him out. What's this melee defense? Good lord. There we go. Uh, flying Goon Squad, baby. Good. I'm proud of my little freak show. Well there. Starfield is great for 50 hours. Right, yeah. That sounds that sounds about right, from what I've gleaned. And then it gets repetitive, yeah. Miley, I badly want, you know, want to get you and a Starfield simp in the same voice chat sometime. <laughs> yeah, and then we all just pull out our pop count, and we're just like, mm, popcorn, while we listen <laughs> to the chaos. But Bethesda Open World should aim for 500 hours. Yeah. Yeah. That's, like, on the lower end. I mean, how many hours has the average, like, in, uh, enjoyer of um, Skyrim put into Skyrim, for example? Hundreds of hours, right? 500 sounds about right. Yeah. You know, when you, when you think of, like, a good Bethesda game... Skyrim, for example. There's others, of course, but you know, a game that we've jumped a lot of time into, most of us. Five hundred sounds about right. Yeah. Kanuko mentioning Kenshi yesterday hit hard. Mmm. Yeah, I watched... Was it Ark? I think I was watching Ark play um, a little Kenshi a couple months ago. I'd never seen it before. It looks intense. Like that that game, there's a lot to that game. For sure. I want to watch Tom be in awe and to totally overwhelmed for 200 hours. Yeah, yeah. With Kimchi. It looks pretty cool. It does look interesting. It does look interesting. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ark was showing me. Um, one of the things he showed me in Kenshi was uh, a Warhammer 40k mod. So your character looked like a space marine, basically. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Deceiving He's called Dread, and I will try and get him in so you can slam how bad the game is. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Oh, wait. Curious trinkets for my head. I was sucking the game off pretty hard, and I think I got about 150 hours. Mm. In Kenshi or um, in Starfield? Oh, Kenshi 2. Oh, Kenshi 2 is being made. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Has it been announced? I'm assuming it's been announced then. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Joe's... I don't know if Joe's played that game, but I remember him talking about it a bit. This was a while ago, 
This was a couple years ago. I know Kenshi's been out for a while. That seems to have a pretty strong following. 150 hours of fun in Starfield. Oh, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. 150 hours in... Three weeks? How long has it been out? About three weeks? Something like that. Eddie has a lot to say. He has a lot to say. He deserves a full <laughs> army, too. It's <laughs> just... What a nut. Ooh, I can two-turn global recruit chosen. Ooh, that's kind of sexy. Uh, uh, well, we're going to be sitting here anyways. We'll wait for that damn building to finish. Um... Now, his shit is not nearly as cheap. I mean, look at the cost of a Vortex Beast here. 540. Changeling's got him for 105. Oh, my God. That is quite a reduction. Oh, damn, I can't quite reach that guy to finish him off. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's uh, scoot you closer back. I'll help it. Yeah, five turns there. I herald the changer. Come to me. He's got a backbone of some cast warriors already. What we can do is ooh, four turn for exalted. Wait four turns for anything with this army. Yeah, sure. Take one of those and two of these. Sure. Yeah, we could definitely afford it. Money's not an issue. I drill ass. Where are we going with you? Let's come back up here. Yeah. Back up that way. What happened to Ungram's army? Oh, no, there it is, right. So. <clears throat> For a second, I thought this this no, army here was Ungram's forces. Alright, well, he's extinguishing Astrogath, the poor guy. It's alright. Let's bring you down here. Yeah, I want to get eyes on Mount Gunbad. Because that's... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of money to be made there. Oh, there's Astrogoth. He's holed up at the desolation of Drakenmoor. He's hanging in there. Hey, Eljor. Hey, buddy. How's pranking going? Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm having fun. This campaign is a lot of fun. I like Zinch. Yeah, the new units are fun. He's just so freaking powerful. His campaign mechanics are just ridiculous. It's it's fun to have a Zinchian army with Festus as a healer. Yeah. Many it's goofy. And many goofy and powerful. Oh yeah, I forgot to move that guy. I think we can... If we want. Damn, Ungram is more powerful than Krat Kadrin. Huh. Hey, yo. Oh, interception. Oh, the poor guy. Oh, the poor little tree, man. Let us bring them change. Deaths for recognition. No, Ark in the Black. <laughs> oh, well. Which 
Riker's back, eh? Ooh, Paragon. Nice. Okay. Oh, another settlement, or coal, I should say, from where we could spread into Athalorn from. Hey, get you stay out of there. Oh, nope. yeah, he's not doing too well. He's running back to Carcassonne. I want him to stay away from those settlements because they're making a lot of money. <laughs> and I want to... I want to suck off of it. Yes. Uh... That. Oh. And we need to spread over there. That. And... That. Good. Right. I have 44,000. Jeez. Alright. Yeah, let's build some of these pink buildings up. Pinky pinky. Okay. I am a lord of Britonia. Never. Oh yeah, siphon, siphon, siphon. Last stream had a plan to get malice. Oh true, true. See um uh, Is he still actually alive or is he dead? I think he's still alive. He wanted a non-aggression from me. Not that long ago, maybe like five turns ago. So I think he's still alive. Yeah. He's up here. Um uh, ooh, Zazel's getting in there. Yeah, he's still alive. We could do that. Oh wait, actually. No, we could turn into him actually now. Wait, no, do we get an alliance with him? No, no, we can't. Not, not we can, but we haven't yet. Um hmm, how much would you value this? If I agree to this, we can get his form and turn into malice. Oh, do I want to do that? Um mm. Sure. He's actually pretty powerful. Eh, this will put us at war with Aghole, who's adjacent to Throg. But it'll give something for Throg to do, I guess. Fine. No help. Okay, so we're now defensive allies with Malice. And we should have this a form acquired. Yep. There we go. Let's verify that. Let's do a form check verification. Toddy. <laughs> Toddy. Uh, yeah, look at him. There he is. Okay. I got each one as their own border. Oh, wait, no, never mind. They're all the same. Never mind. I see. Just the current selectum has this particular border. But they all they all share the same Raven border. Um, cool. Yeah. We can try them out. I imagine you get Sarkin. Let's see. Yep. Becomes possessed by Sarkin, yeah. Pretty good. It's definitely good. We're nearing level 50. Malice greater than Sigvold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an argument for that, for sure. Uh, what do I want to work on maxing out? We're down to the last couple levels. We're nearing level 50. Don't even have his magic spells fully kitted out. I mean, because he's always in Vestus form or some other form, so it's just not that important. I suppose I can get top of class. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we can grab that. And then finish off Legions of Madness. <laughs> Such power. Yes. Grab that. Cool. Shame. 
Yep, some good stuff coming here. Oh, we took attrition, right. Ah, damn teleport stance. Doesn't actually give you replenishment. Or, no, I should say, it doesn't actually prevent attrition. Allowing for replenishment. It just, yeah, you, you still take attrition damage. Chaos in um... Not that I'm really worried. Let's see. It's in this army. Ooh, it's actually kind of nasty. I feel like these guys in mass would be pretty good. I don't know if they'd be good as Ice Guard. I mean, they're kind of similar. They're hybrid. It's probably best to have a mix, actually, now that I'm looking at it, because the Ice Guard imbue Frostbite with their missiles, so they slow things down and do magic damage. And then these guys come in with the AP missiles. So, yeah, you probably want a mix of both. Um... Oh, we're invisible, right. Do I want to teleport here? Is treason to command me. Take this army out. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, there's a big garrison here. The Holy shit. No oh, Fort Ostros is a capital now. That's new. That's got to be new with the DLC. Yeah, I don't remember being a capital. So, okay, interesting. They made it a capital. Cool. Um, yeah, okay. I thought Erengrad was going to get another settlement added to its province. Same with Prague. But they're all still single. Huh. thought I heard that somewhere. Oh, interesting. So they made... Ostrak a capital. Interesting. Cool. Well, we can lightning strike attack this guy. Yeah. I think we're safe to do that. Let's actually... Where's that one? Scout. Randall, come back up here. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Let's allocate this point. Mm, guess we'll get that. Yes, it is new. There are no more three minor provinces for kids. So they are now class like one major three minor small provinces. Now. Oh, that's what they changed. Got it, got it. Yeah, because they used to have no major settlements in, that, in several of the provinces. I see. So they add a capital over here as well. I see. They made Volskrad a capital. They did the same thing over here, okay. Because these used to all be a minor, I think. Yeah. Got it. Same over here. Well, that's good, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's jump this guy. Whatever. We're a little beat up, but we're fine. They added a, new, a few new cities for Kislev. Igarov and Plesk. Oh. Oh, yeah, Igarov. That's new. Oh, yeah. Up in the mountains here. Cool. The base of that mountain. And Plesk. Up the other side of the mountain. Nice. Oh, cool. I didn't notice those. Thank you for pointing that out, Drawer. Yeah. Cool. Huh. Kind of thickened up his a little bit. I like it. Okay, so let's do this. Bloop. Boom. He's a little beat up. We're a little beat up. Um, he doesn't have any caster. I just need to get on top of those ranged ashes uh, and shut down those little groms, which we can do easily because it's an ambush. Shouldn't be an issue. Alright, we'll fight it. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, though.
Real quick. I'll be quick. Be right back. Izzy is in charge. Should I throw the fireplace back on? I'm considering it. Uh, nah, it's a good. Temperature's good. Temp's good. Hey, Lucius. Legend is open to invites from Total Warmer 3 streamers to boost channels. He has a creator network and will be streaming at some point soonish. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm so glad he's still a part of the community. Very much so. Very appreciative. Okay. Oh, this is... What map is this? Oh, okay. Usually I'm on this side. That's why. Okay. So, where's the exit point? Where are they going for? What it really matters, they're going to be screwed either way. Alright, let's put you right about here. Let's put you in a control group. The double cock can be in a control group. They can go right after the Lord, I suppose. Either that or have them pin down these these pesky war sleds. Mm. Actually, no, you can go after little Groms. Chew on them. Same with you guys. Uh, seven. I mean, not that I'm going to use all these control groups. This makes you feel better. Gives me solace. You guys can shoot from downtown. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm ripping a new one. Let's not use our infantry since they take some damage. I'm just gonna keep them up here. Actually no, they can kind of form a little blockade to protect our steam tanks. Yeah. Skin wolves I need to be down here to get on top of these guys. We could attack from the other side, but well, it's just not that imperative. I'll put two of you over here. You two can be over here. The trolls. Um, yeah, they're they'll be okay. Go, they're still in pretty good shape. You can fly overhead. Yeah, I'll have him drop in because he can just drop down the AOE spells that he has access to in his backpack. Hang out up here. You waddle in over here. Okay, let's do this. Yes, On top of this ice guard. Oh god. Ow.
Good. Oh, that's gonna be a nasty transmutation right there. Good. Good. Oh, melted. Oh, brutal. Told you to get into melee. Where? Top of those guys, please. Thank you. Come on, take these cannons out. There we go. There we go. This cannon's firing. Yeah, they're obstructed. They don't. Probably don't have a clear shot. That's fine. Good. Trolls are doing great. That's just an element. Come over here. Best us not the greatest duelist, but he throws his potions around nonetheless. That's where he's got the cocks. The cocks come in and help duel for him. They're blue. Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi. A good stinky troll. Yeah. No mercy. No remorse. Run him down. Oh. Where do you think you're going, boyer? Oh, get cannon. That's right. Tree. Damn. Cox got it. Cease fire tanks. Come on. Chip chop chip. Oh. There we go. Oh. Gar. Gar. The bears always make it away. Damn it. I should have blocked him with the halberds. That's what I should have done. Well. Oh well. He needs to heal. Stanks. They were damaged at the beginning of the battle. Rolling dirty. Okay. One heal down. I mean, do we really need to heal up anymore? These units are at their healing caps. We could get one more heal off. Or at least hang up by Festus. What you're doing. Oh, yeah. Let's try this. I forgot to use this. Is it Festus or the Changeling? Okay, it's the Changeling. Got it. Okay. So it makes a fake Changeling. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I forgot to use that. He 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 said cock. So I've been, I've been saying cocks a lot. The double cocks. Don't forget, Warhammer Planet is like three times the size of Earth. Oh, is it? I didn't know that. Huh. Imagine how many cities and factions they can put in if we play with the scale a little bit more. Oh. I didn't know that. I wasn't aware of that. Huh. Yeah. That's a pretty big planet. Yeah, the punk waddled off. He survived. It's okay, though. The changeling. Let's grab... Right, let's finish that off. Equip to deceive. That door... We don't 
really hate Nurgle, do we? Not really. We love Nurgle. Hence Festus. Uh, I guess not. Kasha! Play X3, destroy the cat. <laughs> oh yeah, the cat. That's right. The mighty cack faction. All right. Four turns. Four turns. Good. I must complete. I at least want to finish the Norskin one. The uh, the Norskin scheme. We're not going to get to finishing ultimate. But that's okay. At least want to do the Norskin. Now, oh right, we can't actually teleport attack settlements, so Zarina's out of the equation. Which is okay. She might f be feeling ballsy and come out to attack us. Actually, she will. She most definitely will, because she'll have initially have the support of the garrison, but we'll run. Oh wait, we're invisible. <laughs> Sick her. Permissible. Never mind. Hey, Grimir. How's it going, man? Yeah, the campaign is going really well. Yeah, yeah. Um, what are our objectives? Right now, I'm just waiting for this building to be finished. And then it'll finish this. So we'll have these three done. And that will unlock the ultimate... Or the not the ultimate scheme, but the grand scheme for this theater of Norska. And we're going to do this battle. Yeah. So that's what we're doing next. All will succumb to In India, there are temples that worship macaque. It's <laughs> awesome. With a great conspiracy. <laughs> Lawyers bow to no Oh, man. There's just so many, well, so many ways to spell cock. Phonetically, <laughs> you know? It's great. That's right, that's right. Oh, where's Drill Ass? There he is. Um, where'd Ungum go? Oh god. Oh grab. He probably went back south. Oh, there he is. We found him. We see him. Look at all these giant slayers. Oh god. They're always a pain in the dick to fight. Uh, Venrus. Oh, nice. We got our Blorks here. We got our Blorks. Nice, nice, nice. Good. I want to see what color they are. I mean, they're going to be a shade of blue, right? Obviously, but I actually want to see that. My own eyes. Well, let's bring you down. We're not cloaked up here. Actually, how far can Zarina move? That's in March stance. Um, let's. Oh right, Eddie's still bait or uh, recruiting. Right, I was going to turn him into bait if we weren't recruiting. But what we can do is this instead. Let's ambush you here. Now, do we feel confident in Venrus's ability to fight Zarina? It would be a tough fight, but I think we could do it. Um, and it would pull in this half stack as well. So we're probably fine there. That's just if she can even reach us. I don't know if she can. That's in Mark stand, so she may not be able to reach us. How's it going, Bash? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. God, it's so, <laughs> it's so funny how Aaron Gray just gets reduced to a pile of shit. Oh, the beastmen selling it. So funny. God. Poor Aaron Crad. Accidentally raised the place to the ground. I didn't mean to. And then fucking Torox comes along and settles it. Such a waste. Alright. Now let's. The Malice is doing pretty well. Where is he? Oh, there he is. It's only level 15. Okay. Alright. Zarina might attack us, we'll see. Doesn't matter, either way. And Defenders, yeah, sit tight. Who hasn't moved yet? Oh yeah, you're one of our newer heroes. You can come down here. Yes. 
Did he say Torox, bro? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He came out of nowhere. I'll show you. He's up here. You know, he just kind of, well, comes back randomly. The Beastman factions do. Oh uh, well, yeah, he popped up. I haven't seen him yet, but this is his faction. It's Torox. I want to military alliance. Should we? Damn it. I wish they still had money. I think CA nerfed the Beastman's money abilities, financial abilities to help you out. Um, or that that would normally help you out a lot. They, they nerfed that. Um, it was kind of cheesy. Eh, fine, Torox. Fuck it. Sure. Look at Kairos. Oh, wait. Why doesn't he... What? Oh, he doesn't like the Ubi Treaty with... Ah, fine. He I can't use war with these guys as leverage because we're already at war with them. So all I can really do is cancel my non-aggression with um, Warzak. So let's do that. Warzak, that kind of sucks is he's ranked 2. We don't have to necessarily fight him. Let's just not be buddy-buddies with him. Let's not have any treaties. This won't have any impact on our reliability. Um, Whatever. Sure. Star Wars, I, I gotta make big KFC daddy happy here, okay? Big daddy Kairos, he needs to be appeased. The changeling abides. Good, alright. I can give him some money too. Let's do that. What's wrong about I didn't expect Kairos to be doing so well, but he is. Is, Vent is Ventress still alive? No, Grim. Yeah, he 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 died. He died last episode. Um, yeah, the mighty the mighty Ventress that fought a fellow sorcerer atop a hill in the first episode, he died. He died uh, by Carl's hands. Galmaraz slayed him. Even after he became a demon prince. He, he had become a demon prince and then was slain by Carl and, and Galmaraz. Um, but his son lives on. There's Venris here. This is his son. Um, I know it was Ventris. This is now Venris. But in honor of Ventris, I named him Junior. Yeah. Yeah, that was sad. Carl just smashed him. I wasn't paying attention for like five seconds and pfft, Carl came in with the hammer. Uh, but, you know what? It's Warhammer. And in more there is death. Okay. Outpost available with who? Oh, the Beastmen. Um... I don't want to build an outpost there because I would just help him protect the damn thing and I don't want him to have it. So I can't make any money off of it. So no. I, I'd normally be making... Ah! If I hadn't raised the damn place, I'd be making like 40... 100 a turn. A.K.A. 4,000. Damn it. Oh well. It's okay. We're not hurting financially, so it could be worse. Whoops. My bad. There we are. Moving on. games. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been watching Kreshar and Chat play a bit of the X, X4 past couple weeks here and there, and uh, I had never seen it before. It's very impressive. That game is that game's deep. That game is crazy. 
Very cool. Very cool. You can do a lot. I didn't realize it was such a... Um, uh, just a grand strategy to it. I was thought it was more of a space sim game. Which it is, but it's very much a strategy game as well. Uh, Peace Treaty... Mm, no. She asked me like every turn. Oh well. That urge is severely tempered by bad UI and graphics. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to like modern day. I mean, X4 is not that old. Or is that what you're talking about, Miley? I'm not sure if you were talking about that game. Uh... You were, okay, yeah. It's compared to um, Starfield. Yeah, Crash and I were talking about this. It's not, yeah. X game doesn't look nearly as good, but the depth is there, certainly. We basically came to the conclusion, like, just imagine Starfield graphics, right, with better UI. Their UI is shit in Starfield. I haven't even played the game. But um, Starfield level graphics and textures and stuff with X4. Hmm. Hmm. You need a fucking supercomputer for that, though. A fucking supercomputer. Eh. Alright, we're here. Indeed, yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. Surprised we haven't spread more down in here. These, these buildings aren't doing the jab. Uh, oh, probably because I haven't put these up that well. Nope, yeah, that's my bad. Yep. So this is all Thorgrim's territory. Dang. Oh jeez, look at that. Minus 660. Okay, I think war is a, war is a Bruin. Oh, Draka. Cheeky little Draka. Took the forest to gloom. That's actually not a bad thing. She could potentially make a lot of money here. And, uh, well, therefore I could too. Are we spreading from Altdorf? Let's up that. Cool. Good. That's fine. That's good. Okay, Kern's not making very much. Just go ahead and do that. Do that. Wait, no, I don't need to spread from here. Whoops. Cancel that. Okay, what did I build here? What is this? Oh, right, that was just to get the corruption up. Right. Come on, get that corruption up. I need those nukes, damn it. <sighs> We're being kind of snuffed out by the other corruptions. Raj Liano, let's, um, is it this building? Yeah. Spreads chaos, corruption of the other varieties, plus five in adjacent provinces. So if we build that there, it will affect Scaven Blight, but I need to counterbalance that, because it's going to be discovered. Because that shoots it up to 100. So let's counterbalance that with... Mm, sucking money off of it, and... Doing that. Although we don't need to spread from here, do we? Yeah, whatever, we'll build it anyways. It's fine. Marty Oxenford. Okay. Roof Rafa. Puccini. Let's get that up. Good, good, good. Verdamos. Do that. We got a lot of maintenance to do over here, huh? Do we need to spread from Agrelas? No, I don't think so. Well, no, I think there'd be a chance to spread over across the water, I assume. So let's go ahead and do that. Try it. A sky wind. A sky oblivion. <laughs> sky oblivion. 
Oh, what's going on over here? Looks like there's a rebel Skaven army sieging Craig Izor. Damn, that's a good army. Could just borrow it. Hmm. No. No, it's so cap. Oh, damn, look at that. 3,500. Yeah, we're taking this up to tier 3. Oh, yeah. We're going to do that. And we're going to do... What does this do? That is 40. I mean, this is potentially powerful from a diplomatic standpoint. But in this case, with the Wood Elves, I don't really care about it. Um, we're really good on these supplies. I don't want to build that, so I guess just the case. You good? Ikit, get out of there, Ikit! You're in the danger zone. You're in the danger zone, my little friend. Griffin Wood, hang in there. We're making so much money from it. Potentially more, too. Soon to be more. Five turns if it doesn't get destroyed in that time. Looking good. Can't wait for the Skyfield mods. Skyfield? <laughs> you get Starfield spaceships when you land on planets through the Dragonborn. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Doing shouts and shit. That'd be pretty funny. Um, open gates, track army, I still don't have that one building, we almost have this building, oh wait, hold on, I need to, where do we have that building, it's over here, uh, no, not there, no, oh, here it is. Ah, here it is. Yep. She. Yeah, we were a ways off from getting that, but it's okay. Glad I realized it. I'm gonna build that. Oh, right, we're out of money. Don't have any soul grinders in Zinch yet, but. The Empire. We'll get there. I am change. Oh, Zarina decided to stand still. She's scared. She knows we're close. Okay. Well, while Eddie recruits, let's just go after her. Oh, that's going to be a crazy battle. Big 19 garrison. Three more turns. Ugh. We're a little beat up, too. We were taking attrition, right? Gather round. Tales I have to tell. If she wanted to, she could move out and attack Eddie. I'm surprised she didn't, because this succeeded. She doesn't see Venris here. So that's kind of odd. Just like snow, when change comes. I'm going to wait this one turn. I just want to heal up a little bit. And then also look at if it's a turn to see if we can bait her out again. So I imagine Eddie looks pretty juicy. He's sitting here recruiting within range of Serena. Yeah. Come over here, bud. And Trillas. Let's move you. Keep an eye on Uncle Oh, tech, right. Um, let's grab... Bu, 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 bu. You know what, I'm going to buff up our um, our horrors. 
Yeah, let's grab that. We're using enough horrors now, I think, to justify getting that. Yeah. Still waiting for Torox to come back. Where is that guy? Where is he? Just don't know. I thought I'd see him by now. He must have gotten wounded, maybe? Hard to say. Okay, I don't want to build anything here. Pink capacity? Sure. Why not? Speaking of pink capacity, um. Ooh, Bushafen. Bushafen. Let's uh, see how much is that making. Nothing. Right. Of course. Thanks, Festus. Jerk. Pastor Gax, why not? Oh yeah, this guy needs to go into another army. True insanity. Mm, that. Yeah, I just have a bunch of mods in chat. That's <laughs> true. Mods assemble. Mm, I guess we can. Uh, the chances of spreading. Oh, there goes our money. It's okay. Well, let's see what happens here with Zarina. Curious. Come on out and play, Zarina. Come into the grinder. I'm gonna make a shake real quick. Still here. Still with you. I'm my little shake station off to the side here. And you get some more water too. Wait, cash just stopped all. Just grab some water. Alright. What do you want, Azazel? Uh, 4,000 against Boris, huh? Azo. Okay. Uh, you know what? Sure. I want the money. What's another war near the changeling? Fuck it. Why not? One well, because Tom made everyone a mod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the first couple months of streaming, I was just like, yeah, fuck it, it'll be a mod. And my, my very first regulars basically all became mods. Yeah, essentially. Oh, Jesus, wait, hold on. Oh, no! Ickit! Oh, no, that wasn't Ickit. Oh, it was Rictus. Okay. Go, okay, never mind then. <laughs> never mind. Fuck it. I don't care about you, Rictus. For, for a sec, I thought this banner, at first glance, was uh, Skaven Blight's banner. Thank God. Like, it's doing quite well. Like, it's doing pretty well for himself. Yeah, why aren't we spreading through Athel Lauren? The, the defenses must be. And they're pretty impervious. Oh, we stuck in there with one cult. I need to get. Hmm. Oh, that's where I built the Cult of Deceits? Oh, shit. Uh, I, that's okay. That does add discoverability, but I don't think it's that much. And we have plenty to work with, so we're I think we're okay there. We're making up some fat coin. Oh, yeah. And then King's making another 3k. Nice. Okay. Alright, how are we looking on the coast over here? Are we spreading? What's up, our spread chance? Get that up. Get it up. A stone. Um, up to 6%? Oh, the parasitic makes it 10%. 
Oh, 12% versus um, 6. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. The parasitic has twice as much chance to spread. I see. Oh, okay. I just noticed that. I just noticed that. Okay. Hmm, hmm. little nuances. Well, this is Bastone. Oh, it's actually making quite a bit. Let's do that. Uh, is that Mel Gibson? Looks like it's Mel. Hey, Mel. Okay. I made every Slanesh bot a mod. They all disappeared after that. You can thank me after that. <laughs> is that... Oh, that's what got rid of them? <laughs> They're like, we're out of here. <laughs> yeah. That is that is true. I remember in the early days of streaming... Of Yeah, when I started streaming, Slanesh bots were very much a thing. They came in, in packs. You had to beat them off. I mean, beat, beat, beat them up? <laughs> They wanted you to beat him off. <laughs> but oh no. We're not going to beat off those slash mods as much as they wanted. Or bots slash slash. You guys are slash mods. I meant slash bots. That's what I meant to say. Build that. Damn it. Brass keep making 4,100. Come on. Spread. Yeah, I need to max out that spread. Um, just for the sake of being discovered, I'm going to destroy this. I don't want to be discovered. And there's no sense moving over to this because it's not sucking off anything. It's the fucking wood elves, so let's just destroy it. My soul for the fucking wood elves. Yep, yeah, remember even banning some of my own. Yeah. I kind of miss the slash bots, you know? They they definitely got annoying. And were de definitely a pest. But it was kind of funny every so often. Just to be like, hold. Hold. <laughs> the slash bots are here. Yeah, those are good times. Alright, let's, let's smash Serena. Lord Conjurer. So Eddie's ready to move out next turn. Um, can this army catch him? No. Okay, yeah, he's safe there. So let's take Venerus and bring him down to be a part of this battle. And yeah, let's just go smash. Pyrrhic high. Wow, any losses? No actual losses, but high casualties. Map is this. Okay. Okay. She's in March stance. That is a lot of troops. But it's okay. It's okay. We have a lot of magic, right? Yeah, 135. What is what is this death caster got? Only spirit leech. Okay. Should be fine here. We'll fight it out. It'll be a good battle. We'll drop some beats. Uh, wanted to have a channel full of Slanesh bots, yeah. Slanesh bot mods. Yeah, exactly, Crush. All right, make the bots the mods. That would just be mayhem. Now, what would happen? I don't know. Just crash YouTube. Bring down the tubes. Okay. I'm curious to see what those black orcs look like in blue. That will be kind of funny. 
Um, okay, what's my usual strat with this? I like to assault from here, typically. Although, over here works, too. There's not a lot of towers over here. But, because our army's coming in on this side, maybe we just want to attack from here? Um... Oh yeah, we have steam tanks too. We can just sit back and blow down those towers. Let's do that. Let's we can we can do this pretty systematically. Might as well. We don't need to. We could just rush in there and ground pound them, but take them to Slam Jam Town. Um, but I think we'll do this somewhat methodically. We've got we have the tanks. You might as well use them. Um. Sit back. Now, I think the towers might outrange our tanks. Oh, no, our tanks outrange them by a little bit. I think the towers are 350, right? Yeah, so our, our tanks outrange by a little bit. I don't have any means to break down the walls, do I? I don't think so. It's okay. Oh, wait, right, the cannons. The, the steam tanks can. Duh. Um, you guys just stay back. Don't want to use much infantry in this battle if we have to. Skin wolves. Um, do I want to flank at all? I don't really need to. I mean, going through one gate is kind of a pain, but it also it'll help consolidate the AI to focus blobbing up in this area rather than being spread out all over the damn place. So let's just attack from one side. It's okay. Control the lulls. Hang on back. And, uh, Screamers hang out over here. That's fine. And then our Hero Goon Squad. Yep. This army is very much a Death Star anyway, so yeah, staying all nice and tightly packed around Festus. When Skyfield wants to nuke humanity, just make it a mod in Tubot Tom's channel. Sky, oh, Skynet, yeah, <laughs> Skynet. That's right. Yeah, sabotage it by making it a bot on my channel. All right, come in over there. Oh, we have another steam tank over there, right? That's kind of cool. All right, let's do this. Yeah, I had a feeling the new programming of the AI has them all nice. Well, nice is not the right word. Well, just all. Kind of bunched up back there. They'll trickle out towards us, which is fine. And we have a nice clear shot at the walls. We wanted to go up there and take it, but let's. Uh, don't we even want to blow down the towers? We don't even have to. Let's just blow down the wall here. Let's blow down the wall. I'll blow down a section right about here. That way we can climb up here if we want to, or this side. Blow down that section right there. Okay, let's get up there. Let's take the walls. Let's pop into this form. Get up here. Get on that. You guys come up here too and get on archers and whatnot. Three guys come up here. We can go after certain units that uh, are isolated. It's incarnates. I'm not. I just haven't fought against these guys all that much, so I don't know exactly. What I'll need to allocate to take them on. We can pick up infantry, that's fine. You guys can come waddling up. Pinky, come over here. That wall's almost down. Come over here. Ah, oh, Ice Guard. Um, do I want to go after them? Maybe. Skin Wolves come up here as, as well. Hang out over here. We're taking shots. Yeah, let's go on the ice guard. They have extra range. Wall's almost down. The ice guard are kind of isolated a little bit. Pretty high value unit for them. 
Festus, oh, I forgot to move you. Oh, God, Festus, and the trolls. Oh, God, it's all right. He'll get up there. He's got the banner of swiftness. He's pretty quick. That should do the wall in. We're not quite. Almost. Come on, Festus. Let's go, buddy. Okay, we have this ice guard. Okay, the wall's breached. Let's get inside, drag these guys down. The gate down. Not quite. Not quite. You guys are doing pretty well. Let's drop that right there. Actually, that's going to do some pretty good damage. My Albert Squinside. Tickle the pickle a little bit. Alright, let's get in the air. Go after this guy. Let's drop this. Actually, right there. That's a good spot. Let's size that gate down yet? Good. Gate's down. Everybody in. Best to swear you, but it's coming up. Come on. Controls, let's go. Good. These guys down. Let's drop down some summons right there. Jug up. Good. Oops, my button. Go. Go stroll C, shut him down. There's Cadre. Let's go after her, actually. Let's drop that right there. Do that as well. Put your barrier back. Watch out. Oh, beautiful. The Cox are going after Katarin. Around those Strolt seat we are. Good. Alright, Trolls, get over there. You shut down the range support. Good. How are we doing, Festus? Good. Let's get in there. Careful, let's drop another transmutation right here. Overcast it. Juke, juke, juke. Nice. Gotta hit those units. Alright, let's push up. Patriarch's in there. Let's get some trolls on him. Keep pushing. Katarin's getting works on. Cox are doing okay. Let's drop a kill on one of the Cox. Now get up there. Let's go. Let's get up there. You guys too. Let's go. Good. Let us just get up there. Good. Taking shots. Who's shooting at us? Yeah, get on these guys. Ooh, ambushers. Fuck. Yeah, watch out. Yeah, those guys gotta go. Those guys gotta go. Uh, you know to summon over there, ideally. Need you over there. 
seeing ambushers are kind of a pain. Come on, push through. Push through. Keep pushing. Cox are doing okay. Doing great, Big Bird. Much rolls, finish him off. Cox, you're hanging in there. Doing okay. Actually, stay over here. Stay engaged on these guys. Oh, there's a lot of guys over here. Um... Mobility. I need you over here too. Why are you stuck over there? Oh, this whole other army. Come on up. Come on, Catter. Get down. Just stay over here. I need you over here, ideally. I need help over here. My trolls. Let's go. Damn barricade down. Come on. Get it down. Oh, wrong button. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I was the wrong button. Ah, it's okay. Good. We got Katarin down. Alright, let's get these cocks over here. Oh, shit. Damn it, Festus. One of our Vortex Beasts is, uh, probably. Damn it, that was the wrong button, wasn't it? It's alright. This damn barricade, get it down. Sorry, armor losses. Mutation is a gift! Let's have another one of these saved up. Oof. Quite a battle. Yeah, we lost a Vortex Beast. Damn, it's alright. Too bad. That well, was quite a battle. This damn barricade kind of blocked us up there, but it's alright. Yep, lost to Vortex Beast, but it's okay. They tanked out hard. They were taking a lot of fire. Now, what a slaughter. Look at all the bodies. Jeez. Bodies everywhere. What a grinder. Whew. Only really used one army. Made it more fun that way. Soul decisive. Cool. He was pretty quick. <laughs> Comparison to a dwarf. Yeah. Yeah. Comparison to CA's bug fixing speed. <laughs> that too. Oh, we lost our little screamers too. It's alright. Not the Vortex Beast. That was a big battle. Man, that was a lot of units. Whew. Not bad. I mean, that was just one army against basically yeah, it was one v two. I mean, we're in a garrison. Uh, 
15k, huh? Why not? It's all comes down so there he is. The War Shrine. So suppose that's fine. Nice, Fenris Jr. Unlike his father, will hit level 20. I could turn him into a Demon Prince now, but I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, let's grab that. This is a pretty good ability. Yeah, especially for a shooty army like this. The cause of chaos. And let's grab... Um, I want to get the summons. Do I go for summons first or conduit? Ugh. Summons are probably better, but let's just finish off where we started. Cool. Oh, I forgot to look at the black orcs. Damn it. <laughs> Damn. Unpredictable. Oh. Unforeseen. Unholy victory. Hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, this is right. We get to buff up our allied units. Forgot. Yeah. Good. I'm glad I remembered that. So I'll grab that and missile resistance. Yeah. With these gifts. We so change. Yes. Uh, let's pick up that. That was a lot of experience. Um, push that off. Cool. So yeah, we lost a valiant two units there. Then we're done swinging. Um, let's see, we have three out of four allied units. We could grab one more. But I can't hop into a camp stance. Could hand over a black orc. Um... Yeah, let's hand over a black orc. Why not? I am everyone. Oh. And no one. There we go. Sure, take a black orc. <laughs> kind of funny. Scheming. Why not? Could grab another stank. Triple stank. I mean, that's, you know, certainly, certainly an option. Fuck it, triple stank. <laughs> Why not? We make. Why shouldn't I get a triple stank? Alright, next turn, those guys will be completed. Good. Randall. Um, come over here, Randall. Thank you. Okay. Where's Drill? Drill! He's over here. Ebitus. Come on down to Mount Good, Bayet. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna just crack a Karaz making out a little bit more than it was, but it's still not great. Um, is he at war with Draka? No. no. They're not at war, okay. Ah, I just spread from up here. Spread and siphon? Yeah. We'll do this spread though. Yes. That. Mm, when was that building going to be done? Three more turns? Okay. Be mindful about that one. Baston. Are we spreading? Yeah, we are. Okay. I could go around and take all of these to tier three. Because I don't have any, really. I've kept all of mine at tier two. I think we can do that. We'll probably have to counterbalance it a bit more by building these up. Which is pretty expensive. You dishonor me. But probably still worthwhile, I suppose. Yeah. That up. How much is Marion Bird making? Just another. Okay. 
Uh, we spread across the water yet? Yeah, this damn river. Well, we technically have crossed on the other side of the colt here, but it's a tough time spreading. Didn't stag. Yep. Good, that's why I'm getting that up. Let's counterbalance that with that. Same with here. Let's build that. Same with here, I suppose. That. Okay. Let's check our initial province, which I think was Flensburg. Or Sterling, right? Yeah, Sterling. That's tier 5. This is tier 5. Let's get that up. Just to have it, I guess. Yeah. Um... Let's build that too, I guess. Yeah. Krugenheim. Let's see, let's build that. Krugenheim. I don't really need to spread anywhere from there. Basically, I need the spreader buildings on the forefront, on the frontier, to expand outward. Kappelberg, yeah, that makes sense to build it up there, because we could spread across to Wolfenburg and beyond. What Kemper bad? No, that's right, we were just looking at that. Okay. He's slow, how's the Schaefen looking? Let's do that. Essen, oh, we're out of money. That's okay. That's cool. Deceiver. Right, that was a nice big fight. That was a nice big fight. Serve the changing of ways. Okay. Oh, we could grab the a fourth lord now. Maybe we should. This time, not have him get picked off by Dranka, a wild Dranka. Yeah, it's recruiting here. Ubus. Um, familiar. I think I like metal more than Zinch Matic. Zinch is good. Zinch is certainly good, but I think well, it's a sucker for a good old fashioned overcasted final transmutation on a fat blob. It's quite satisfying. Sorcerer Lord of Charms. That that bounds. My power sure. only grows. Okay. That impact his supply lines a little bit, but not a lot. He might get attacked by the stupid rogue army. He might declare war on us. But we should be able to run away, hopefully, down out of range of them. Just to be safe, maybe I should march up there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it is certainly chaos already. Okay. Have we spread up here at all? Not really. I've been waiting to spread over. Oh, 4,400. Oh, let's get up there. Oh, I need to. Hold on. I need to free up some money. Uh, maybe I'll do that. Later. Next turn. Next turn, I need to spread the spreader building here at the castle, Alexandrinov, because we need to get to the tower. Big 44 hundy. That would be nice. Oh, yeah. Indy Devs and the occasional Larian. Yeah, good old Larian. Good guy, Larian. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad they're on the scene doing what they do. Storox. What's up, buddy? Hmm. Well, if I agree to this, then that army that's next to our new lord, who's by himself, will most certainly get attacked. Uh... So, let's probably say no to this. Plus, he's only paying us two hundy. Who do you think we are, Torax? Oh yeah, Capcom. They're the ones who make Resident Evil, aren't they? Yeah. Resident Evil remakes are banging. Monster Hunter. Oh, they make Monster Hunter too. Yeah, that series is super popular, isn't it? Monster Hunter. I see that advertised everywhere. I don't know anything about it, but it's people... 
people seem to like Monster Hunter a lot. I don't know what it is, but I respect it. All right. Ascendant Mortal, Venrus Jr. So I don't think he's going to make the same mistake as his father did. Let's keep him mortal still. Excuse me. I'm not yet worthy. Yeah. Nice. Oxyadl got wiped out by our buddy. Big Daddy uh, Kairos. So Magenhoff is spread. Okay. Um, let's build at least the spreader building there. And I guess the money building too. It's only a grand. Blackstone post. Oh, good. Okay, we can siphon money from this place. Do that. And we don't need to spread from here, though. So let's just keep it at that. It's fine. Magritte. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Magritte's making a pretty penny. We'll siphon from there. And spread. Siphon, spread. Rinse and repeat. Siphon, spread. Alright. Speaking of siphoning, let's increase that. Thank you, Ikit. Making us a lot of money. Alright. Still haven't spread any further in Athelorn, but that's okay. Be patient. Uh, Gristle Valley... Grim hold. Let's increase our chances there. We need to get inside Athelorn. So it's just all around it. Just increase our chances. Maximize. Maximize. Okay. Dragus loves a destroyer. Cold bear sucker. Alright. Yeah, this stupid little army. Let's take these guys out. I serve the wind lord. Although, no, he didn't declare war on us, even though he could see us. Oh, he couldn't see my, um, he couldn't see my exposed lone lord there. I see. Okay. Monster Hunter is dope because of battles. Ah, like from boss battles. Yeah, it seems to be a lot of big boss battles. Difficulty in gameplay. It's like Dark Souls. Gotcha. Yeah, a lot of grinding. You should definitely try it. It's like Dark Souls battles. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, I have to be in the mood for it, though, because it can be really frustrating. You know? But I, I have enjoyed some Dark Souls in the past, but yeah. Um, I've played a, a fair bit of Darksiders, actually, on the Wii, on the Wii U. I used to have that god-awful thing. And I played uh, two different Darksiders on it, which was pretty fun, actually. They are surprisingly fun, Darksiders. Just kind of like a, kind of like a God of War style of game. Um, okay. How many more turns left here? One more. Good. God. Alright, this guy. He can join up with our crew. And we just mob around as a big ball of feathers and destruction. Where to, though? Uh... Tell by I'm spread, damn it. Spread, damn it, spread. Oh, good, Weismund. Wait, I already knew that. I already spread to Weismund. Alright, well, let's build that. That should do it. Well, that'll do it. Oh, let's uh, just decrease discoverability a little bit more. I'll build that. Just to be safe. Get a little, little in the danger zone there. Okay. Oh, right. I was going to build the spreader building here at the castle. Right, right, right. I'll do that. At the very least. Yeah. Okay, good. Where'd it go? Um. I want to fight. 
Uh, was well, next turn? Yeah, next turn. Once this building's done, then we'll have this completed. This here. That's the Ravaging House building. And then we'll unlock this. What do we fight here? I'm not even sure yet. Norskins? I'm, I'm assuming we're going to be fighting some Norskins. Either that or Kislevites. One of the two. Yeah. Okay. But in the meantime, we can still shuffle about. Let's move... Let's move on Ungrim. He's close. Plus, he would be a pretty good duelist form to have in our back pocket. So, let's move that way. Stay together, though. We'll only move as far as our weakest link, which is probably this guy. Stay together. There we go. Drill ass. Yeah, keep an eye on Ungram. Just shut Ungram down. He's going to have a good army. It'll be a good scrap. Got another army here. What rank is he? Let's double check that. You are not welcome. So yeah, he's, pretend otherwise. he's rank now 8. Spit out your proposal. Good lord. Yeah. Dwarves are doing pretty well for themselves. So Cathay by the looks of it. Yeah, both of the main Cathay factions are doing quite well. Interesting. Interesting. Elden Ring's another game I do want to get around to playing too, yeah. Elden Ring looks pretty cool. I think I'd enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. Okay. Move it up. Look at all of our cults everywhere. All these little glowing settlements. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Hotchland, out of nowhere. Hotchland? Man, aggressive. Alright. I think there were a rebellion that popped up. Durthu, where? Dindu. Did Ikaclaw make it out of Athelorn? I don't think he did. I think he got stomped. Yeah, <laughs> he got taken out. Pretty sure. Well, he tried. It was brave of him to run in there and rustle about, but yeah, he got stomped. Ooh, nice. Good. We made several colts. Oh, no. Mirage and Ali got discovered again. Damn it. Ernest is good at that. But I really care. I don't put that much money into it. Gore. Oh, we got Gorich. <laughs> okay, so we have... Grand scheme and lock for Norska and Kislev. Let's take a look at what we would fight here. Norska. Wolfric himself, actually. Okay. Okay. Well, they could scrap. We'll fight that this turn. Um, and then it looks like... Good. Oh, we've got an item, too. I don't have an amazing item, but I will put that on... Uh, the Changeling. Corridge. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, we have a cult at Ball's Anvil now as well. And King's Glade. Oh, oh, juicy. Juicy. Between these two places, almost six grand of income over the next couple turns once we get these buildings in place. Oh, good. We emerged at the Hell Pit. <laughs> that building completed. Good, okay. The hell pit's been through a lot. Alright, so at these new cults here. We definitely want to siphon off these. Um, and spread. 
side. It's red. Good. Okay. And then let's look at. Let's look up here. I guess we just sacked it. Weird. Yeah, it destroyed that building. Weird. You could just do it again. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. No. It was this one. The settlement was plundered upon building completion, stealing wealth and damaged the owner's building. It made like. What? It was. 2500 or something like that. Not bad. So it's an investment. You pay a gold, basically, and over 10 turns, you get 2500 back. Those cost a thousand to make this, so there's a kickback, for sure. Oh, the income is based on development level. Oh, okay. I wonder, so it potentially could probably be quite a bit more than that. This place is haggard. It wasn't even settled. We still got 2500 out of it. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So each has a lot of mechanics. Um, well, there's no reason to siphon off this place. Let's just swap over to that, I guess. And swap over to that for increased chance of spreading. I guess we could build that too, for good measure. Alright. What's this? Alright. Trickster Rift could be opened by research into technology. True. Might work on that after this one. Let's finish that, though, for the sake of our pinks. Pink okay. And then, um, yeah, we're going to go pick a fight with Ungrim, so let's head that way. Keep you over here, though. We need drill ass. Keep an eye on Ungrim. Where'd Ungrim go? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's going to have a showdown. With Astrogoth. Let's see, Astrogoth is level 27, Ungrim's 35, and probably has quite a bit better army. He's, uh, he's doing financially a lot better than Astrogoth is, unfortunately. So, let's salute our little friend here. He's gonna go out swinging. Um, Thestrogax. Oh, yeah, I need to get you in one of these armies up here. Because he does get Fated Protector. This is really good. That was a really good skill. Okay. Good. Oh. Let's get our outpost built up. Although, I don't really care about it. Nah, it's whatever. It's okay. It would improve the garrison a bit more. But I think it's chunky enough to hold. I believe in Festus. I think he can do it. Come on, spread. Let's, uh, building's still building, right? Um, I guess we can build that. Make a little coin from that. Like that. Like that. Okay. Let's get the ability down. Good. Okay, well, let's start moving east. How far can our little guy move? Sorcerer Lord of Char. Don't even need this guy, really. But why not? Incarnate. Why not? Can't move very far, but that's okay. Supreme sorcery. Not here. Will we experience attrition if I move? Yeah, there's attrition. Let's stay over on the west side of the border there. Chaos awaits. Bedlam, baby. The BBB. Alright. What can you do to armies again? Assault units. Okay, it's not that useful. Let's keep on Ungrim. I haven't seen, uh. I haven't seen. Archeon at all. Huh. I wonder if he was taken out by Boris. Usually he has this territory. But it looks like Boris has done pretty well for himself. How many settlements does Boris have? 22? What the fuck? 
Whoa. I don't think I've ever seen Boris at 22 settlements. Holy shit. He must have all of this. Oh my god, he does. It's all yellow. Holy crap. I think he stomped out Archeon. All right. Well, let's go pay him a visit instead. Yeah. Holy crap. That's nuts. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. What these places is making? Ugh, just crap. He's like crap up here. Um, but there would be good fights. Good fights indeed. Let's get over there with this guy. Oh, we discovered an army already. He's probably got Boris. That is, he's probably got quite a few armies. If he's rocking 22 settlements and has that balance of power, he's he's definitely got a handful of stacks. Okay. If you really want unnecessary outposts, check out Starfield. <laughs> Kanuku seconds that. <laughs> Yeah, let's hope they thicken that up with some DLC content. That'd be nice. Add a little more substance to it. I'm tempted to wait until they do. Wait to play it, that is. But that's if they even do that. I just don't know. That's assuming they do, you know. That's assuming they do. It's snare. I love that. It is funny. I'd laugh too. In fact, I did. Yosef. Yosef. Hey, dude. Spores is really animal. Hey, uh. <laughs> yeah, he is. Dude, Boris is doing so well. I have never seen Boris do this well. Not even close. Queek. I do like Queek. Um. He's doing pretty well for himself. He's only at war with Gorst and Thorgrim. He's got 11 settlements. Um, sure. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Why not? Thank you, Queek. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, speaking of Skaven. Oh, shit, did I build an outpost with Tretch? Or uh, not Tretch, not Tretch. Icket? can't remember. Let's go check. Oh! <laughs> we can turn to Queek now. Alright. Frank Hills. Alright, good. So let's build this place up with the essentials. Spread. And should we siphon from this? Uh, sure. It's making a fair bit. Igorov. Oh, this is one of the new places. Alright. Ingerov. No oh, and Jacoba. How much is Jacoba making? Jacoba. Oh, Jacoba's a capital now, too. Oh, cool. Alright. I guess I can... Whoop. Build that. Spread there. Ingerov's making a little bit, too. I guess we can do that. Siphon and spread. The SS. Alright. Good. Let's counterbalance that. Okay. Now. Uh. God, the poor stinky stone. <laughs> Ask you this up. Spread there. Yeah, we're gonna be making quite a bit from these places. I think not. Um keep it at that for now. Keep it at that for now. It does disguise as Alariel, Marathi, and Rapunz. Oh, a triple whammy. <laughs> God. Oof, that'd be quite the trio. Uh, Alright, drill ass. Where do I want to send you? 
Let's drill down this way. There we go. Uh, oh, there's Queek. Holy shit, Queek. Huh. I, uh, I wonder if he confederated with Tretch. Tretch's capital is here. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, right, no, you, Tretch got wiped out. That's right, Tresh got wiped out. Ooh, there's going to be a showdown between Queek and Thorgrim here, evidently. I'll scooch down there and see what happens. Okay. Oh, Scrag's up here. <laughs> Scrag. Scrag gets around. You know, in the sense that he's dragging this huge-ass cauldron around, still is able to traverse all sorts of terrain. Kind of weird. Um, let's do that. This cold is the antithesis of change. Oh, this army's coming in hot. Okay. Yeah, let's go pick on Boris. He needs to be. He needs to be showing what's up. Uh, I can't hop across the mountains, but that the changeling can. I don't think our, our low-hanging fruit can do that. This fella. Nah, he doesn't have the movement range. Um. There's another one of Boris's army. He's got a lot. What do you got there? Worm harness. I don't think I can steal that. All right, let's hop across. Chaos awaits. Um. Not with you. You can prep to do that. I imagine you would be able to next turn. We can move to here for now. The next turn you should be able to hop across. This just isn't, isn't that far. You should be able to make that traverse. Or traverse that mountain range. Alright, Changeling, you come up here. You can hop across. You come to right about here. And how far can you move? You can make it across, but only to right there. That's fine. Van Halen, how far can you move? Might need to keep you back. Yeah, as we range isn't quite as far. So you sting. Stay back here with Thestergax. Not telling him to be Ariel or the twins, because what elves are dirty hippies and hippies stink. I don't know. I mean, I'll take my chances. I'll take my chances with the sister. Yeah. <laughs> Sisters, I mean. You know what I mean. It's me. But you're right. They may stink. They may stink. That's a good point. All right, come up here. Okay. Troll King. Have I built much there? Not a whole lot. I'm not making anything. Leave it as is. Actually, let's, let's get this up. And build up a little ladder. Yeah. Cool. Fester Gax. Uh, shit, I need him to get implanted into, I think, this army. Oh no, he needs to go to Venris' army first. Right. Yeah, Fester Gax, you need to get up there. Crap, he's gonna have to catch up. Uh, yeah. It'll take him a little while, but he can do it. Okay. Let's see, what else can we do here? An affront to Orion. Because that doesn't increase discoverability, right? No, it stays at 10. That's good. Stays at 10. All right, these places are finished. Let's upgrade that. And when we get a bit more money, we'll upgrade that as well, because I want to get a cult up to here at the lobby in Nuja. Nuja. Sartosa. You get that up as well. Getting to cult to uh, Sartosa wouldn't be bad. Oh, right, we can do, uh, let's see, let's come down here, actually. The Wolfric battle. Let's do that.
Yeah, yeah, we could chat about co-op as well, yeah. I'm, I'm down for that. We can find something fun to play. There's so many options, though. Oh my god, there's so many options. So many options. Um, right, Changeling. Oh, he's in the wrong stance, though. Crap. Ah. I want to do this battle. This one. Okay. Basically, I got to fight Wolfric to convince him to fight for us in the final battle. Which you yeah, could do. He's got a pretty good force. Altering states. I wonder if he's on his mammoth. I assume he's probably on his mammoth. Yeah, he most likely is. I'm curious to see what the um, cinematic for it is. Chaos in We can't teleport, right? Or, uh, yeah, we have to be in a regular stance. Oh, we'll death next turn. Alright, moving on. Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Sit tight. Here, beat. Fireplace is going back out. Scarstick's still alive. Hmm. Not doing too well. Aggression, huh? He's got two settlements. He's not doing too hot. Mm, sure, whatever. Why not? Help a brother out. Oh, there's Boris. Oh, he's gonna have a showdown with the Zazel by the looks of it. points we can trans translate that into uh, scaven units yeah. cool who is this okay I imagine I can reach him always scheming yep oh yeah oh yeah Serena's over this side to the east. Now you be careful here. Glorious change, everlasting. Okay. I'm going to continue listing things, chat, and I don't like about Starfield. Oh, in chat that I don't like about Starfield, so I need to live stream for that in about 15 minutes. Nice, nice. Well, have a good stream, dude. It was fun seeing you stream, Tom, and talking to you lovely guys in chat. Well, yeah, it was good to see you too, Miley. We'll see you later. Have a good stream. Have fun. 
Yeah, you know, mildly annoyed does some some nice long streams of a lot of Starfield lately, so you guys should go check that out. Kanuko as well, also in chat. The two of them stream a lot of Starfield. Magic of chaos. Um. Yeah, let's just jump over there and fight this little fucker. I have no idea what's in this army. Got mm, our income skyrocketed quite a bit. It's looking better. Okay. I am change. Yeah, let's um I'm not too worried about it. I mean look at our army. Let's do it. Woo! It's not a bad army by any means. Not a bad army. What spells does the hag have? She's a beast caster. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. That's good. So Kislev has beast magic now. So the DLC where they give in death, beast, and shadow? Can the hags be shadow casters as well? I know um, Stankia has some shadow spells, but does... Do, uh, the, do the hags have the means to be shadow casters? If so, that would be three new lords of magic for Kislev. That's really good. They needed that. They needed that. Alright, Jor, have a good night, man. Sleep well, dude. Thanks for kicking it with me. Um, used also as in German for two. I mean, English is slightly different. Um, it, you would say as well. Instead of, you could say two with, with two O's, like I'm going to bed two. Um, also works as well, or as well. Th yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah. I understood what you meant. Yeah, that's, it, it is correct in, in, in what you said. Absolutely. Typically you would say I'm going to bed as well. But also works too. And so does two. Two works too. <laughs> Alright, fight this. Okay. Triple stank, triple vortex beast. Ooh. Yeah, we just have a little Death Star stack, basically. Before I start the battle, I want to zoom in and look at these black orcs. Why? Because they should be blue. Blue is the new black. Where are they? There they are. Oh, look at that. Oh, they look good in blue. <laughs> okay. It looks kind of like their black armor was oxidized. Very heavily oxidized. Cool. Pretty cool. They're a noisy bunch. All right, put you here. I'm just gonna smash into him. Let's try to kill that hag quickly. I don't want her to summon manticores and whatnot. So let's use the double cock for that purpose. Double cock. Okay, let's position the triple steam tanks um, down range. This is actually a pretty good spot from over here. Just shooting kind of uphill at them do a lot of damage down the line. It's either that or up here. But I think I prefer that. Let's give him some halberds. Um, do we need to? No. I think all these units are going to get dragged into battle. If we need to, we can take some more flyers to go over there and help. But let's just leave the stanks over there to shoot down the line. Um, actually, you know what? On second thought, no. I want them to focus on these big baddies. So let's put them back here. I can shoot at the incarnates. Yeah, that's better. All right, changeling, you're in a good spot there. I'm gonna wade you in right there. Um, Pinky, you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's a decent spot. Black orcs, you can smash in. That's fine. Alright, put a Vortex Beast here. Oop. 
There. 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 Endless glorious madness. You just spread out. Our halberds kind of like keep the halberds over here primarily. Skin wolves, you can smash them from this flank over here. Hey V. Hey buddy. How are you? Good to see you, dude. How's your week going, man? Alright. You'll hang out here. We'll waddle in. Let's see. You waddle in over here. Oop. Face the right way, though. There we go. Um, let's use both our trolls over in this area, just kind of... They have decent mass. Oh, those guys are anti-large, aren't they? Scoot your hoppers down a little bit. Alright, I like that, I guess. After that guy. Or gal, I mean. You know what I mean. Alright, let's, uh... I think it's everybody. Let's do this. You guys have to go after him. You go after him. Change thing. You transform into them. Everybody run up there. Triple stank. Start shooting at these guys. Shoot up! Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going for those beast casters, all right. All right, let's get you back here. After these guys, Halbers are doing okay. Who needs a heal? Let's drop that on them. Good. Bring you over here. You should wait up here when you get on the Strelsies. Get on those Streltsies. We need wins. We need wins. I don't want to use that spell. Sure. Why don't you have a Doom Stack? <laughs> this is a Doom Stack, what are you talking about? I mean, it's, it's not quite a Doom Stack, but it's... It's been plenty powerful. My rough. Good, the halberds are just so good. Nice, good job. Thank you, Festus. Nicely done. Did you get rid of that hag? No, she's still alive. Get on the hag. Come on. Hi, Marcus. Hey, buddy. How's it going, Marcus? The triple stank from downtown doing pretty well. Shoot this bear right in. The one bear that tries to get away. Oh, he didn't make it. Oh. Kind of feel bad for him. Make a one malice doom stack. Yeah, good. Yeah, could do that. Option. Oh my god. Legend, you son of a gun. <laughs> hey guys. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you, legend. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh my goodness. Who's here? Oh my gosh. A lot of beep boops. <laughs> Hi guys, I recognize some of you. Hey Valnir, how's it going Valnir? Hey Philip, hey Captain, hi Andy, hey Zeppelin. Hi Brilisk, hey Ibra, good to see you dude. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of you. Oh my gosh, a lot of new faces. Hey guys, welcome. CA bots reporting for duty. <laughs> hi guys. <laughs> What on earth is this army? Are you using a unit randomizer mod to make things spicy? No, I just like things spicy. 
I like freak shows, so, you know. <laughs> I know. I, I realize it's a freak show, but, you know, it's intentional. It's fun. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> Lots of new faces. Oh, wow. Hi, guys. I'm Teapot Tom. <laughs> Thank you, Legend. I appreciate it, dude. I really do. Thank you. Legend's my mentor. Legend said save a super chat free. Oh, thank you, Sly. Or Slee. I I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I'm, s I'm sorry if I butchered it, but... Sl uh, Slee. When the E makes the I sound, it make its, you know, sound its name out. So, Sly. I'm going to say Sly. Oh, the hard button's going crazy. <laughs> that damn hard button. It's kind of fun. Part of me likes it, but... It, it covers up the chat, and it's just annoying. I'm sure, like, every streamer talks about it. It's just annoying as shit. Why can't they just, YouTube, just lower the hard button down so it doesn't cover up chat? How hard is that? It's not hard. Moss. Hey, memes of Warhammer. I recognize you. Hello, hello. Open fridge. It's, it's a good name. <laughs> Open fridge is a good one. I like seeing all the funny names. Yeah, there's another Tom in chat. Tom Ashford, Hello. All sorts of new names. Oh my gosh. Legend is dad. Legend is hate. No, Legend is not hate. Legend is a... Uh, he's a stern mentor, but he's a, he's a nice mentor. He's a good mentor. He is much like a father. He doesn't want to be your best friend necessarily, but he wants to do what's right for you. And it may come off as harsh. And I appreciate him for that. We all do. Hey, Marcus. Coming with a $10 super chat. Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate that. Super chat for you. <laughs> YouTube Swell Indie Company, please understand. Oh, right, oh, okay. That's my bad. My apologies. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> oh, man. Train Goes Burr, that's another good name. Yep. <laughs> Have you mastered the Legend Skaven voice yet? Um, I've been working on it. Yes. <laughs> I do it quite a bit, actually. I, I try. When I interact with Ikid, especially. Brings it out in me. Big Tony, another good name. <laughs> Obi-Wan, Total War. I recognize that name as well. Esbo, I recognize your name as well. Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big Tony. What is this campaign? Uh, this is the, the, the Changeling Madhouse. I've just been... So, I know you guys came from Legend's chat, um, where, you know, Legend does his thing, and he's a masterful at it, and he min-maxes, typically, and, you know, it's beautiful at that. Um, here, I sometimes min-max, but I also like to goof around. It's somewhere in the middle. Sometimes I min-max, sometimes I just kind of, you know, do things for the memes. Ends up somewhere in the middle. Um, and so I just kind of, you know, I'm just having fun. Just trying out. I mainly was doing this playthrough to trap the new units, um, because I hadn't played any of the DLC off stream. I don't play Total War um, off stream, actually, typically. Um, so all that I experience in Total War now is typically on stream, uh, in front of you guys. So it's just a learning experience, basically. I'm just testing out the Vortex Beast, the big cocks, you know, that kind of stuff, the stanks. Having fun. Got some trolls in here. They're blue. I figure. Come on in, stone trolls. They're blue. Come on in. Uh, the Cox. Wait, no. The Cox are already seen roster, of course. Black Orcs. I know you're typically black, but I wanted to see them in blue. We got them in there. They looked oxidated. Looks kind of cool. Try them out. Um, what else we got? Eddie Van Halen. I think I misspelled the Halen, but it's alright. Um, he's rocking a stack. This is all carryover units from our earlier stuff. Venris. Um, also, uh, original carryover units from the Changeling's army. We're just kind of fucking around. I'm going up here north to pick on Boris. Who's actually, check this out, guys. Boris has done really well this campaign. Um, look at this. He's got fucking 22 settlements, man. That's really good. Boris usually always gets stomped in my playthroughs. Typically, it seems. He, he doesn't do very well at all, but I don't know what he did differently this time. Yeah, I think he stomped out Archeon out of existence, which is kind of cool. Indrek, thank you for the 249 euro. Thank you. Legend sent us. Yep, he yeah, he certainly did. I appreciate that, Legend, and thank you for being here. 
appreciate it. So many new faces in chat. This is great. This is great. Boba, my sweet Boba. Big old, yeah, that was a play of the game raid for sure. Make a Vortex Beast Doom stack. Yeah, I was tempted to do it. I was kind of starting to do that. Um, we had another couple of Vortex Beasts, but they got killed. So I recorded some, I recruited some Borks instead, just for funsies. Zeppelin in a nutshell. That's a good name. <laughs> Oh man, I'm not used to the chat moving so fast. This is going to be crazy. V, of course I recognize you, Betty. Hey, thank you, Obi-Wan. Hope you're well as, uh, hope you're well as well. Yeah, good to see you, dude. Uh, thank you, John. Byzantium. Yeah, thank you. Hello, I'm always happy to drop in a raid and leave a like. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Nat asks, thank you for the super chat, Nat. He asks, what are your thoughts on the DLC? I haven't experienced much of it. Like I was saying just a little, a few seconds ago, I haven't experienced it uh, aside from the Changeling so far. I have yet to play Astankia or um, uh, Yuanbo. Um, I'll get to that in the next couple, over the next week or two. I'll be playing those in the next upcoming campaigns. Or I'm starting a new campaign this Friday. So for those that are new here, so probably most of you, uh, my current stream schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Um, I stream in the mornings, my time, so 9 a.m. I'm on the west coast of the United States in Seattle. So 9 a.m., so about early evening Europe time, about 5, 5 p.m. UK time. Um, it's about when I go live, so in the evenings, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Tuesdays and Thursdays I do Let's Plays um, of just campaigns that I go through slowly, very slowly. <laughs> to me, very slowly. I'm working on um, Astrogoth. Not Astrogoth. Um, Jazzwith playthrough right now. Yeah. Well, thank you, Obi-Wan. I appreciate that. So, so far, I like the DLC a lot. I mean, I don't like that it was prices uh, at where it was at. Uh, I don't like the $25. I think it's way too much. But it's, so far, it um, I, I do like the changes to Zinch. The Changeling is perhaps too overpowered. His, yeah, his campaign mechanics are it's fun, but it's just becomes too easy really quickly. You know what I mean? I'm sure you guys feel, most of you probably feel similarly in that regard. Um, I don't know where he needs tweaking yet. It's too early to tell, but he's just just so incredibly powerful. It's just nuts. You know, I have to worry about defending your settlements. It's just crazy. I mean, just like I'm not even scratching the surface too. I'm I'm fucking around and I'm and I'm making this happen. I'm not I'm not min maxing. I'm just I'm I barely know what I'm clicking. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, and it's still very easy, right? I'm not on Legendary. I'm on... Sometimes I do play Legendary. I'll put that out there as well. I don't always play on Legendary like like Mercy and Ash. I know they always play Legendary. Sometimes I do, and I can. But I typically play on very hard, very hard. That's my sweet spot. Just get that out there. Um, yeah. Hey, I should have at least eight armies at 20 settlements. Yeah, as well. That's what I was thinking, too. I was thinking um, about the same. Yeah. Boris probably has about six to eight, maybe ten stacks. You know, it's out and about. But, yeah. What's your favorite faction, Tommy? Um, <laughs> um, probably Warriors of Chaos. Yeah, Warriors of Chaos. Uh, I'm a sucker for Chaos. I prefer the mortal side of Chaos. Um, and Nurgle is probably my favorite of the four god types if I had to pick. But I like them all. I'm not against like any one chaos faction. I like them all. I like all the flavors. Give me all flavors of that, you know. Uh, uh, sherbet ice cream, so to speak. Um. Uh, wow, Boris killed Archeon. Yeah, dude. I know. Isn't it weird? I think he did. I think he did. I need to get a scout up there. Hold on. Let's do that. Where's this fucking scout? Hold on. Where's here? here here's a scout, guys, or a, a hero that was given to us. Um, not Randall, but a, a pink. Uh, uh, the uh, what are they called? Not the heralds, but the other pinks, the little pinky. He came to me as drill ass. <laughs> Move up here, drill ass. Yes. All right. Good. Got a good. All right, drill ass, drilling away. <laughs> oh my god, drill ass. I'm going to bed now. Sorry that I can't stay more, but I'm really fucking tired. No worries, man. I don't have to apologize. It's all good. Get some good rest, man. Talk to you later, V. Thanks for stopping in. It was good to see you, man. 
B, B discovered me a couple weeks ago, and he's been here at every stream I've done over the past, like, three weeks. He's just like, B is on, he's Johnny on the fucking spot, as we say here in America. So, yeah. So, thank you, B. I appreciate you. You're, you've been awesome to me. Thank you. Uh, glad to hear, bro. I'm good. Thanks. Time to do a stream myself when I'm back home next week now. Oh, nice, nice, cool. Where are you at? Are you on vacation right now? Uh, is Boris or maybe all kids of a natural rival of the changeling and so they got that hefty potential boost? Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe. That, that seems plausible. Mm -hmm. Thank you for explaining the campaign. I, no worries, Haim. My pleasure. My pleasure. Hopefully I'm making sense. I'm a little nervous right now because I haven't gotten a big rate in a long time. So I'm a little jittery, but I'm trying to keep composed. <laughs> All right, good. I think I'm caught up with chat. Um, Nathan asks, "Oh God, did Jeff radio?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he did. No, I mean, of course, of course he did. I, I'm not naturally, don't naturally have this many viewers. I'm close. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff came on by with the uh, the big old raid. Again, thank you, thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it, dude. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's see here. So I'm not used to having a chat move so fast, so it's hard for me to go back and forth. So I'm s sorry. I'm doing my best. All right, where's drill ass? Did I move him all the way? I did. All right, there he goes. I want to scope out to see if, in fact, Archeon was wiped out. I need to find out. Pastor Gax moved. Randall. Oh, you haven't moved yet. Let's get Randall up there. Here, Randall. You land here. There you go. Good. All right, the changing just dumpstered an army. Can I reach this guy? The guy we dumpstered? No, not quite. Oh shit. It's alright. Now here's Boris himself. I can't see what's in his army. He's level 50. Look at that. Look how busy Boris has been. Holy shit. God damn. Um, hmm. Zarina's over here. Gosh, he comes back so quickly. Huh. Do I feel confident in Venus's ability to be independent and run around by himself? Probably. He's got a decent little stack. Um, now let's stay close to the changeling. Let's yeah. I wanna let's play it safe. Come up here. Same with you guys. Come on up here. Come on up. Yes. Up. There we go. It's a little convoy destruction. Got some points to allocate. I'll do that later. It's turn 110. I'm not sure if that's the reason he's level 50. That's definitely part of it. It's, we're certainly in the late game. That's true. Um, yeah, I guess it's not that impressive. It's 110. If it were like turn 70 or 80, that would be more impressive for sure. But still. He's been busy, nonetheless. Can't see what's in his army. It's all right. Tor oh, there's Torox. He finally made an appearance. Yeah, Fuck yeah. Hey, bud. <laughs> Aaron Grad's just a steaming pile of shit. Oh my god. Aaron Grad. So I accidentally raised Aaron Grad while I had a cult there and I was siphoning it off like 4,200 to turn. I fucking raised it by accident. Long story. Point is, it got raised and the Torox came in and put down a stinky stone. And it's, uh, it's not fucking making me anything anymore. So. Oh well, it's alright. It's okay. Can't win them all. I'm not perfect. We are, however, siphoning off a lot of money from Athel Lauren now. Where's Mel Gibson? Oh, there he is. He's running around. Damn, your stream looks so smooth. Well, thank you, Nat. Appreciate that. What do you have in your PC? Um, I have um, my... I built it um, about a year and a half ago um, during lockdown. I was bored and I was like, it was right before I started streaming. I was like, I need a fucking new PC. It's time. Let's do it. So I spoiled myself. Spent a lot of money. I got a 3080. Um, it's my, my processor is a Ryzen. Um, I have the 5800X Ryzen. Ryzen 7 5800X. Yeah. And 32 gigs of RAM. It's okay. 
It's not like super high end, but it's fairly high end. Yeah. I guess the job done. I'm, I'm able to plan a little trip. I'm happy with it. Fifty-eight fifty. Um, I think it's just the regular fifty-eight hundred X. I don't think I have the fifty-eight fifty. Yeah, it's it's fifty-eight something. Like it's the basic fifty-eight hundred X. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, it gets the job done. It was a huge upgrade in my previous one. Holy shit! I spent I I played between games one and two. Total War Warhammer one and two. I played probably eight thousand hours between the two on like low graphic settings on my old computer. So when I made the switch over during game three, early game three lifespan, I was like, holy fuck, I can play on Ultra now, this is crazy. So I started streaming. Dude, that is high end. I've got a GTX 1060. The good old 1060, that's a really good budget car. I almost got that one before I built this PC. I thought about getting the 1060 for my old rig to upgrade it. I was like, oh, fuck, I just need to get a whole new rig. Yeah, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. It wasn't cheap, but I needed to do it. I game enough, and even if I hadn't started streaming, I, I game enough to justify it, I think, you know? Alright. Bunt Shugly. This is a character. Bunt Shugly is a character from uh, Baldur's Gate 3 that I encountered. I thought it was fucking hilarious. Where's Sticky Dondo? Oh, here's Sticky Dondo. Also a character from the... The, uh... <laughs> Um, is it the, the Thieves Guild in Baldur's Gate? Yeah, the equivalent of the Thieves Guild. I think it's called the Thieves Guild, right? There's a character there, a little kid that sells his shit, named Sticky Dondo. Yeah. So, hence Sticky Dondo. I like getting, kind of, you know, I like taking names from other games, or just having absurd names from wherever, really, to represent characters in this game. I don't know why, it's it fun. Alright. Let's see. God damn it. Look at Kairos as rank one. I'm trying to confederate this motherfucker, but he's not going to. Here. 20,000? Okay, I'm not... I'm, I'm a generous teapot, but I'm not that fucking generous. 9,000? Ah, okay, we can do that. Get cheapskate. Big bird. Ah! So I hear Money Cow got nerfed, huh? Is that true? Gar. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. Oh well. It's alright. The money cow can't last. Can't milk the money cow forever. She went dry. <laughs> the money cow went dry. Alright, Malice. Get out of here, Malice. Get out of here. Alright. Who's our actual friend here? Grom? We've gotten some trolls and whatnot from Grom. He's been good to us. Why aren't things going up between us anymore? Grom. Whatever. Screw you. Oh yeah, let's go look at Ulthuan. Hold on. Gonna have to keep giving gifts over time. Yeah, Andy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I just need to remind myself to do that every couple of turns. Very unlucky is rank one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I got kind of screwed over in that regard. Kind of a weird campaign. Boris is doing really fucking well. Kairos is rank one. Kind of odd. I, yeah, I don't see Boris take out Arkham very often. It's just kind of weird. Why isn't this damn thing spreading? Come on. I've had this cult here for fucking ever. They probably have buildings built to reduce that chance. Oh, well. Um, no, we're making quite a bit of money from it. Might as well suck off more. Oh, wrong building. I don't need to build that up. Good. Yeah, we're making all of it. 100%. Now, I was hoping I'd spread more cults around here, but it's just not... She's not budging. She's not budging. It's alright. Where's Twinkletoes? There she is. Looks like you might be poised to move across the bay. Okay. Grom's waiting for her, looking at his chops. Although his sights are set elsewhere. Looks like he's going over here for some reason. Don't know why. It's fine. Grom's my little, my little puppet. A fat puppet, but a good puppet. And I was hoping to get this cult to spread up to her gig, but it's just not... It's another cult that's just not been spreading. It's not quite the high tier, but still, I mean, I 
I've had this cult here for like 20 turns. Hasn't spread it, but I've, I've been wanting to get a cult up here to brass keep. It's making 4 to 100. Pretty juicy. Alright, freaking Torox. So, I basically just want to go pick on Torox and find out if, in fact, he's taken out. Uh, oh, shit, was that? Oh, look who it is. It's Lorca. <laughs> hey, Lorca. Lorca, it's like, not sure if hot. Maybe. <laughs> An ice witch mm. bows to no one. That meme. Trust me. Not sure if attracted. On what's to move it. Is he? Is he? Over here? <laughs> it's a funny name. Maybe try to get Kairos into some wars. Then he might be more willing after some convincing. True. That is very true. Is he? My, uh, my cat's name is Izzy. Where is Izzy? She'll jump out of places randomly. You'll, you'll see her come by. Izzy is around here somewhere. She always is. She always is. Okay. Um, block army. Sure. Okay. What's in this army over here? Alright. That's a lot of heavy metal. It's okay. Change from level 50. How should we allocate our last point? Um... Eh, I got all the stuff I really wanted. Um, what does this do? Cooldown reduction, right, okay. Got all the unique stuff. We could get this if we wa ever wanted to make him a ranged character. You know what, fuck it. Might as well have that as a, an option. If I were to transfer into, I don't know, Kugi. Kugi Chugi or mm, Northern Arms, something like that. I don't know. All right, let's, um, we're in good shape. Let's kind of move up here. Ready to pay Boris a little visit. Still can't see what's in his army, but that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. All righty, moving on. The money cow stuff still works, but it might have been nerfed. Okay, I'll, I'll keep trying as we go along. What the heck? I'm attacking. I don't understand how I'm attacking anybody right now. I passed the turn. Ambush failed. I wasn't even ambushing. What? Oh well. I've, I'm thinking of upgrading once they get to the 6,000s. 6,000. That's a ways off. I mean, they... They go quick. The generations only last a couple of years. That's true. I'll probably upgrade in the five thousands, maybe. I'm not gonna get a four thousand cards for sure. It's my, the thirty eighty is plenty powerful for what I need out of it. Um, Today I they walked into me. Oh, but I wasn't ambushing though. Huh? Huh? Oh, was I ambushing? Maybe I was. I can't remember. I've started using the one button respect mod and I love it. Yeah. Um, before I started streaming, I, I when I stream, I have typically almost always played vanilla. Um, I did play an SFO campaign a couple of weeks ago, but um, before I started streaming, I did use quite a few mods, and one of them was the one button respec. It's a great mod. I'm gonna turn off the fireplace. It's getting too hot. Ugh. Okay. Oh. Upgraded from a five-year-old gaming laptop to a 3080, and I felt like a kid at Christmas. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. 3080 is a great card. I, I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, P Street. Sorry, gal. Yeah, I don't know, Hybra, what system you need to avoid the sea treasure crashes. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know where to begin with that. I don't know. I don't know. Has there been anyone um, in your research saying that it's tied to certain CPUs or GPUs? I've narrowed it down to whether it's related to GPU or CPU. It's hard to say. I don't know. 
Ooh, the Forest of Gloom's got a cult now. Hold on. Uh, this place could make some money. It's owned by Draka, who could jack this place up in a good way. So let's start siphoning. Do that. Okay, good. Waldenhof, let's take a look. Okay. Now from here we can spread up into the mountains, so let's build that. And we don't need to siphon from here, it's not making shit. So let's just go ahead and generate some money through that. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, the way the changing works is that if you have a cult in the region, your armies are hidden. I knew that. Mechanically, they coded it like ambush dance. Oh, that's why. That's why I've proxim, like, it doesn't say they're ambushes, which is weird, but it acts like an ambush. That's why. Mechanically, they coded it like ambush dance. That explains it. Okay. I knew your armies in those regions were hidden, which is crazy powerful. Crazy powerful. But they coded it like ambush stance. I see. So all these all these armies are ambushed. Even if they're not an ambush stance. That's what? It's even more powerful than I thought. Holy shit. That is crazy. That is nuts. Okay, that makes sense now. Thank you, Zeppelin. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um Can't put figures into the chat, right? What do you what do you mean by figures? Is he? Um, can't put figures into the chat. I'm not sure what you mean by figures. Recently installed a 4080 after having been gifted a 2K monitor. So good, so smooth, nice, nice. Yeah, 4080 I'm sure is amazing as well. I um I don't stream at 1440, but my my main monitor um is is 1440 or 2K. I love it. I love 1440. Yeah, my main monitor is a curved 20. 7 inch, 28 inch and then my, my second monitor is for chat and stuff and it's a vertical vertical monitor that took me a while to get used to but I, I like it now the vertical monitor is nice for chat and thank god I have a vertical monitor for legend raids right? holy moly an image, um, probably not, no I don't, I don't think other streamers do that typically, at least the ones I adhere to, so Let's avoid the images, though. But, oh, I do have a Discord. Um, can one of my mods link the Discord in chat, please, for those that would like to join from Legend Stream? I have a little Discord where we just... It's pretty basic. We just uh, post memes and stuff, hang out, talk about Total War and other games. Just a place to chill and kick it. Connect with other gamers, that kind of stuff. We have we talk about tabletop a lot. I play tabletop. Um, I'm pretty big into 40K, soon-to-be fantasy. So if you guys are into tabletop stuff... Yeah, feel free to join the Discord and post pictures of your progress and your, your armies, stuff like that, whatever. I'm into Magic the Gathering, too. You guys play Magic. So, yeah. Feel free to join the Discord, guys. Um, hey, Dash Dash! I recognize you from Ash's Raids. How's it going, Dash Dash? <laughs> Dash Dash is full of knowledge. For instance, fun fact, it is possible to put armies in ambush stance at sea, but it requires a special method, which is so far I've only managed to succeed with on Beastmen. What? Well, see, exactly what I was saying. Dash Dash, as usual, full of knowledge. That's crazy. I didn't know that Dash Dash. Huh. Huh. Yeah. I like the curved monitor a lot. I'm glad I got it curved. Because it, as the monitor gets bigger... Yeah, it just, it, it strains your eyes to go from one side to the other if it's not curved, because the distance is different. You know, doing trig, it's a little different. So your eye has to work, not only in, in changing uh, side to side laterally, but also distance-wise. So the, the curvature prevents that. It reduces the strain on your eyes, basically. And I think it makes a difference. I think it does. Yeah. Adam Sandler voice, holy shit, I'm going to come. <laughs> what movie is that from? What Sandler movie is that from? Thank you, Hybra. Thank you. So, yeah, there's a link to our Discord. Feel free to join, hang out. All right, so can we reach Boris? We certainly can. A quad little Grom. Jeez, okay. He's got some good units. It would be a shame if I wiped out all these rank 9 units, huh? 
He doesn't have access to magic. Um, okay, let's just jump him. A lot of these units won't do well in an ambush. So, yeah. Oh, oh burping. Get excited and start burping. Alright, let's do this. Oh, Valiant Defeat. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, I forgot to equip one of the new items on the changeling. It's alright, though. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Boy. I'm not too worried here, but it, it will be a good slugfest. This is a good army. Quad Grom, though, in an ambush. It's just not going to cut it. Little Nikki. Oh, yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that movie in forever. That was a good one, though. Yeah, Little Nikki. Old Sandler movies. Adam Sandler was so such a gem in the 90s and early 2000s. He had some funny-ass movies. Happy Gilmore. Mr. Deed. Um, oh, what was the one where he went back to school in elementary school? One of his first movies. Um, I don't know. Oh, I was on the tip of my tongue. You guys know what I'm talking about. That, I love that movie. <laughs> Where he goes back to like the third grade. It's <laughs> an adult. Oh my god. I used to sell curved screens for Samsung. Oh nice. The trick is that the shape draws your eye to the center of the screen. Your peripheral vision sees the edges better. Oh, okay. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Less eye movement, less eye strain. I see. I see. Huh. Okay, so the eye strain's lessened from, um... Means that, uh, I wasn't aware of. That's kind of cool. All hope for humanity. I've been drilling over that upcoming 58-inch Samsung... 58-inch Samsung 4K Super Ultrawide. Holy shit, and even 4090 is definitely... <laughs> oh my god. Do you really need that all hope for humanity? Oh my god. I mean, that's impressive. If we do get that and you enjoy it, might as well. Go for it. But I that'd be too much for me. That's just I've been looking at getting the ult an ultra wide. The twenty one by nine ultra wide. It's like a thirty two inch or thirty three inch curved. I think that's I don't want to go beyond like thirty three inches. Fifty eight would be insane. Yeah. Billy Madison, that's that fucking movie. Yeah. Billy Madison. A classic. <laughs> Billy Madison. Back to school, back to school, to prove to dad I'm not a fool. What are the per turn spread chances for the cult buildings per tier? It depends on if it's blue or red. Uh, at most, it's if you go red, it's 4, 8, and 12 percent. It's like someone got raided. Yep, yep. Yeah, Yosef, Legend, Total War, stopped on by. The Cheese Legion. Fifty-eight inch. I can't just sit close to it and call, call my life living. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like those who wear glasses. Yeah, kinda. I've heard that the speckled people tend to like the curved screens more. True. These actually aren't um, these glass. I, I wear some glasses, but they aren't um, prescription. These are just blue, black, blocking glasses. Yeah, they just they reduce eye strain because I get migraines a lot. Um, and, and streaming's, you know, looking at the monitor a lot, so I wear I wear those quite often. Yeah. Fucking Billy. Now I want to watch Billy Madison. Alright, let's fight this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look like I still have good vision. Despite kinda like Legend. Like Legend doesn't need glasses either. And him and I are about the same age. I should need glasses, I, but I don't. I've just, I don't know, my parents, they blessed me with good eyes so far. I eventually will, of course, but even despite all the, the, the shit ton of gaming I've done throughout my life, uh, looking at screens like, you know, don't need glasses yet. Thank God. There will be a day, though. All right. Wait, I want you to UB3, UB4. There we go. 
And thank you for the likes, guys. Holy shit, you guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you. I mean it, I mean it. Yeah, you guys... Oh my gosh. You guys are spoiling me. Legend, you're spoiling me. Been streaming for a little over a year now. A little over a year. Alright. The first year I streamed about full time. And then um, I took a break for two or three weeks, about three weeks recently. Um, and then I came back to it a couple weeks ago. And I've, I've cut down on the amount I stream by a bit. I was streaming about five days a week. Right now it's about three days a week. So. Um, let's see. Let's put you in a group. Should we just ignore Boris? Yeah, we need to allocate crap to shut down these Warbird Riders. I don't want them cycle charging. I want to get on top of these cannons, too. So, I want most of our Halberds. We only have three Halberds, but I want all three basically allocated towards shutting down and getting on top of these Warbird Riders. Um, these are anti-large, so our trolls will do here well here. We'll waddle in with the War Shrine. Hang out there. And Vortex Beast, sure. Changeling, where do I want you? I think most of the damage is probably going to be coming from this area here. So I'll start you over here. War Shrine there. You can use you over here. War Shrine there. Not a War Shrine, but you know what I mean. Vortex Beast. War Shrine there. Two beasts here. I should do. Um, double Cock. Double Cock Slam Jam. Does this guy have the Lullaby? No, he doesn't. He's got that one. Alright. Um, hmm, I don't want the double cock. Um, if you want the changing over here. Yeah, that's fine. Ignore the level 50 monster. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, yeah, he's not unbreakable. I'm just going to ignore him. But I want to be able to heal up my cocks. I want them to go for the Patriarch. I'm going to need a bit more to shut down those little Groms. Oh, here we go. Triple Cannon. You guys can sit on top of this hill here. It's a decent, yeah, decent line of sight. What else do I got? I feel like I'm missing something. This army is just kind of small. It's kind of small. That packs a bunch. You know what? We're going to use the Double Cock over here. Let's shut down these little Groms, and then we'll flip to the other side. Yeah, let's go on top of those guys. That should do it. Alright, let's go. Uh, get on top of them. Get on top of them. Oop. I need to get on top of... Oh, those damn Warbear Riders. On through. Let's overcast this right there. And let's drop that. Let's heal. Who needs heals? Careful. Need to keep airborne. Let's drop this on top of those guys. You guys need to waddle in over through there. Good. Coming through here. We need mana. Let's get our halberds on top of that calf. Shutting down those little groms. Good. Alright, what's going on over here? How are we doing? Troll's taking a lot of damage. Let's get them out of there. And you guys can stay, that's fine. Look at the other one out there. Door Boris. Got up a heal already. It's okay. Keep moving. There we go. Triple tank. What are you guys shooting at? Shoot over here. That's fine. We're doing okay over here. Over here. Trolls are doing okay. How's Festus doing? Um, we have enough for a heal. We do, but it's on cooldown. Where's that Patriarch? Where are the double cocks? Alright, oh, they're shutting down these guys. Right. Doing fine. These little Groms are so gnarly. They're able to shoot even being attacked. The Black Orcs in there. Look at the blue Black Orcs. Oh, yeah. Oh. Disrupted. It's alright. It happens. Alright, we need a heal. Who needs a heal? Um, 
sure. Trolls rallied, come back. Let's drop this down. That should do it. Hey, my mom's in chat. Mama Teapot coming in. <laughs> Helen Cheney is my mom. Everyone say hi. Coming with uh, five, five memberships. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Mama throwing down the uh, the memberships. There you Boris. There we go. There's time to Oh, that's pigs. Little cinematic shot. Oh, laser beam. Portal from hell. Right, twin cock. Let's go over here. Where's Boris? Come here. There we go. Triple tank, double cock. <laughs> That's right. I like it. I like that combo. Double cock, double stone troll, triple tank, triple vortex beast. That's good. I like it. I like it a lot. We need seals. The tanks went through a lot of their ammo, actually. Doing pretty well up here. Downtown. That was a fun little slam jam. Not at all. Um, need seals. Group hug. This is very much a Death Star army. Not entirely, but more so than not. More so than not, it's a Death Star. How is Mama not a mod? Um, <laughs> that's a good point. Um, I don't know. No, I do know that she wouldn't know what she was doing. That's why. <laughs> Trust me, she doesn't care. It, that's a good question, Bash. <laughs> Gonna head to bed now, brother. Hope you have a lovely rest of the stream. Thank you, Obi-Wan. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Have a good night. Sleep well. Close to feet, by the way. Yeah, right. Boom, game, you're drunk. Check out my weapon. Do I love the green skin lines? So funny. Alright. Good enough. Enough. Black Horse got that zine shovel drip. Yeah, they do, they do. That was fun. Yeah, I know this army is just nonsense gold, but you know what? It's fun. I wanted to... So, my idea was that it's it's very focused on a lot of single entities, and I've basically been having the changeling run around as Festus almost entirely. The, the entire campaign has been Festus. And so, it's basically having all these single entities with heals. And it's worked pretty well. Today I yes. <laughs> I can make you a mod, Mom. <laughs> I'll make you a mod. I need to explain to you what to do, though. It's not hard. You can figure it. I mean, yeah. You'll get it down, Mama. All right. Okay, so we got Boris's trait and his form. Let's take a look at the list of characters that we can turn into. Oh yeah. God, look at all those lords. Oh man, crazy. What a crazy game. Not just lords, but heroes. That's another thing I didn't realize that the changeling could do until I started playing. Um. Uh, was that he could turn into the legendary heroes as well. It's like, holy crap, he could be Gorich. He could be fucking, uh, Toddy. I mean, Toddy's not even a hero. He's just Toddy. He could be Toddy, though. Why not? Bring the stash to the field. I've thought about it. I might. Let's not, let's not do it, though. In all actuality, Festus is way better at it. We want our healing. 
Um, but it's cool that he's there. This guy I haven't tried out either yet. A cold hell brass. He seems kind of underwhelming. But I'm also glad that he's there. It's cool. I just... Does he get a mount? I guess that's the real question. Is he always on foot? Not that being on foot is necessarily a bad thing. It can be a good thing, but... I just don't know. Does, does, does he get some speed potential? I don't know. He doesn't have neural magic. I know. Yeah. Many and many souls just kick the riffraff out as needed. <laughs> Time to get blocked, too. Oh, by my mom. <laughs> my mom. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll basically probably just tell her not to ban anybody unless it's egregious. I've, I haven't had to do that barely at all over the past over a year. You guys have been great. I, I appreciate it. Is that really... I mean, I do have rules, but I haven't really... It's hard to explain. I haven't been clear with my rules, but... That's something I do need to do is actually instill some and create like a lay that out for people to actually know so they can see it concretely. Um, I am pretty lax though, but um, yeah, I don't want people to get offended, obviously, but I, I do want to maintain um, a pretty lax environment here. And you guys have been great. You guys are very, very, very kind to one another and myself, so I appreciate it. All right. I wish I had a cool mod that wanted to be a mod for my online dealings rather than offering only the support of disapproved, disapproving looks. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty fortunate to have a cool mom. She's pretty damn cool. And she's kind of hobbit-like, too. She's very tiny. All right. She's a cool hobbit. How did the um, how did the campaign go today with Legend? Saw that it was Nagash. It's pretty awesome. Is it N the Nagash mod, right? The main the main Nagash mod. I'm assuming is, is what he was using. I haven't I haven't played with that yet. I haven't tried that one out, but it does look pretty cool. I'm not the biggest fan of Undead, but I do enjoy it from time to time, for sure. Fun. It will be cool to see Nagash come into the game full on, you know. Definitely deserves to be in the game. And he's going to be a money maker. I mean, CA would be silly not to add him because he's going to sell like hotcakes. Probably. Probably. A lot of people really like Nagash. He's an he's integral part of the story, too, so. And he's got a very cool tabletop model. Um, what do I want? Do we have this building yet? Oh, wait, no, we don't. Hold on. Where am I building it? That goes down here. Hold on. Uh, here. Yeah. Yeah, if I can guess it right. Good. Alright, so we're working on that. A little ways off, though. Okay. Luckily, most of the guys in your chat usually don't cause too much trouble. I don't remember ever seeing you block somebody. No, I've, I've only had to block one person in, 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 over a year. Yeah, you guys have been very, very tame and, and uh, polite. Exalted Appreciate betrayer. it. I am change. Um, I can't quite reach Boris, but he's very much pinned in there. So he's going to take him to Pound Town. Sorry, Boris. Oh, you deserve it. Where are you, kid? Where are you? We're going to go find him. I think he's wiped out, but we're going to find out for sure. Where's Drill Ass? There he is. Let's send him up this way. Um, yeah, come up here. Yes, yes. Alright, Zeppelin, take care, buddy. See you. Uh... It was a good campaign, to be honest. Nice. 
Legends seemed to actually be having a good time with the vibe. So the vibe was good. Awesome. Good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm, makes me happy to see Legend happy. He's an awesome guy. All right. Um, yeah, he's he's a nice guy. He's been super kind to me. Only very, very kind to me. Over the past... Well, since I became a mod for him. I don't mod for him as much as I used to because I stream a lot now. And he, and he stopped streaming, so... There was a time there where he was still streaming and I was streaming. And I'd mod quite a bit for him. But usually when he streams, now I'm streaming, so I don't... I, you know, I just don't mod for him that much anymore. Um, alright, let's look at tech. Um, so we will unlock that pretty soon, which will then unlock these three. Um, Force Rebellion. Eh, that's cute, but it's not that impactful. Open the gates. Eh. Track army. Eh. What over here? Armor. Extra 10 armor, not that impactful. It's, you know, it's cute, but not that good. Extra melee defense for our cocks. Now that's something I can get on board with. Change Let's do it. You enjoyed the mod, went for 7.5 hours. Yeah, he, he started two hours before I went live, so. Yeah, he went he went pretty long today. So he must have been, he must have been enjoying it, for sure. Just slash bots back in those feisty days. Yep, that's right. I don't miss them. I mean, no, nah, I don't. There's a part of me that kind of does. We were, we were talking about this earlier. I don't really miss the slash bots. They were kind of funny on occasion. Like once in a while, it was kind of get it was kind of funny to get raided by the slash bots, mainly because they'd say just the funniest shit. You know, like what? Like, what? What are you saying, bot? All right. Yeah, you guys remember the slash bots? <laughs> yeah, those things were, uh, they were a hoot. Um, Fester Gax, come on. Well, since I'm moving drill ass over northeast, let's bring you down to keep an eye on Ungrim. Keep an eye on that situation. Okay. Um... Yeah, can't can't chase after boars, but that's fine. Let's move everyone else up. Or did I do that already? Oh, I did. Okay. Never mind. Um. See, so you guys moved. I hope the coming out of the retirement doesn't burn Legend out. Uh, the hope is we all enjoy this game, but the community and the community around it. Yeah, the hope is we all enjoy this game in the community. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I um, I was talking about burnout with him recently, a couple of weeks ago, and I, while I was on my break, and it was refreshing to hear him talk about it to me and say it's it's normal to experience it. It's not something we aim to, you know, have happen to us, but it does. It's just the reality of the situation, and, you know, the path we've chosen. Um, we're human, and so it's okay to take breaks. It's okay to take breaks. So I'm glad he. He did take his break, and that is easing himself back into it. Um, but I, I think each of us streamers needs to find uh, their own sweet spot, you know? In terms of how much is too much, how much is too little. You know, find that point where you're being productive and you're building your channel, but at the same time, you're having fun with it. I think that's really important. Cry. King's Glade. Oh, here we go. Here's some fat money to be made. Yeah. Whoop. There we go. Big Dirthy, where are you going, buddy? He's not quite sure. He's he's working that out. Let's see with Mel. He thinks he's all high and mighty with Ariel and his army. I mean, Ariel is pretty fucking awesome, let's be real. Probably the best hero in the game. But, you know what? One thing I've never stood about Ariel here, 
you guys may have wondered this too, but look at these fucking hoops. Look at the hoops on that girl. Those are giant. Would she really have those earrings on? Come on. That's a little much, CA. <laughs> those, those earrings are just... I mean, it is Warhammer. Warhammer is over the top, so I guess it's, it's fine. It passes. It's whatever. All right. Let's siphon some money off that. A little spread. All right. God, we still haven't made a freaking cult up here. Arr. Arr. It's all right. One of these days. One of these days we'll get it cold up by the keep, the brass keep. Torox is actually making an army. Crap one, but it's, uh, you know, it's something. Uh, who are you again? Oh, you're the guy over in the mountains. No, oh, never mind. You're down here. Oh, right, let's move in you. Whoa, what the fuck? It's like a Gorst. Gorst is out here. Gorst has eight peaks? What the shit? Huh. Oh my god, Gorst. Look at all these armies. Oh my god. Um, let's check on his balance of power. Good, good. Holy shit. I am in need of more husks for my hordes. Okay. Okay. Well then, he's rank three. He's not at war with Warzag, which is kind of weird. Is Warzag still alive? I think he is. Yeah. Will he be fighting Warzag? What's what's their relations right now? Okay, war's brewing between the two, so they'll probably be preoccupied with that here, not too too long from now. Okay, freaking Gorse with eight peaks with this shit. Yeah, weird. Okay. Um. Oh, I know what we need to do. Right. Right. So next turn, we need to do this battle. The grand scheme for Norsk and Kislev. Yeah, we actually did that. Yeah. I really haven't been prioritizing the, the schemes. We've just been kind of farting around. Uh, we did the Empire one. So we might as well finish this one. I'm probably not going to finish the ultimate scheme, but it's okay. I, we get the picture. We get the picture. Oh. I'm a distinguished comic sans enjoyer, but it's a good taste. Mmm. This should have been a Skaven campaign focused on under empires instead of uh, creative mode, i.e. Yeah, similar for sure, for sure. It definitely feels akin to that, yeah. Micromanaging all these um, essentially under cities is very Skaven-y. Oh, Scrag, taken out. Ooh, Which is not making shit. Oh well. Gorsel. Okay. Let's just uh first things first, let's build that and I mean is the castle ever gonna make that much? Probably not that much. We can always swap it over down the road. We'll put it we'll build that for now. And then we'll build that and that. Good. Alright. Montanus. Build that, that, um, Magritta. Let's build that. Magritta's making quite a bit. The bottom. That's fine. Gorsel. What's up with Gorsel? Okay. Oop, oh, shit. Let's do. Do we have more spreading to do up here? I think we do. Yeah. There's actually a lot of ports up north in Norska that I would like to have Colts at. For sure. So let's get, let's get up there. Let's go. Let's spread. Let's slam jam. Do that. Good. Anywhere else? Yeah, border low. Keep it coming. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's do that. And... Oh, wait, no. Wait. Yeah, yeah, we want that one. And then that one. Right. And then that one. Cool. Bay of Blades. There we go, baby. 
Go, we made it across the bay to another bay. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh my god, there's more. Um, spread. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's siphon off this. It is a port. Spread. Do that. Yeah, this is the, kind of the combo. There we go, good. Crack all's a fin dolt. Oh yeah, there we go. Another big forest to siphon off of. Let's do that. And that. And that. Good. Let's go, baby. <laughs> That's right. Oh, a castle drank it, Hoff. Holy crap, how many cults is this? This is a record for me. The Hoff making... <laughs> Fucking Drakenhoff making zero, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, you can at least use it as a stepping stone, I guess. That. Cool. Alright, who's next? Oh, that's it. Okay. Whew. That was a lot of Colts. Look how many Colts we have. Oh, my God. What's going on? The rain's gonna explode. Alright, what we're we gonna do? Mm, oh, yeah. Yes. Alright, we're in good shape. Sazel's come down here to join us. That's cool. Okay. Um, let's move the scout first. There's an army over here you need to be mindful of. Oh yeah, the one with Ulrika in it. Not sure if attractive. Alright, let's take you, Randall. Move you up here. Okay. Yeah, I think Archeon's gone. If we don't see him over here, he's he's gone, so probably. I mean there's chances up here, but I don't know. Not that it really matters. I'm just curious. It's just it's very rare to see Boris do this well, so I'm just kinda of perplexed and in awe. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. Move you up here. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna fight Wolfric now in that one battle. Oh yeah, I also want to do this. I have this item I got from one of the schemes. My gear is garbage, but whatever. It's alright. It's working. It's working. Alright, so let's teleport to that battle. Let's double check. We're looking good. Okay. And so, what are we against here? Just a way to first see what you're up against. You just have to teleport and find out. Oh. Oh. Okay. It is Wolfric. He's not on his mammoth, however. Interesting. Okay. Huh. We'll get his form for doing this. Um, not that I really want it. it. doesn't have his mount. He's way better. I mean, he's a good duelist for sure on foot. Um... Oh, he's just so much better on his mammoth. Uh, okay, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Oh. <clears throat> oh, choke point. Oh, God, poor Norskins. <laughs> poor guys. And they're just going to get turned to lead. Where's my water? It's like my water bottle. Ugh. All right. I'm gonna put these glasses back on. Ice drain. We go in a while. All right, Norskins. Now, I guess in the theory they could come around and come down this way. If they do, whatever. Let's get in their face, though. We do have Vanguard. Wait, can I really deploy up here? No, okay. Oh, I see. This is... Yeah, I'm going to deploy as far up as possible. I want to get up in here so I um, maximize the clumpage in this choke point, of course. Maximize that clumpage, much like Izzy's letterbox. All right, you guys move here. The trio. All right, Big Griffin. 
Let's double cock bodyguards. They will probably go after... I'm not sure yet. There is a lot of javelins. Now, don't underestimate the Marauder Hunter javelins. These are a pretty good unit. They're very good against large targets. They do a lot of damage, potentially. So I need to shut those guys down. They're not nearly as good in melee. Maybe I'll do that. Engage them in melee. Let's put our tanks up here. They can shoot at Manus. Good target for them. Alright, they're Vanguard too. Fuck yeah. Okay, let's move the Vortex Beasts down the hill so they don't get shot in the butt from the cannons. That's better. Alright. Uh, let's keep symmetrical. There we go. Um, skin wolves. Alright, I got some skin wolves. They can run back here and get on top of, definitely not spears, but perhaps those guys. Um, they'll do well against the mammoths. I'm not sure where I want to put them. Hang out here for now. Um, war Shrine, come up here. War Shrine there, and a War Shrine here. Spread out a little... Do they have magic? I don't think he has any magic. No, he doesn't. Okay. He does have Sea Fang that way, does he? Let's find out. He does have Sea Fang, right. He starts with Sea Fang. Of course he does. Yeah, right. I haven't played Wolfric in a while. Alright, so double troll. Um, sure. Oh yeah, the Blorks. <laughs> Alright, so we'll move up a bit. I don't want to engage them up in too far up here, but let's move up here with our single entities at least and allow our tanks to just kind of blast into them. And we'll see how much of their units actually decide to come through here and how much decide to go around the flanks. I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Dar Darlian, hey, hello, hello, welcome. Got here suddenly from Legend Stream. Well, welcome. How's the campaign going? Turn on at 11. Um, it's going pretty well. Yeah, campaign's going really well. I didn't d decide to do um, a uh, Ultimate Crisis with this one. This is just a kind of a learn experience for me. I went in blind. I didn't do any research with uh, the chaining functions. Um, so it was just um, uh, a very much a learning experience for me. Just kind of figuring things out, testing things out, kind of having fun with it. Um, but next time I do play as the changeling, I'll probably will do an ultimate crisis. Yeah. Oh, they're just slightly out of range. Look at this, they're being very hesitant, playing back, not deciding to engage. It's fine with me. Let's scooch up. Oh, should do that. Let's get the Festus form. Look at this Festus form, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that gut. Oh. Nice. Okay. So, a lot up a little more. Up here. Scooch up a little bit. Maybe to like edge of this hill here. Let's move up enough so that they can't come in and get around us. Let's force the bottleneck, basically. Force them to be bottlenecked. While shooting into them. So we definitely have the range advantage, and I want to take advantage of that. Take advantage of the fact we have the range advantage. Come on. Alright, scooch up a little. Move to this hole here. That should put us in range. Look right here. That should do it. Scooch up. Once we start firing in, a few volleys and they'll come at us. Hopefully they come in. I'm wanting the majority of this army, if not all of it, to come in through the choke point, ideally. But I think some of the units will come around the flank. It's fun. Cannons will open up. Our tanks. Let's focus on the mammoths. Where's the more mammoth? Yep, we gotta go. Okay, they're pivoting. Okay, cannons are doing work. Remember Triple cannon. Is key. Shooting downtown, baby. I feel bad for the, the mammoths. They just want to eat food. 
You have to stand there getting blasted by cannon. Not fun. Let's see, is there any way to get down through this ledge? Well, this is just one big cliff. Okay, interesting. I'll keep these guys here. Just in case. Look at that, they're just taking it to the face. Weaken the first of the Norsten forces. Oh, this is just the first of the forces? Well, fucking A, okay. Weakening them allows us to begin the teleportation ritual. Hmm. Okay, let's switch up a little bit more. Now again, we need to keep watch of uh, where exactly these Broader Hunter Javelins will start throwing their shots. They're probably going to try focusing on large targets. Which is wise of them. Oh, they're just taking it. Okay, I think that did it. They're coming in. They're coming in. Square up. Here they come. Oh, we got a fat transmutation. We have a lot of magic in our back pocket. Oh, that poor mammoth's just getting taken to Pound Town. Some units are coming. Oh, nope. Just the horses. Perfect. Okay. Let's get ready for a transmutation on this blob forming. Let's just move over here. I think most of the, the action's going to be over here. Move the black horse over to the right side just a little bit. Halbers, get ready. Grace. Let's get on top of these jabs. Yep, waddle in. Best, let's get in there. Alberts. Good. Club it down. You be careful. We need transmutation. Overcast it. Let's drop it right here. Nice. Oh, a nice big blob here. I have another metal caster, so we can go ahead and do that here. It's overcast, so we have tons of winds. Let's do that. I need some more help over here on the right flank. Are we keeping all the javelins occupied? Looks like we are. They're not able to shoot very well. Let's bring down these guys. Yeah, they're not doing any good over there. Let's get them on top of these. Force in. A lot of spears. It's okay, though. A lot of spears. Let's draw down some summons. Good. Black Horse getting there and shot. Another transmutation right here. That should be the Bane backbreak we need on this right flank. Bottle up here. Mercy in the match here. <laughs> thank you, Mercy. How's it going, guys? Welcome, Mercy. Thank you, thank you. What's up, guys? Okay. Let's see. Let's get on top of Wolford. Where's Festus? Good. That did it. Oh, these guys not broken yet. Another uh, horse masters. Leadership's a bit better. There goes Wolfric. Drag down. Do the skin wolves get in here yet? Or are they? Oh yeah, there they are. Okay. They're here. Nice. Yeah, they just kind of bounced off of us. I know, Bash. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping he'd come with his mammoth too, because he's so good. It's okay, still fun. We took a little damage there, not too bad though. Separate claw are so heavy metal. Those transmutations are just brutal. The overcasted, absolutely brutal. Nice. Wiped out just to summon. Uh, weaken the second Norskin force. Where are they? Oh, oh, they're behind us. Oh shit! What else is this? Oh, he's gonna do the ritual. Oh, we need to protect him. Oh, they're coming down from the hill. Oh shit! Cox, get on him. Form a line. Protect him. Oh no, they're going for him. Fuck. 
You leave him alone. Arr. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Distracted him. Alright, tanks. Yeah, shoot up these fucking skin wolves. Get on top of him. Shut him down. Come here. Good, we broke him. Good. Form a line of halberds here. Pick up the halberds. Good. Good, there we go. Oh, these guys are way up here already. Just got to top of these skin wolves here with halberds. How are we on wins? Doing really good on wins. We're fine. Oh, back here. Alright, it's time for a nice transmutation. Overcast it right about here. I should do it. Alright, tanks. Shoot these guys. That's fine. Festus, get over here. Where's the golden griffin? Yeah, you got some magic back here. I could drop as well. Let's get you up there. Air Cox, come out here. Weaken the final Norsekin force. The third one. Jesus. Need to protect Pinky. Okay, Festus, come back here. Getting flanked on this side now. Jesus, there's a lot of them. Holy crap. Bull. Okay, they're a ways off, though. We have time. Oh, we need to protect this Herald. All right, Skinwolves, you're up here. You're ready to get on that. Manticore coming in. Come over here. Tanks, I need you firing on this Manticore, although you're not going to have any light of sign at the moment. Um, oh, Wolfric's still on the run. Let's see if we can get him. Should be able to. All right, good. So this guy needs protection. Where is he going? I don't know where he's going. Do I just need to protect him? I don't, I don't fully understand. I'll keep an eye on him, though. These guys are all shattered, so let's just pivot around and get ready to uh, intercept the oncoming forces. I don't think it's a lot, but I... No, there may be. They're probably hidden. I don't know exactly what's coming at us. Let's go after Wolfric, though. Not that it really matters. Right, come over here. Cox, get over here. Not that I want you fighting the forest, but we've got a big Timmy coming in. We need to shut him down. Oh, Manti's here. Best is go over here as well. Let's just form a blockade by the force edge. Get out of there, little dude. Oh yeah, there's a lot coming in. Skin wolves have discovered a fuck ton. Let's go. Get out of there. The trolls are coming in hot. We need Festus over here. Everyone, I need you over here. Oh, Manticore. Picking on my tanks. Let the cocks go after him. Tanks, don't focus on the Manticore. Get over here. I need you firing at this forest line. Careful. Protect him. Protect him. We need some blues here. Nice barrier. We need... Oh, yeah. Summon right there. That'll do that. Alberts, I need you up here. Let's go. There. On top of those guys. There we go. I guess I'm getting the melee. Jug them up. Let's wait for the blob to form here. I'll drop a transmutation right there at the tree line. Oh, yeah, you can use that ability right on top of those guys. Whoop. There we go. Let's not fight in the forest with our large entities if we can avoid it. Holy shit. I like putting the blues that I summon right into melee. Just fucking throw them in, you know? Shit, there's a lot of guys. I need a transmutation here. Hold on. Overcast it right there. That should do it. Halberds, get up here. I need some more on the left flank. Fuck, they're gonna push through. We're doing good on wins. Here, I need you guys firing at these trolls. It's a lot of trolls. Oh, they're on top of Pinky. Fuck. Get off, Pinky. No. You leave Pinky alone. Okay, good, we broke him. Good, they, they shattered. Whew. For the change of ways. Over here. Hey, Mercy. You're back. Thank you. Yes, I'm back. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, man. Feels good to be back, yeah. Is this Sir the Eck? Ah, oh, it's not. <laughs> I saw the chariot. Is that Sir the Eck? No. It's alright. We can, we can dream. All right, we're the double cocks. Get over here. Oh, you sort the wannabe. We're getting you. The pink's just running through the madness. Holy shit! 
That was actually a way crazier battle than I expected. Was it that difficult? No. Was it chaotic? Yeah, it was. It was kind of fun. Oh, Timmy. Holy shit, Timmy. Timmy wants a piece. Timmy's got a tank on double cock here. Let's fight outside the forest. Actually, it's just some cannonballs out of while we're at it. Oh shit, our tanks went through all their ammo. Holy crap. That never happens. Timmy's about to have a bad day. Timmy is about to have a bad day. Alright, Timmy. Yeah. It's funny. Timmy is the one that fights to the bitter end. This this big bastard fight to the... <laughs> you gotta give him credit. Woo! Oh! Don't get me wrong. Festus is strong, but it feels weird using him with Zinchin units. It does. It does. It does feel weird, but I've gotten used to it. And I've gone pretty heavy into single entities. I mean, I, I could have gone like a full stack of single entities for sure. I like having some halberds, so I like having a little variety. Um, but having access to, to Nurgle magic for the heals and his passive heal, is, it's been really good. This army's taken on a lot. Hasn't really struggled that much. Is it a uh, full-fledged doom stack? I don't know. Is it decent? It's pretty decent. It's getting the job done, and it's fun. I agree with the bonuses he gives. is just OP. Yeah. Anyway, from all the pool of lords and heroes, Festus is the best, I think. Having free Mortis and Regen is just... Yeah, it's so strong. You just run around to Death Star, basically. That battle is a little frantic. I don't... I did, most battles I don't have to spread out that much and cover all that ground and protect those little heralds. Usually I kind of roll around a big ball. Um, but even with being spread out, as you saw, the, the army does pretty pretty okay. This wasn't a crazy... I mean, this was a lot of enemies, but it wasn't all that... There wasn't all that much high-tier stuff, though, right? We're not... Yeah, it wasn't all that... Timmy. Yeah, the one Timmy. <laughs> He held. I no, will take that. Hey, short victory achieved. Nice. Good timing. Okay. That's so funny. Because invade Ulthawan. I don't really want to do that, though, because I have a lot of future investments over there. there. I'm basically siphoning it off. Not yet, but I will be siphoning it off for the ports over there. So, raising the ports with a bunch of Norskin hordes, we kind of shoot ourselves in the foot financially. But, um, going over to Cathay, yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh, <laughs> they showed up on Cathay's doorstep, that's funny. Well, that was quick. Norskin warriors unceasingly crave the thrill of battle. Many wandering for decades just to seek a worthy fight. Ooh. Yet their wills are weak. Easily malleable once broken. I like this voice actress. She has a cool voice. March upon a new target, guided by his hand. Mm. Indeed. New form acquired. Wolfric. Not on his mammoth, unfortunately. It's okay, though. Still fun to have. All right. Yeah. Pretty good army. Pretty good army. It's a mess. I mean, it's. I mean, generally don't want to have all these different unit types, but I'm I'm fucking around. I enjoy it. By the way, where's the great Sith Lord Acold and Blue Cutes? Uh, Blue Cuties. <laughs> I actually I haven't gotten them yet. I didn't prioritize doing that. Uh, I, I kind of forgot about it. I've been aware of it. I just haven't prioritized doing it. We could turn into a cold if we wanted to. Um, we unlocked his form, right? Yeah, we did. A cold here. I haven't tried him out though. So that's something I didn't do yet in this campaign. Um, but it's cool that they're there. That. The Zinch got some some heroes. I'm kind of curious about them. Uh, grab that. Because we're in that point where there's just not a whole lot left to get. 
And grab that. Oh, you hold up twice. Cool. Okay. So, Boris's own army's been smashed. Let's check his balance of power now and see where he stands. He's definitely dropped a bit. He's definitely taken a hit. How are we still only rank 13? I feel like we're doing pretty well. We don't have a lot of armies. Um, I don't know. Hard to say. Okay. With a great conspirator. Two Aussie raids in one day? <laughs> I'm sure Zeech has an eye on you. Now you gotta talk like an Aussie. Yashila? <laughs> Is that something they say? I didn't know that. Uh, I can't do an Aussie accent. I really can't. I really can't. I need to practice. It's bad. My British accent's a little better. It's it's bad, too. Yeah, I just... It's bad. I, you know, with Legend potentially in the chat and Mercy here, I just... I can't do it. Can't, can't do it. Yeah. I'll work on it. I'll work on it, though. All right, let's um, I should finish off Boris. I'm tempted to go across the water. There's just not a lot of money over here to be made. Mm. Mm. So, anyways, he came down here to fight me. He wants to fight. We'll, we'll give him a fight. There you go. There's your accent. <laughs> Fighting around the world. I love that, uh, the South Park, um, uh, what's his name, Maximus, I'm not blanking on his name right now, it's because people are watching, the South Park skit with Tugga, <laughs> let's go Tugga! It called as uh, decent duelist and infantry fire, but and blue horse just OP and magic. Imagine overcast front tragedy like seven wins. Oh wow, that cheap? Damn. I didn't know they could get it that cheap. Oof, okay. Damn, that is pretty good. Overcast of transmutation for seven wins. That is damn good price. So I love transmutation. On the right blob, transmutation is very powerful, but it is pretty pricey. I just like it a lot because you can just you punish the enemy and it doesn't affect friendly troops, so it's just just melt the enemy. It's very easy to use. I like user friendly, you know. All right, where is Drill Ass? There he is. Um, let give him a movement order, I guess. I'm up here, we're looking for Archeon. Oh, it's got a little bit up. Um, we'll keep you as an agent for now. Yeah, that's fine. Torox, come on now, you're, you're you're faffing about. You're faffing about. That's one of the words I've grown to like, making uh, British friends <laughs> faffing. Some of the best bull riders are from Australia, and so I've been meeting a lot recently. Oh, cool, cool. The Australians are so funny. You guys are great. Very nice. Very friendly. Just, yeah. I, yeah. Australians are great. It hasn't been until I started streaming that I've, you know, gotten to know some Australians and, and, and other Europeans as well. Um, it's just, it's fun. Streaming's introduced me to so many people that I wouldn't have otherwise met, and, uh, it's one of the best things about it, actually, thus far, is just meeting people from around the world. I've been very isolated here in Seattle. Um, I mean, Seattle is a pretty substantial melting pot. It's kind of a European-esque in that sense. A lot of people from around the world here in Seattle. It's a lot of cultures represented in Seattle, but, but still, it's not quite the same. Um... Okay, we spread to all the major Whittle cities here. I think we have. Okay. Oh, here we go. There's more sucking to be had here. Let's do that. Oop. There we go. There we go. Oop. There we go. Good, those are building up. Excellent. Now, Skaven Blight. Good, that's building up. Good. Now, we 
Oh, we just can't get our corruption up here. I'm trying, but it's tough. Um, yeah. I want the nukes. We can get nukes from Ikaclaw, but it's just tough to get Skaven corruption up there. Or, um, Zinch corruption there. Just can't do it. Uh, that's funny. An army of demonic rebels hostile to everyone will arrive through a rift upon building completion. That does sound pretty funny. Uh, oh, the winner of the last your last rodeo from last week was a bull rider, bull rider from Australia. Nice, that's cool. Very cool. Who traveled over to Nevada? Was your rodeo in Nevada, Nathan? Your last one. Um, yeah, I mentioned Australians with the, the weather they have access to over there, and, and there's a lot of ranchers over there. They, they probably they, it makes sense that there's some damn good bull riders from that area, or not necessarily just bull, but rodeo in general from Australia. A lot of cowboys. Okay. Uh, have we spread up into these mountains yet? Not quite. Getting there though. Schwarzhofen. Let's let's get that spread up there. There we go. Okay. I think that's about it. Making pretty good money. Yeah, changeling so powerful. I'm not even coming close to min maxing whatsoever. It's just just a breeze. Crazy. Very powerful. Is the shrimp on the Barbie? Yeah, they say that one too. No, they actually don't. I don't yes. I remember Legend being asked that in a stream, and he's like, we actually don't say that. We find it really annoying. It would make sense. I, if I were Australian, that would probably annoy me too. They have tons of uh, high, high end spells, like from all schools, plus cataclysm ones with a huge discount. Damn. Shit, so now I need to get them. I wasn't aware that they were um, that good of spellcasters. Uh, Torox, you're gonna have to pay me more than that, buddy. Sorry. Sorry, bud. Oh, okay. Ooh, the oak. There we go. Not that it really matters, it's the oak. Um, yeah, it's of really no economic importance whatsoever, but it's okay. It sends a message. It sends a message. Um, I guess we can just do that. We can do that. I don't, I don't know. I don't want these places to be damaged, because I'm making quite a pretty penny off of them. They're pristine. Yes. Yeah, Gil. Over here, okay. Bluey. All that I hold dear. Oh, this place is making quite a bit. We'll definitely siphon from here. Do that. Where's Twinkle? She's been here. I see the Twinkle. Where is she? She's somewhere over there. Grom's been a good ally. He's been a good, a good uh, a roadblock of sorts, the High Elves. Um, do I want to do that? It's not really necessary. Oh, I do want to do this though. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. Now each turn we're getting one or two new, if not more, new cults. Uh, I want to build up the spreader building here a bit more. Looks like it is. Okay, good. Still no new cult over here. Taking the oak asserts your dominance. That's <laughs> right. Dude, that's my big tree. Um, oh, thank you, Jeremiah. True. You're right. That does have really high discoverability, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah, it's going to get destroyed. I really don't. It's just not building anything there. It doesn't really matter. 
Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. What I build here is likely going to get destroyed. It's not a guarantee. It just doesn't really matter. Just having the cult there sends a message. Maybe we can think of something to build there, but it's not really a big deal. I think not. But yeah, thank you, Jeremiah. That's true. I forgot about the discoverability there at the oak. That's very true. Big old oak. All right. Let's plow up northward. Um... Yeah, it's, yeah. Cathay could be fun too. Cathay would be more profitable for sure. It's going to take a while to get over there, but. Master Goth's hanging in there. But it would be pretty lucrative. We could take this portal to take us over towards where. Um, south of Zarnagrand, right? Yeah, down here. And from here, we can hop over the mountains into Cathay. So it's actually not that far. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do that. Let's do it. In fact, we can send you. You can be a scout in that area. There you go. Good. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to Cathay. <laughs> let's go. Oh, it's tre oh, that's not treasure. No, that's not treasure. I got blue bulb there. I am only as real as the crest of a way. Okay, big army here. abdokia has got a big army, but no matter. Magic of chaos. It could be fun to send maybe just the changeling over to Cathay, kind of on a solo journey, and my other armies can kind of, you know, keep keep united and run around as a little pack. Um, and they could be the ones to go pick on Boris, perhaps? I think they've gotten to the point where they're functional on their own. If we need to recruit globally, we can to fill out their ranks. Maybe I'll do that. Servants of the wind we do have some military points we could use, too. Or allegiance points, I mean. Uh, for quite a few factions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Let's get some... Yeah, that's what we can do. Um, what would be some fun Destiny holds scaven the units? Let's just hang out here for a little while. While we travel over, following the changing winds. Um, let's see. We want we have forty six points. Venerous. Couple Timmies. Timmies wouldn't be bad. But I don't have any healing. Unlike the Changeling's army, we don't really have any healing. So the trolls with their innate healing would be better in that regard. Let's take a look at what other options we have. Mr. Tooth. Um, some Chaos Timmies. Norsten Giants at that. Ooh. We have 60 points. War Shrine? War Shrine Mammoths are only 26. It's not bad. Oh, right. That's because we have the Changeling's uh, talent points. Oh, right, that's true. That's really good. You know what? I'm going to grab a couple war shrines. Why not? Fuck it. We're doing it. Three turns, but it's okay. I don't typically like to wait three turns to recruit, but it's okay. Let's grab... Oh, that's crap. We can grab some trolls with you. Yeah, let's grab a couple trolls. There. We'll start with that. Uh, we also have some outposts to build. Let's take a look. Um, oh, Dark Elf could be kind of fun. Oh, fuck. We don't have an outpost at Skaven Plight yet. Oh, okay. No wonder. I should have built this a long time ago. Holy shit. Why didn't I build this? Damn it. We have 100 points built up. Jesus. That went over my head. Well, better late than never. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wait. Oh, it's because we have a cult there. Ah, okay, so now I know. I didn't know this. So, if we construct an outpost here, it would remove the cult. So you have to choose one or the other. Mm. 
But let's keep the cult there because it's making us like 2,500 a turn, if not more. And we could build the outpost. I don't know. Nuja is kind of exposed. What about my, what's this one here? Montanus. Montanus is insulated inland. So I prefer that. Now there are, there is a chance that beastmen incursions may arise. 11 garrison. Maybe it's better that we build it here at Magritta. The big 20 garrison. Let's do that. Magritta. Yeah, we'll build it there. Cool. Better investment. A safer investment. Access to the same unit. So let's do that. Oh, that would get rid of the cult, though, that we had there. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, well, it's okay. It's fine. We're good on money. Yeah, we'll be losing. Two. It's okay. I'm just worried about a beast bin stack popping out of nowhere and taking out Montana's. Which would take out the outpost as well. So let's let's sacrifice a little money for a safer outpost at Magritte. Yeah. Cool. I don't like to wait to recruit at all. That's why I play Warriors of Chaos. Well said, Bash. Yeah, well said. I, I agree. That's one of my... Uh, one of the reasons why I like Warriors of Chaos so much. Yeah, I like their recruiting mechanic a lot. Hell yeah. But Major Kilt, shut the fuck up to me. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're telling me about that. <laughs> it's funny. He calls his chat to me. Um, from my own experience, can say that to achieve Ultimate Crisis... Victory condition by a change is quite a dilemma. Um, to achieve to to win if you have an ultimate crisis as the changeling, yeah, that would be pretty chaotic. Hmm. Yeah, that would be an interesting playthrough. Next time I do play the changeling, I I think it will be, yeah, most most like ultimate crisis scenario. That would be pretty fun. Because you need to raise ultimate enemy cities, but you don't want to because it's in your because it's your economy. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, you have that dilemma. You have a dilemma of either raising it for um, uh, on one hand you want to get rid of the city away from out of the enemy's hands, but at the same time you'd be losing out on a lot of your money back, a lot of your economy. Yeah, makes sense. Tough choices. Tough choices for sure. All right, so good. We'll, we'll scoot down there. Okay. Cool. Sandal asks, "Why do you kind of sound like Brian from Family Guy?" Oh, it's, uh, Seth MacFarlane. I sound like Seth MacFarlane. That's, uh, I haven't been told that before, but uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I've been told I sound like the guy from, Ar uh, cool. sound like Archer from the show Archer. Um, I've gotten yeah. Counter Reeves a lot. Um, but from what I understand, Brian the dog from Family Guy is actually Seth's just, it's his normal voice. It's, it's his one, like, normal voice in the show. It's the actual voice of Seth MacFarlane is, is the dog. <laughs> Just kind of funny. Yeah, the guy's funny. Um, which reminds me, I need to finish watching the uh, the Cosmos series, the new Cosmos, which I think he funded. Chaos in Which I appreciate. I didn't realize Seth MacFarlane. I've known it for a while, but for a long time I didn't realize that Seth is a big fan of, um, of uh, Carl Sagan and astronomy in general, which I appreciate. I'm a big fan of that, too. All right. Moving on. Absolutely. It's the smooth bachelor voice. Okay. I've never thought of it that way, but thank you. It's just, I don't know, it's just my voice. It's my voice. Week. What can I do for you? Three thousand. That's not a bad deal. Um, he seems pretty benign. Although, mm, 
Gorse Daddy would not appreciate this. He's at war with Gorse. I'm gonna have to choose one or the other. Do I wanna help out Queek? You know what? Fuck Gorse. I don't like Gorse. I do not like Gorse whatsoever. Did you notice you are now at 1.1k subs? I, I am? Holy shit. That's awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. I, I didn't realize that. I, I don't check on stats when I'm streaming. I don't I don't have any idea of how many people are watching. Uh, I, I shut that off because I found that it impacts my movie sometimes and my ability to like focus on what I'm, you know, the actual gameplay. I don't want to get caught up in the numbers. I don't want to get caught up in the numbers. So, um, but that is awesome. That is, I, that's very cool. Thank you guys. I appreciate all your guys' support and, and, and uh, the likes and the new subscribers. Thank you so much. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. It's exciting. Okay. Um. And triple digit likes on this stream. Holy, I have over 100 likes on this stream. Holy shit. Thank you guys. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I've ever achieved that before. So thank you, thank you. Holy crap. Holy crap. Thanks guys. Man. I'm plushing now. <laughs> I don't want to plush on straight. So I grew out the beard so you can't see when I'm plushing. Now he's probably still can. Probably still can. Alright, let's fight this guy. I am change. Let's fuck this guy's couch. Or stop it. You know what I mean. <laughs> let's fuck this guy's couch. What? Bringing Pillows feel good. <laughs> oh my god. Don't run from me. Come back here. I just, well, you know what? Fuck that guy. I want to get down to the... <sighs> we'll let Zayz will handle it. No, we need, to, we need to take out one of these armies. I need to soften up... I need to soften up uh, Boris. He's just a little too powerful right now. And I'm going to leave these guys by themselves. So, while these guys recruit, I need to keep Boris kind of softened up. So let's stay back here. Let's let's stomp this couch a little bit more. There we go. Let's stomp it. Thank you, Nat. Thank you, thank you. Damn. It's crazy to see numbers like this. I'm on my own stream side of this. It's exciting. Okay. So this shouldn't be too difficult, but uh, it'll be satisfying. This army's not very good in auto resolve. I've noticed. Yeah, not not too good in auto resolve. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's it's pretty armored. It's not. It's probably not bad. But. Um, it doesn't take into account just the magic shenanigans we can pull out of our ass, you know? So. The strength, a lot of the strength of this army is in its magic, which isn't represented very much, I think, in auto resolve. So. That's, that, I think that's the main reason why. No, you do you, you three, you be two, here we go, you four. Right. Big bird, KFC bird, and his double cock body guards. Maybe six, there we go. Um, Skindles, yeah. I don't necessarily use all these control groups, but it keeps things organized for me. I don't know how Legend plays without control groups. I mean, obviously, he makes it work. Uh, for sure. Without a doubt. But, um, I don't know. I like, I, I use control groups for like the first four quite a bit. Um, but I don't know, it just kind of keeps things organized for me for some reason. Everyone's got their own little preferences and play styles. We're all different, all unique. All right, get over here. Let's just play the range game. Wait a minute, hold on. Do they have little grounds? No. No. No, they don't. Okay. Once you have more Lord of Change, you'll ascend to God level. <laughs> yeah. 
just become this giant KFC god. Dude, I could go over some KFC right now. I'm really fucking hungry. Big old pile of chicken. Greasy chicken. Mm. Alright, hang out here. Um, I don't want to fight in the forest because we have mostly large entities. Let's keep you back. Let's pull back just a little more. That's better. Yeah, draw them out of the forest. Stupid war sleds are annoying. It's alright. Cox will probably chase down the war sleds. Alright, let's do this. Put you guys in a group. Here they come. It itches, but here we go. It itches, but here we go. God. Let's spread out the vortex beasts a little bit. And the funky one can be in the middle. Oh boy. Alright, what are we shooting at? Shoot those wing lancers, I guess. Stay nice and tight. Nice and tight. Well, not super tight. Slightly spread out. You know what I mean. Which target, General? Um, not the Dervishes. I don't know. Just fire it well. Actually, war sleds. Shoot at the war sleds. Here they come. Let's go before they start shooting at us. Ah! Good. I'm gonna get shot up a little bit, it's alright. Pinwolves come up here. There's a lot of guys on our left flank. Let's stay in tight. Let's break this middle group right. I get around our flanks here. Get on top of these guys. I should summon a little. Here we go. This is where we want the transportation. Right here. Right. There we go. Good. I need you over here. There we go. Fucking melting them there. Let's give this heal. Backworks are taking a lot of damage. They're doing okay though. Hold. Need over here. Need to interrupt these guys' this shooting. Yes, sir. Actually, just fire these guys. Oh, take out these guys. There we go. All right, we need that right about there. Get you guys in the melee. Need you over here. Let's drop this on that freaking cat. There we go. We need to heal. Fuck, I didn't mean to click that button. Sorry. Hang in there, Black Orcs. They're doing okay. For the Emperor. Good, just run to Blues into melee. Spindles are doing great. I need you to waddle over here. Ooh, nice spell on their part. Cock should be a mount option for Zeech heroes. Yeah, that would be cool. The Cock Truce would be a very cool mount. Definitely. Nice. Good. There we go. That's right. You fight for me, Empire. You fight for me. Me. Let's go. Oh, I keep forgetting to use the summon here. Ta-da! I remembered. <laughs> go! Fuck! Fuck you! Get cocked. Yes, 
There we go, not too bad. We need healing. They're pretty good, actually. Forks, they did well. The blue black orcs, baby. Nurgle's love. Please, Chads. Love it. Oh, yeah. Saucy. Here, I'll drop this for good measure. Come on. Get him. Get him, birds. Ah, the birds aren't great at running down other similar entities off the map, but they might be able to do it. Let's see. Come on, get her. Ugh. It's alright. Could have used that. Rancid visitations probably would have done it. It's okay. Not much damage. Tanks went through about half their ammo. Not bad. What should those transmutations do? About 8,000 damage there. What about this guy? Yeah, not a ton, but a bit. A bit for sure. Not bad. Okay. Oof. How long have you been going? Still have 142 of you here, jeez. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, that's very cool. Oof. Thank you for hanging out with me today, guys. It uh, means a lot to me. And thank you again, Mercy and Legend. Thank you. You guys spoil me. Okay. Oh, look what we jacked. Hell yeah. Nice. That's our first one. Our itemization has been crap this campaign. We, yeah. We have really not collected great items across the board. Um, for how long the campaign we are. Even with all the heroes we've recruited. Just haven't had great drops. Um. Nice. Finally got that item. Okay. As much as I want to keep going, guys, I'm getting pretty tired and hungry. And I kind of feel like there's a headache coming on from the eye strain. And there's still a lot of you here, which I really appreciate. But I feel like while I still have you guys here, let's go raid somebody. Make someone stay. Because we can, you know, we can just... Continue down the line with the raids from Legend. Share the load. As uh, as Samwise Gamgee once said, share the load. Remember that scene? Share the load. I always laugh at that for some reason. Um, let's find someone to raise. Stay with me just one second. Don't go anywhere. Stay right here. You bet, Andy. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Mom's still in chat. Wait, how are you a mod now, Mom? I didn't make you a mod. Were you on another account... <laughs> so my mom's now on a different account where she is a mod. I'm tripping out here. Share your load. Oh, I'm, I'm going to share this load. The legend load will now be shared elsewhere. <laughs> Let's see. I'll be coming back. Oh, thank you, training. Or train, I'm sorry. Train goes burr. I had subscribed way before we got to turn on the bell. Oh, no worries. Well, no worries. Good to see you back. Yeah, I hope to see you guys again. I'll be around. I stream three days a week. Sometimes more, but at least three days a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then I do Let's Plays, um, which aren't live, um, a couple times a week. Tuesday, Thursdays, maybe on the weekend. Um, and usually take weekends off. But uh, yeah, I'm on the Discord a lot. If you want to hang out in the Discord and game with me, yeah, just join the Discord. I'll, I'll link the Discord again. It's also in the description below, guys, in the description of this video. There's a link to the Discord. So you guys can join that way. Um, let's, let's share the load. Let's do this. <laughs> let's make that a new term, sharing the load. Let's see, who's here? Who is streaming right now? Give me one more minute, guys, while I find someone to raid here, because it's very worthwhile. Well, I gotcha. Ideally, I want to raid someone who's streaming Total War. Uh, looks like, oh, Turin's live right now. Could raid Turin. <laughs> Could raid Turin. He's got 900 people watching him, though. He doesn't need the raid. As much as I love Turin, I love Turin. But uh, he doesn't need it. I mean, 
know what I mean? I'd rather help out a smaller channel as much as I like Turn. I hope you understand. Hope he understands. He would understand. Turn, turn gets it. Um, Kibby is streaming tomorrow, my friend Hibby. Um, Raceler is streaming. Oh, it's in Spanish, though. Is that Spanish? Because it's Spanish. It's in Spanish. I, uh, if he were English, I would raid him, but there's two Spanish speakers. Fuck it. We'll raid Cern. Standing around doing nothing. Yeah, we'll raid Cern. Can I actually... I don't think he's... Um, stay with me, guys. Just one sec. I can get oh, the link. Oh, the Duel of Champions. But yeah, Red Ogor is going to lose this because of the Sisters. Sisters are going to put a there ton of hurt, but he does So it turns into competition right now. Tell him I say hi. Uh, I can't actually raid him. At least I don't think I can. Let's see. I'm going to try like the, the official raid. If I can't do it that way, it'll be just a copy-paste of his link. Let's see. Turn. Um, oh, there he is. Okay, we, we can do it. Oh, I need to ask Turin to add you to their live redirect list in the community settings. Ah, crap. I need to talk to him. Damn. I'll, I'll reach out to Turin. All right. I'll do it the old-fashioned way. So it's just a copy-paste link so to his stream. Tell him Legend says hi. I say hi. Mercy says hi. <laughs> Tell him it's a triple raid, okay? Tell him it's a triple raid. He'll think it's funny. All right. There's a link to Turin's to stream. He's doing a tournament right now. He's having fun. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks again for hanging out with me. I appreciate all your guys' support. You guys have been awesome. Fuck. I'm just overwhelmed by your guys' generosity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Legend. Thank you, Mercy. You guys are awesome. I will talk to you on Friday. Take care, guys. Goodbye.